We are live. If you guys are just tuning in now, you can watch this show anytime. <laughs> but we are live. <laughs> this is a support group. I'm here with my buddies. We're sitting around um, doing support group stuff. Ice is out in Maine really early this year. Really, really. Oh, oh there comes a fish. Who's that on? Me. You got one on each is. There's three of them down there. Oh, maybe I gotta. Oh, we got a big cut. No contact. That was Corey. Oh, you now, Joe. Oh. He's on you. Oh, no. He's coming. He's pissed. Yep. Hold on. Hold on, guys that are watching at home. I'm gonna try to hook this fish. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. You guys hook that fish. All right, so we are live, guys. This is our support group. I got. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's you. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Oh, CJ's about to get bit. Nope. That is me. What? Denied. You're in the middle, I think. You're here. Right. All right, guys, this is our support group for early ice out. We're, we're struggling. We have the, the early ice out depression going on. So the best thing we did was CJ hooked up the boat. We threw our ice rods in the, in the boat. We got our ice rods with us, actually. I got all my Elliott rods that I didn't get a chance to use because... I was just using the crappy rods from them. And we're out here smacking decent sized lake trout in Maine. We, we've we caught quite a few. We're coming to you live. We're fishing with a live scope with the, the um, oh, I just had a bite, with the LVS 62. And he's gonna try to set that up for us. Oh, I literally just had a bite. Or is that you? No, that was you. Oh, one, one's coming in super hot. Hold on guys. Yeah, Corey, grab that rod. It's going over. The fish are all over us. Somebody's got to get hooked up for this camera. Oh, come on. We got fish all over us, guys. Things are getting quiet. I'll be able to answer some questions in a minute. But Sorry, a lot going on. A lot going on. When the screen's lit up like that, we're live scoping. We're over a hundred foot deep. We're ranging from like ninety-eight oh, to a hundred right on. 110 foot deep. We got fish all over us. We're fishing togue in Maine. Deep with a Garmin live scope. And all right, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys and try to get this camera going. You should be able to just put it right in that mountain, Joe. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna set you guys up in a tripod. What is that? Unscrew or something? Where's it? Uh, so it's a uh, here. Hold on. All right, guys. This, you'll up. you'll get some better footage in a second. Hold that here. Open. Oh, nice. That should lock in, right? It's used to a lot smaller phone. I don't know what you're trying to say, Joe, but well, you should pony up and buy something. All right, all right, Truth Seekers here, Nugget Buns is here. You guys are all joining our support group for early ice out. Those are some names. Those are awesome names. All right, guys, we're on the lake. It is glass calm. Look at this. CJ, got my good buddy CJ here from Burnt Meadow Guide Service. Got my good buddy Corey here from Pack Back and everything else. <laughs> we got a hedgehog here. He said, get some salmon. Hedgehog, we're not allowed to fish salmon yet. So you got to wait till April 1st to fish salmon. So we are not fishing salmon. We are just fishing lake trout. Um, that's going to be pointed right towards the sun. So I'm going to, hmm, I'm going to set it right here for now, I guess. And then when somebody hooks up, we'll, we'll rearrange it. All right. So it's not pointed towards the sun. All right. So. What do we need to tell everybody at home? They don't want to hear about how many we've caught. They want to see them. All right. They want to see fish caught. They're stuck with us until we catch one. Yeah. Right now. We're going to try to catch one. Corey said there is one on the screen somewhere. But we're fishing super, super deep. We're in, we're over 100 foot and we're using live scope. So we have the LVS 62. It's made for salt water, but in applications like this, it'll work. I've had it down to 140 foot deep. I've never tried deeper than that, but you could put your forward scan on and look five, six, 700 feet in front of you too. So, all right, hello from PA 
an SFT, Susquehanna Fishing Tackle? Is that where we're talking, SFT? If it is, that would be awesome. Yeah, that would be cool. Susquehanna, say hi to George and Mike for me if you guys are anywhere near Susquehanna fishing. Tell Joe to zip up his fly. My fly <laughs> is up, but nice try. <laughs> All right, that was our good buddy, Ken. We're not catching any fish now because the camera's out, but we've been pretty well smashing them. Pretty good before this. We got 38 people tuned in. We got four thumbs up. So there's a lot of people that are really disappointed we're not catching any fish. But we're sitting here in our support group. I've been a member for um, for for like 12 days now since Ice has gone out. <laughs> Joe started the group. I started the group. It's open to join. There's no fee or anything to join. You got the president, vice president, and, yeah. and uh, secretary. Yeah. yeah. The you, yeah. It's a Facebook you, admin right here. Yeah, yeah, you got all the admin right here for our support group. The early ice out, not happy about it group. And, and this is hard to beat right now. Though. Yeah. But we're out here on, should I say the lake? No, it's a small I don't lake, know. So. It's so secretive. All right. We're out here on Slowbago Lake. It's 330 foot deep. No, it's Sea Bear Go. Sea Bear Go yeah. Lake. And we are fishing in 100 feet deep. Right now we're at 98 foot deep, but we're ranging from 98 to about 110. We're using lures anywhere from three quarters to an ounce. CJ's using a deep uh, swim bait, I think, with a jig head. Um, oh, is that a looker? But we're actually using our ice fishing jig rods because we haven't had a chance. CJ and I each picked up an LVS 62 like two years ago, uh, specifically to dig to jig deep lake trout here on Sebago Lake. And we haven't had ice for two years to get out here. So uh, so we decided to heck with it. We're just going to hook it up on the boat. He's got a hook up. I'll show you guys in a little bit on the side of his boat for the um, transducer. And we grabbed the ice rods. I got a bunch of really sweet ice rods from Elliot and two brothers in um, in Minnesota, Wisconsin area, Minnesota. And I wanted to try them out and test them out and see how they do, you know, through the ice, but it doesn't matter if we're in the boat, you know, you're getting the same action, the same feel for everything. So I've been able to feel my lure really, really well down there in, um, in a hundred foot and said, I got quite a few topside right now. They're averaging like three to four pounds. I'd say we got a couple decent ones bigger than that, but for the most part, um, the fishing's been pretty good. I mean, it's excellent, really, if we're out here in early March and almost down to a T-shirt. In another hour, we'll probably be down to a T-shirt. Um, I had my Eskimo jacket on earlier, and as you can see, I got some Eskimo pants on. But right now, we're just we're kind of just out here, not even chilling. It's so nice. Um, and the lake trout are coming in hot. You know, they're coming in twosies, threesies. If they're coming in in any numbers, like in like three or more. They're pretty easy to catch, but if they're coming in single, they're um, they're very discerning. They'll come up and just sniff the bait and kind of swim by it. Oh, we got one on the screen. It's on CJ right now. Uh, what did you? What do you do? Go on the bottom? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Singles are a little bit tougher to catch, but the, yeah, you slid right by us. Uh, singles are tougher to catch, but they are catchable. So we're not going to tell you that, the, that you can't catch them. We've had a couple just come in super hot, just smash the bait. Um, and, and for the most part, it's just been awesome fishing and a lot of fun catching these fish. I'm using a, the Nomad rod by Elliot. It's 36 inch medium heavy. Um, I think Corey's using the Cisco wet, which is a, it's a pretty heavy stick. I should say it right here. Yep, it, is. it is a Cisco wet. <clears throat> yep. And, um, and There's CJ's using, coming. oh, CJ's got a fish coming. He should. Oh yeah. He's, oh, he's chasing up. He's, he's chasing up. Oh, oh no. He no, he went straight down after CJ. I wish I could show you guys the live scope. I mean, I'll point it to it in a little bit so you guys can watch that. So stay tuned if you want to see the actual live scope and the footage of what's going on down here. I should just put my rod down and, and video this, I think I agree with that. this stuff too. <laughs> These guys want me to put it down. I've had a pretty good hot hand lately, so they're like, uh, just have him put his, put his rod down. But, but we're all catching, so that's the fun part.
Um, Corey lost an absolute smasher about halfway up. We don't know that for sure. We don't know it, but like <laughs> measuring it on live scope and seeing how hard it fought, small how big it was. Ones. It was like a small You couldn't school move ones. it for about five minutes. Yeah, he couldn't even move it. But all right, I'll uh, I'll start reading some. Yeah, Sammy, he said he'll tell George and Mike. You tell them that Joe Holland said hello. Those guys are as good as they get. They're the best in the tackle industry. By far the best bass fishing store that I've I've seen. And, you know, they, those guys can flat out catch them. You guys in the Susquehanna River area are so lucky that they run a tackle store and that they can't get away and fish as much as, as you can or, or I can because they would be hammers and it would be hard to win a tournament against those guys. And I know back in the day they were uh, – they were forces to be reckoned with too, but absolute great guys. If you guys, if anybody on here is anywhere near Susquehanna Fish and Tackle, um, stop in, see one of the best bass fish and tackle stores you'll ever see, and say hi to George and Mike for me. So thank you, Sammy, for doing that. Hey, what state are you in? You're from Oregon. Live to Fish TV 3000. We're in Maine. We're as far away as we could possibly get from you <laughs> in the U.S. and not be in Alaska or Hawaii. So. I was out in Oregon. I drove right by the Columbia River, and I actually um, I went hiking out there, and I found the state record tree for the entire state of Oregon, which was really cool because it was hard to find. I ended up having to use my drone, and it was uh, it was near the coast. I was like only like a mile in from the ocean, but it was a red cedar tree that was I think 50 foot around. Super super cool. So Oregon's a really cool state. Um, it's like a rainforest, you know, driving through certain parts of it. It was so cool, like moss everywhere. And and um, I went to like Multnomah Falls and stuff like that. So, so yeah, if you're from Oregon, you, I don't, you probably don't fish like this. You get like 140 foot deep lake trout jigging. So you might, you might be interested in this type of fishing. It's a lot of fun. And then Michael Brulette said we are in Maine. Thank you, Michael, for, for going in. But if you guys want to, if you guys want to have any questions or comments feel free like i said we got three we got three lines down now as soon as i brought the camera out the fish went away um that's kind of how it happens you gotta show them how the, the but I, I can show you how the morning went so far the live, no, i mean the live scope on top of that cool is pretty convenient yeah definitely and i'll show you how the how the morning's been donnie if you guys if you guys watch the channel a lot you know who donnie is donnie requested either like four, six, or eight. He doesn't really care. Um, decent lake trout for the smoker because he makes lake trout candy with them where he puts like a, a maple syrup. Oh, jeez. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. One just came flying in. CJ, hook up. I'm trying. Hook up. I'm we trying. need this fish. I'm trying. The pressure's on. Hook him up. Trying. Ready? Oh. He's on you, Joe. No, he's not on me. Oh, man. We just had a close. Oh, now he's on Corey. He's chasing somebody down. Oh, it's getting exciting, guys. It's getting exciting. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Come back. That was so. close. He that was, was breathing. He was breathing on that your was lure. A good one. You definitely got some fish breath on your lure on that one. Um, a lot of times with these lake trout, you play a game of like keep away. It's a cat and mouse game where you know you're jigging close to the bottom. They're running the bottom, and then when you get them to come off the bottom and start to get vertical, you start reeling to take it away from them. And then they speed up faster and faster and faster, and usually that will trigger a bite. So that's one of the ways we're trying to catch them. I've been trying to like uh, bottom jig them a little bit more than these guys, and also the takeaway is a lot of fun. So CJ just lifted one about. 25 feet off the bottom and it got right up to it and then whew, another yeah another one coming in on the left guys i'm going to show you the screen real quick so that that big mark moving fast on the left going hard at cj he's about to hook up he's got it going up he's got it going up he's got it going up he's got oh yeah he's gonna hook up he's gonna hook up no Ugh, rejected and then there it is going back down to the bottom and in the middle of the screen you'll see cj's lure dropping down to the bottom and then this guy's coming over to look at me, so I gotta get my act together. Is he gonna look? Look, hey, stop. He did not stop. Oh, he stopped. So they're mostly singles. Singles are really tough to catch. When you get two or three or four, one, yeah. it's like any kind of predator. They have to, when they have Corey's to compete, Corey. oh, Corey's about to hook up. When they have to compete against each other, um, Joe's about to hook up. I'm about to hook up. Ready? Give me a countdown, like a, no, can't. No, Give me like a hundred no, second countdown. No, I said a hundred. He's still on you. He's underneath you. Yeah, I think he's on the bottom. So they're 
it's frustrating, you know, like knowing sometimes what's actually down there other than if we were just fishing, we'd be, you know, doing a lot more wondering, but with the live scope, you know, and you kind of know what's down there, it can be frustrating when you can't catch them. But the cool part about it is you could change up your techniques and, and uh, really learn from the fish. What fish are you fishing? We're fishing for togue. That's spelled T-O-G-U-E. In other states, they call them lake trout, but in Maine, they're called togue. And um, yeah, there's there's uh, no limit on them, I think, under what? So no limit uh, on them under 26. Under 26 inches, and so. you can keep one over 26. Yeah, one over 26. So you can keep a pretty good, you know, do some serious meat fishing out here if you like eating lake trout. I like eating lake trout. A lot of people think they're a little too oily or a little bit darker on the trout spectrum, but. But um, I think it adds some flavor, and, and I eat a lot of them. But Jerry said, I know the ice went out quick, just a week here in New Hampshire, and it's all gone, the earliest he's ever had to stop ice fishing. Same here, bud. That's why I'm putting this support group together. Um, as you can see, we got a couple other guys that joined it. They just came out with their boats. Um, there's a couple more boats right there. So there's two or three other boats out here on the support group. And... Um, we're we're going we're we're trying to drown our miseries with our jigs. You got one on you, Jeff? No. I'm on the right. So I'll show you guys. It's free to be a member. The only thing you have to do, you got to subscribe to Joe's channel. Yeah, that's all you have to do. But I'll show you guys uh, what one of these toads look like. There's a couple coming in on the bottom right now. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's a good that's a good specimen there. I'm gonna dip them. They get a little slimy, but there's a togue for you right there, guys. That is a lake trout, otherwise known as a togue, right there. Um, real pretty fish, super pretty in this body of water. They got a V tail. That's one of the, the ways you could tell what they are and spots all the way down on their gills and pretty cool eyes on them. Yeah, there's a lake trout. That's what we're trying to catch more of. We've, we're trying to fill that cooler up. We've let a few go. And we've caught a few too, so we got 51 people tuned in for the live. We have a we have 11 thumbs up, so there's 40 people that would give it a thumbs down if they could. Um, that's the way I look at that. Ethical oh, Wildlife Solutions says, "Where are you? We are in Maine. We're on Sebago Lake. It's like a beautiful, crystal clear, second biggest lake in Maine. Man, that guy just skirted right by us. We're watching him on the live scope. Uh, second biggest lake, I think, in Maine. Uh, the deepest lake." This side of the of the um, Mason Dixon line, I believe it's 300. And, They're probably looking at the 300 foot. 330 foot deep. There are. Crazy. Let me think. There's two World War oh, two planes in the bottom of this British Corsairs, I that believe. One of them right there. That they've never found. Yeah, that one looked like a. That's a good one. That one looked like an airplane. I'm trying to get hooked up for you guys. It's uh, it's hard when you bring the camera out. But hello from. Grantsburg, Wisconsin. Awesome. I don't know where Grantsburg is. I have fished in Wisconsin. I got to fish the uh, mighty, mighty Mississippi. I got to fish like pools. I think it was like six, seven, and eight or whatever's near like lacrosse. So that was, that was really cool fishing in Wisconsin. And then a lot of my viewers are from Wisconsin. So I get to, I tune in and I follow a lot of other channels in Wisconsin. So um, it's just amazing fishing there. And the pike fishing's great. And the crappie fishing's great. And tremendous bass fishing too. It's a really cool Those state. And they make halfway decent cheese too. Oh, uh, Corey's. Nope. Yep. yep. Still on you. Come on, Corey. Hook up. Come on. Nope. We gave Corey a lure with no hooks on it. So. That would explain the school bus. We, we got him on the starter kit. Not you now. Oh, yeah. speaking of it, me running my mouth. Oh, he's still there. So yeah, it's been a crazy El Nino winter. We thought we were gonna have awesome ice and and a lot of ice. Oh, that's a decent fish coming out of the bottom right there. Cool. Once we get hooked up, guys, I promise we'll we'll hook up some more. We got like um, we'll double up, I think, on the first one. But but yeah, we're super lucky to be fishing today. Uh, wanted to bring this live to you guys. Anybody else who's who's having early ice out depression like us. We really love ice fishing here in Maine. And uh, what was the last day of ice fishing for you? It was like two weeks ago. Yeah, the last footage I think from this ice fishing season is coming out this Friday night for me or Thursday night. And then 
I don't have a lot more ice fishing footage for you. I saved some. CJ and I went out on some really sketchy stuff uh, not too long ago. Comes on under you. Yeah, we got a bottom dweller over here, guys. Let's see if he bites. trying to get these fish to go but yeah Brian Brian's in the chat he laughed at the starter kit one he's looking forward to getting out in the boat and then guys the other cool thing is my my man here CJ he's actually a guide so if you want to google him google burnt meadow guide service and he's got the boat in the water we got to be up to like a, a dozen fish right now and we've only been out uh, about three hours, so we're doing pretty well, I'd say. And every day it's gonna get better and better and better. W water temp right now was 34.5, was water temperature. So, 35. oh, it's warmed up to 35.1. Yeah. So we're not swimming today on purpose. We are definitely not doing the plunge. I think we said something, whoever caught the least amount of fish had to swim. And uh, I know it's not gonna be me. Not gonna be me. It's not gonna be CJ either. So not over yet. Yeah, it's not over. That's well, true. The camera. We like to get no, comeback kids. Yeah. Josh is here from Precision Angling. He said it looks too much like summer, dude. It's so close. Like I'm about a half hour away, and I'll have this sweatshirt off and into a t-shirt and start worrying about a sun sunburn. Lisa said her first year in Maine is from Louisiana. We were just talking about that. Um, but she lived in the north the last 20 years. I was looking forward to learning to ice fish. Yeah. So Lisa, you could you could you could learn a lot probably by watching um, ice fishing videos. I have a, a pile of them out, and there's some other good ones in Maine and and across the country. And the only way you're going to learn this year, I think, unless you get on a plane and go to like Manitoba, is to is to watch some YouTube videos. But the cool thing is, we just in Maine we have so many opportunities for amazing amazing fishing that. Dang it. I just want mid Somebody's fish. stealing this fish from me. That would be me. Nope. Watch this one. Who's stealing that fish? Corey. Corey. Oh, yeah. We just had a fish enter the chat. Oh, he came back. Yeah, he's still here. He's sticking around. So, but I might be able to turn this so you guys can watch what we're watching because it's actually really cool. I would have to do it. March 7th, last day on the ice. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I made it to March 7th. I'm going to turn this down so that... Oh, that's better? <laughs> say something, man. No, I mean, I can see either way. All right, so I'm going to turn that. No, I told you, I can't see it. <laughs> cool story. Um, Corey hit two deer on the way here this morning and did not even get a dent in his brand new vehicle. So the, he's already having a great day. All right. There you go. You guys can see that screen if, if you guys want to follow along. So this is my jig over here. See it? That's CJ's right there. Corey is somewhere right there. And you'll see when a fish comes in. I'll point it out to you. That's CJ. Sometimes. But I'm not sure if, if you guys are getting affected by a glare or anything. So I'll leave that pointed towards it for a few minutes. Hopefully something happens. Either that or we can just slide 20 feet one direction or another. He's got a text. You hit two deer. <laughs> Was that your wife? Sorry, bud. No. Actually, Corey's not supposed to be out here today, so Corey's not here today. Um, his, he told his wife that he was going to work this morning. Yeah, that, but so this is work. So, yeah, we're not going to talk more about that. So Corey's not here today, guys. Sorry about that, Corey. It just sounds and looks like him. What is your favorite fish to catch? So my favorite fish this winter was crappy for sure. Like I just really got into a groove and caught a bunch of really big trophy crappies all winter. Um, this is a lot of fun though. Catching something in a hundred foot of water is, is unique to me. And I like trying new things and, and catching new fish. There's a super cool bald eagle flying over right now. Let's point you guys towards that. Or is that an osprey? Sorry. Eagle, yeah. 
There he goes. He's looking. He's looking for some fish too. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He says. I thought. Did Sebago lock up this season? No, it did not. We, um, CJ and I got in a cove or two, like in the heart of winter, and there wasn't much ice. There was like four or five inches of ice in like the, the far back coves that, that are hidden from any wind or anything. But otherwise, it's been two years, really, since it's, it's locked up, in my opinion, you know, where it's gotten any good ice fishing. Oh, you got one? Yeah, here we go. Oh, all right, so we got one on the screen, guys. Ooh, There's probably two. Oh, he's hooked up. All right, we got CJ is hooked up. You guys probably saw that one coming in. Digging. That hard. Tell us about it, bud. Another Spago Laker. CJ's hooked up. He's clammed up. Flying in. Doesn't look like a big one. No. I'm gonna hang you guys over and hopefully you don't fall on him. There he is. See him? Probably won't even net him. Little guy. Pretty one. Yeah. Not our biggest today. Yep. Yeah. And then the one cool thing about lake trout, as opposed to other fish, is they have the ability to burp themselves. So any other fish would have like barrow trauma and die if you caught it in a hundred foot of water. You know, like crappy. A lot of times you can't withstand coming up from deep pressure whoop, from uh the pressure change even in like 25 30 foot of water bass you know they'll struggle you know when you're catching them that deep too but lake trout have that ability so about halfway up they start burping and burping and burping and they relieve that pressure in their air bladder and they don't have any effect from the from barrow trauma or deep water so that was a fish for you he, he let it go over the edge um Matt says that water temps in Minnesota are climbing. He's never been in the boat in March, and he's going to be this year. Oh, there goes that fish down to the bottom. <laughs> See him? Yeah. Yeah. Crappy and broccoli Alfredo. Oh, my God. That sounds so good. We'll have to try that. That sounds awesome. Tell that to Hannah. I was not hungry. <laughs> John Egbert says, oh, my God, you're so wholesome. Illy. Wholesome Illy. I don't know what that means. So... But I'm gonna take that as a compliment that, yeah. and say thank you. <laughs> I was like, hold on. So, but yeah, we're uh, we don't have a head count because I think you've let two go now. I've let three go now. He's let three go, and then I've let at least six or seven. One of the other support members. Yeah, in the support group, they're That's hooked like up over one. there. Yeah, that one actually is filling up the net pretty good. So yeah, so the fishing's been fun, guys. Mason Lee is a sub. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It means a lot, you know, like I put a lot of work into the channel, guys, as you can see with editing and filming and everything else. And, you know, that Here comes one. that feedback oh, yeah. Ooh, it's coming in hot on CJ. He's got another one. He's about to hook up. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Watch his tip. Watch his tip. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's still chasing. Oh, I'm going back down. Dang. So he was playing cat and mouse, yeah, mouse cool, with that yeah. one. And that one chased him way up into like cool, 60 right? foot. Oh, he's whoever just dropped. Yeah. Corey, he's, so he's on Corey pretty good right back. now. He's two. Oh, he's back to CJ. Not Ooh. you now. No. <laughs> he flew under me. Huh. So they're not super aggressive, but we've had, we've been lucky enough to have some aggressive ones come in. Mean, I'll show you guys what we're using. That's what we're using right there, guys. That's the V-Rod by Acme. It's a blade bait. It gets down there in a hurry, has a ton of vibration, two treble hooks, and it's we're using three quarter ounce V rod. So they get down in a hurry and they look exactly, exactly like what these fish are eating. They're eating L wives, which uh, are, are in that three to four inch range L wives, two to four inch range. 
and that's exactly what they're eating right there. So this color is just a little bit different than the one that Corey and I are using. We're using an even more natural one, doesn't have that orange belly. But with lake trout, you know, chartreuse is good and any bright colors are good. So I might switch over to that color in a second. Right there. If they keep looking at it and don't bite them, just switch colors. You switch colors, switch size. Um, CJ's got a jig head on with a swim bait um, and he's getting a lot of bites going up because that swim bait tail is just swimming going up whereas our lures are vibrating. We're, we're getting some bites going up too. I had the hot hand earlier. Um, they were eating this V-Rod really, really, really well earlier. So we um, we got one on for Corey now and he's he's caught a couple pretty good ones too. We are fishing for deep lake trout, otherwise known as togue, here in Maine. Uh, Mason Lee caught 20 fish Monday and subbed. And, oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that for subbing to the channel. Um, hopefully you get something out of it and there's things to learn on the channel and it's not just entertaining. Um, Jareth says hello. Surf Fishing says, are you running live scope? We are running live scope. We're in a hundred foot of water. We're running the LVS, uh, the 62, which is a saltwater transducer, but it has uh, freshwater applications where you can use it um, into the 150 foot range and still see the fish, still see the jig. I haven't tested it any deeper, but I'm sure you probably could. I've I had it up on East Grand and I was fishing like 110 foot of water but I also was putting it in forward mode and looking five to 600 feet ahead to try to find bait, structure, and fish. And it actually worked at those depths too. So pretty, pretty, pretty crazy what you can do and, and how far the technology has come. So you guys drifting or are you on spot lock? Spot lock. So we are on spot lock. We're running um, what is it, like a Minn Kota or something trolling motor up there. Yeah, Minn Kota Tarova. Tarova. So we got... 51 people watching we got 21 likes and we got 30 unlikes so you guys really need to step it up we're not catching enough fish for these guys I just switched up. all right Corey just switched up so he's got a significantly faster sinking lure seems like it i can't switch i'm doing good with what i got cj's getting dialed in with what he has the ottoman wolf gets it blueberry the anti-fury he's this high i know look at that thing it's what, cranking. what are you running an ouncer uh, oh here comes a fish fish coming in oh we got two fish coming in all right you guys are about to see some action cj just had a hit Ooh. i'm way too high i gotta drop it i know i do too but it's gonna take me a second to get there i'm beating you down look at that oh he's on you no he slid by me dang it sorry guys it's fishing <laughs> um how do you like how do i like what Fishing, I love it. This is three quarter, by the way. That's the Cabela's one. That thing goes good. Yeah, no. So Jerry says all the guys around camp up in Maine make fun of him because he, he enjoys fishing for smallmouth and crappie. Seems like everybody up there is into the trout fishing. Yeah, it's just a weird thing, man. I you know exactly how that feels. Yeah, it's um, it's such a weird thing. Like we are so so lucky and fortunate in Maine to have such a diverse amount of fisheries and fish. You could fish, you can come out here and catch fish in 140 feet of water and you could go fish in a foot of water, you know, and like you, you could have world-class pan fishing and with perch and crappie and, and awesome bass fishing is world-class. You know, we don't get the giants much over seven or eight pounds, but the amount of four and five pounders I'd put up against anywhere I've fished in the country and the smallmouth fishing is just spectacular. Crappie fishing's world-class, pike fishing's world-class or at least, um, you know, the one of the best areas in the nation. Somebody just iced one a little bit over 30 pounds the other day, a 48-incher, uh, just missed out on the state record. So then we also have landlocked salmon. We have brown trout for trolling, and, and you can cast to those. We have lake trout, we have splake, and we have amazing brook trout. So the, the fishing's di diverse. I don't know why people get upset when someone else likes to catch something else that they don't like to catch. To me, someone likes to... Like, I'm not a big trout fisherman myself. I do it. I love catching trout, too. I don't really go after them very often. This is one of the few times. And I rarely, like, troll for browns. But I don't get mad at people and say, you know, oh, brown trout are dumb or anything like that. And, you know, you make fun of people for what they like to catch because, you know, they're not out here trying to catch what I want to catch, you know, if I want to try to catch crappie or bass or anything like that. So I support other fishermen. 
and what they like to catch and what they like to fish for. And, you know, I'm happy that not everybody in the state likes to fish for what I fish for because it would make it harder for me to catch them and it would be a lot busier. So, you know, as sportsmen, we should all encourage each other to, to, to be happy with what you're targeting and what you're catching and, and what you're after rather than, you know, get upset at somebody for not liking what you like. It just seems like like the whole political sphere is like that. We don't want to bring that into fishing and or hunting too, you know, like as sportsmen more and more now than ever, we need to stick together and support each other. So, you know, if someone likes to to catch trout, you know, or brook trout or, or little stream brook trout or, or crappie or chubs or suckers or whatever they like to fish for, you know, that's awesome and, and I wish them luck and, and I'd like to try to learn how to, how to do what they've mastered or are doing too so i like to fish for about everything i'd say open water my favorite fish is probably smallmouth to target and then through the ice it's either crappie or pike i like catching giant stuff like pike but i also like to catch you know world-class fish like like crappie i think i was fortunate enough this year to ice over 115 inch uh, plus crappie this year which you know, there's people who've never even caught one 15-inch crappie that live in some of the best states in the in the nation, in Minnesota and Wisconsin, you know, or they would put that on the wall immediately. And just this winter alone, in the short winter, um, I was able to catch over 100. So I was super, super fortunate. So Kyle says, you want Damariscotta today? No, we're not. But I'm trying to get CJ to Damariscotta for the awesome brown trout fishing and, and the jig, the, the lake trout that never, ever get targeted. Um, Sean Adams says... Pause it or hit the three dots in the top right if you want to like the video. Oh, thank you, Sean. I appreciate that. There's a message held for review. Let me view this message. It says a bunch of foolishness, so we're not going to. All right. Mason says thanks. Hi from the UK, mate. Angry Brit. That's awesome, awesome name. Thanks for tuning in. You probably won for the furthest away. It's really cool for us to hear where you guys are tuning in from. Um, the bites kind of slowed down a little bit. We might need to either slide a little bit left or a little bit right or, or get off this patch. We might have hooked every single fish underneath us. So we'll do a little bit of that. Do you catch pike open water? I do, yeah. It used to be by accident when I was bass fishing and tournament bass fishing, but now I actually target those those giant pike. And they're just about coming into uh, the breeding season now where they move up shallow and some of the fish that you'd never see all year long because they're 40 or 50 inches are a lot more susceptible to at least seeing them or being or being able to catch them. So, so definitely going to look at some pike. Um, you guys ever heard of the original formula bait pop? No, I haven't heard of that one. What's your favorite crappy or pike lake? So we just have so many awesome crappy lakes and pike lakes in Maine. Uh, anything in the Belgrades are my favorite. Great fishing. Yeah, definitely uh, look up my buddy, Angry Brit. He said he might get out here one day. Look up my buddy, CJ, from Burnt Meadow Guide Service. He's, he's on the fish, as you can see. Um, pike on a fly rod rocks. You are not kidding. Uh, one of these other boats, I got to witness them targeting pike on a fly rod last year, and it was so, so cool. Um, Songo River Guide Service is one that you definitely want to contact if you want to do that. Dan from Songo River is awesome on the fly rod. Lisa said... But when watching the last couple of months, great show and learn a lot. Thank you so much. That's that's really important to me that I'm able to share a lot of this knowledge that I've learned from friends and family um, about fishing with other people. So that that's important to me. So I was scrolling and saw Holland and thought you were related to Tom Holland. No, um, not that I know of. He might be my twin brother, actually. I think is that the Batman guy. Uh, uh, or super spider-man Spider so yeah that's the spider-man guy so so yeah you're both athletic that's actually me that is me um i lost a, a bunch of weight and slimmed down for that role and it, it really was tough to do so now i'm getting back into my uh, winter form for another role so that i'm actually tom holland uh, we're doing a little move here so yeah, I, no, I, was like, I'm... I didn't realize why i couldn't see <laughs> couldn't see my lure i wasn't really like trolling We are in 99 foot of water. That's pretty deep to be freshwater fishing, but we are on a super, super deep lake. Did you know Tom's dad is famous in UK before he became a comedian? No, I didn't know that. You should do a video fishing with kids, Spider-Man rod. 
Hellcast Adventures. Actually, 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 we have that. If you, if you search my videos, ten years. Ago. One of the guys in this boat right now was actually with me, Corey, right there. That, that was a long time. And I fished, I think, against him, and I used a Spider-Man rod. So, check that out. That was ten, That's, nine, nine or ten years ago. It was one of the first, the first videos on my channel. I can't even believe you said that. That's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, go go to my videos on my YouTube ch channel and search like Spider-Man rod or something like that. Yeah. It's a pretty far back one. Tom one? Holland is an arm wrestler. I did not know that. I know, right? Jerry said he caught his first pike last year, 31 inches, been. and don't have them in New Hampshire. They're only in Connecticut River. Oh, the Connecticut River's yeah, got some I've, slobs. I've been, uh, they have a limited supply of walleye. Yeah, we don't have any walleye. It's kind of a bummer. Yeah, I'll go. Um, here you guys Let's see if I can clean that. There you go. Too many Louis lobsters. <laughs> You're right. That's how I get in this shape. <laughs> The we got boats all around us now. We got one hooked up behind you. Oh, they got one hooked up over here. I'm hooked up into the stern. <laughs> we just did a, a Yui on the motor. Motor. Oh, there's a rope hanging on the motor. Go Tom Holland. Yeah, pull some Spider-Man stuff. <laughs> Guessing that rope doesn't come up, huh? That's a good tactic. I like this. Good job, TJ. Yeah, they got me, guys. Slow them down a little. Here, turn that camera to you guys so they can they can see what you guys are at least doing. <laughs> turn it to you. This is Joe's Spider-Man moves. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'll deal with my ugly face for a minute. Let's go. All right, that was a there dirty trick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gotta make you guys pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys did your part distracting Joe for us. I'm gonna get back to fishing. Should have gone live earlier. Straight my hook. There you go. Don't break the camera. Look at me. All right, I'll show you guys what I'm using before I drop it down because it's going to be a while. What a mess! I got a mess going on here. Let's hope that knot's good. All right, so let me show you guys. There's a V-rod for you, three-quarter ounce. That is a blade bait. It's pretty awesome. It's about as good as they get. Super vibrations on that thing, and it's getting down there in this hundred foot of water. We're, we're vertically jigging in a hundred foot of water for lake trout here in Maine. Do you have Xander out there? They're like pike. Nope, no Xanders. Uh, we're not trolling. We're not trolling at all, guys. We're um, we're using the trolling motor to stay in one spot, like a spot lock, and vertically jigging with the with the live scope in down mode. So can't wait to see an update on the camp. Stay tuned, Sean. I got a bunch of videos. Uh, in the queue to show you an update of the camp. I got kind of far behind that when ice fishing season happened, so I wasn't able to, to get a lot of videos up. But there are a bunch coming. I think you guys got a fish yeah, on you. Yeah. Because I'm not down there yet. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's a fish on you. Here we go. Somebody's about to get the chomp. Yeah, oh, CJ yeah. just hooked up. He stole your fish. Thanks, guys. CJ just came in and stole their fish. <laughs> No, you're good. Corey's filming. Let me know when he gets close. You know, let me know. Here he comes. Spin wheeling. Spinning. There you go. Nice little lake trout. Hold that baby up to the camera.
There he is, nice. Puking up pin smelts. Yep, got that one on a swim bait. 23, 24. Yep, nice little lake trout. Got some good meat on them. Don't you want him or sure. save him for next yeah, time? Yeah, throw him in there for Donnie. Donnie's, uh, Donnie's looking forward to... I don't know what happened to the video. There it is. So that one's going home to Donnie for the smoker. And he's going to make some lake trout candy out of that. But that guy came in pretty hot and heavy. When are you getting a maple syrup video from you and Donnie? Ha! <laughs> Stay tuned. You got one coming, I think, Friday. What day is today? Wednesday? Yeah, I think I got a video popping tonight. When is Maple Sunday? The 24th. Uh, the 23rd is Maple Sunday. But I got a maple video coming up on Friday uh, morning, like uh, I think 10 a.m. or something. It's a really cool video new with a new evaporator that's like super, super high tech. Um, so, so yeah, video is coming up on that. Level 19 something. 40 inch pike and five pound walleye are my bucket with fish, Jerry. Bucket list fish. Yeah, you can get 40s here. Um, right they're not- this, Right in this lake. Yep, they're not, you know, out of the question here in Maine, but you'll never ever catch a 30 inch walleye in Maine, ever. <laughs> we don't have them. Well, you might catch them someday if the state is smart enough to ever stock them. But it'd be cool if the state stocked them. So CJ's using a chartreuse swim bait and that fish just swam through both of our blade baits and ate his on the way up. So that might be what we what we need to do is switch over to chartreuse. You did, right? I, yeah. Oh, you did? Okay. Oh boy. Paddle tail baits, pretty hard to beat out here. Yeah, paddle tails? Yeah. yeah. I think we got one near us. Yeah, I do too. You guys got one over by you? I think so. I got nothing going on over here since I brought the camera out. <laughs> it's killed my fishing. I was I was on fire. I had the hot hand, and these guys are like, "You should shoot alive." So I brought the camera out and talked to the camera, and I'm not paying attention to my fishing, oh, and I'm not catching them. I got a bunch of messages held for review. That's probably not good. Oh, somebody's got a looker. CJ's got one looking. There it is. Come, come on. I don't know if I'm coming to the surface or not. He's not coming down yet, so. Oh, there he is. Big one on the screen, guys. Wow, big, decent one on the screen. Coming to you, Joe. I'm hooked up. Nice. Can somebody get the Alright, I'm hooked up. Alright guys, I'm hooked up. I'm live. My eyes are over here. I got a jig rod, an ice fishing jig rod. This is a 36 inch medium heavy by Elliot. And I'm hooked up on a deep lake trout. We're in a hundred foot of water. CJ, no, nope, I thought we might have had a double, but there's another one. There's another one down there. Underneath saying. you, actually. So decent fish here. Um, it's over three pounds. It's in that three plus pound range. I'm running 10 pound braid. Whoa, the 10 pound floral. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's a good one. He started. He's better. He started fighting as he got a little closer. But well, oh man, I don't have a ton of leverage on him with this ice fishing rod. But I got it. I got but it. It, it makes the fight a lot more fun. I don't want to horse them guys because I've, I've already straightened these hooks once on, on a rope in the back of the boat. But I'm hooked up pretty good. It's like full headed to you, bud. I'm into the color, I'm into the orange. I'm hooked up in a hundred foot of water. I'm trying to pry this guy up. Um, I think I got him to about 40 foot right now. Jeez, he's pulling hard. Wow, he's pulling hard. I'm gonna need the belt. I might, I might need the fighting belt for this guy. He does not want to come up. I'm gonna start putting a little more pressure on him. Wow, we're hooked up good on this Don't one, guys. Him. Don't horse him, they're saying. That's my line. He's going over to your boat. He's going under the boat. 
Wow. He must be foul hooked or I got a giant. Oh, there's yeah. bubbles. Okay. We got bubbles. He's he's burping. You got a while. Oh, I see him. He's starting to tip the boat over. It's a fish. He's starting to tip the boat. It's definitely a fish. All right, we're to our leader. If I was tarpon fishing, that would be a catch. Pretty nice good one. one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice one. Stave it. Stave it for you guys. There he is. Yes. Go, Got bro. him. Nice. There's a pretty good lake trout right there. He's in the five plus range. See if I can pull him out of the net and show you guys him and make a decision. A lot of the decision on whether these are going home or not comes down to how easy. The, oh, look, he just spit. He just spit up a bunch of oil in the net. Okay, he popped out. I might be able to show you guys what an oil wipe looks like too. A lot of times they spin in circles. This guy's gonna go home, so I don't. I'm not too worried about how I handle him. But, all right, so he's. And then, I, yeah, here's a elbow I've just, or no, that's a, is that a shiner or an elbow? Oh, no, you try to match the yeah, it's baby elbow, no, that's a baby elbow. Yeah. yeah, there's a baby elbow right there, guys. So that's what they're eating. And if that doesn't match the bait I'm using, I don't know what does. You know, I'm a trout guy now, so, but there he is. What do you guys think of that two-hander? He's thick right through the back, big old belly on him. Oh, he's right full of bait. Oh my gosh. But nice lake, lake trout there. In Maine, we call those togue. And super, super pretty fish right there for, uh, for what they are. He came out of 100 feet deep. So if you guys can give a thumbs up and a subscribe for a fish like that, I don't know what else I can do. So I'm super pumped. Um, so hit those buttons for me and we'll see if we can get another one of these topside. But that baby right there is going to go home and I'm probably going to stuff that with onions and uh, stuff and, and wrap it with bacon and tin foil. throw a stick of butter in there and throw it in the oven for about an hour and have one heck of a meal. And you could, you could poach these two in boiling water with the chunks of meat and they taste just like lobster. So there's a lot of ways you can eat lake trout and, and they're delicious fish and they provide a lot of meat. But inches wise, is that, oh, CJ just missed one. Does that put me up to my limit on inches? I don't want to it, talk about it. Is that 126? No, I mean, because you can only keep one over 26, I think. That's going to be pretty close. Yeah, that's... Oh, CJ's hooked up. Let me let me get this in the bucket. And let's get on CJ and show you what he's catching. Get my hooks out of the net while we're watching CJ. He's not as big as those. He's not as big. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, I got to lower in the net. If you do, let me know so I can get you put in. Let me know when he gets close. I'll try to get this net ready. I got two hands full. Huh? Try to dig my hook out of the net. There he comes. You might have to hold him for a minute. LDR. LDR. It's all about the content, man. Oh, another fish down there. So I was just making people watch him. Uh, On the live scope. Yeah, you have something to watch with <laughs> There's so much water and guts over here. What is going on? Oh, it's so All right, guys, that's my lure dropping back down. For real, what's going on over here? bottom pull it up a little bit sometimes these fish will sit down in the mud so you can't see them you pull your 
jig up a little bit and watch him follow it up. Here comes the fish right here. Another one right there. Here comes some more. Oh, there we go. Got it. Holy cow. There's a bunch of fish here. A bunch of fish? Yeah. And we'll try to re the fish. Can you guys see anything at home? <laughs> I can see it. I know a camera guy. I don't know. Can you guys see it at home? Yeah, they can. Yeah? Oh, yeah. There's one. Get down there, Joe. I'm trying. I'm getting blocked here. Family defense. All right, guys, so you got to see a main lake trout being caught right there. We lost a lot of viewers in that while I was stuck in the net. We're down to 40, but we got 38 thumbs up, so there's apparently we're doing okay. I'll grab it. Thanks, yep, sorry about that, guys. All right, we're back. We are back. I'll show you chunks of meat. Thank you. You have you love 11 inches, huh? I don't know about that. Dude grew up, get out of here with the rude comments. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's a bunch of rude comments going on. We don't need that. We don't need that, guys. Let's be positive, let's help each other out, and let's be positive to each other. There's enough of that stuff going on in the world, and this channel is not a place for that. We're out fishing, we're hunting hunting fish how could you how could you not be happy all right good luck fellow angler thank you austin brian says love your channel thank you really appreciate that doing a great job sativa sativa c from canada sativa sativa i don't know you'll have to help me with that throw that top water though sean i would throw top water in a heartbeat <laughs> if we weren't in 101 foot of water i love the top water bite and the, the top water is 35.1 degrees right now, so no top water today. I'll try to get you guys reset up. There you are. But yeah, feel free with any uh, questions or comments. This is a support group for those that are affected by early ice out and uh, the early what we call early ice out depression. If you suffer from early onset ice out depression, you're at the right place. We are here in Maine. We're jigging super deep lake trout, otherwise known as togue, um, using the V-Rod by Acme, three quarter ounce. And we took our ice fishing rods. I'm jigging right there with the Elliott Brothers. Uh, this one's the Nomad. It's a 36 inch, uh, medium heavy. It's a little bit on the heavy side, so I can set the hook into these and then fight them all the way up. So it's a ton of fun fighting these fish with a shorter rod. And is that a fish down there? We're using the live scope, the LVS 62. He's on you to see them and to find them and then oh cj you got you got a looker coming cj's got a looker coming and then we're uh we're kind of enticing them off the bottom with like a a keep away game of cat and mouse and a lot of times that's working um if you can get them vertical usually you can get a, a bite whether they're hungry or not you can kind of trick them into biting so Brian says, how's Donnie doing and the cabin up north coming along? Have you had a chance to use it this winter? Yeah, so I have two videos I need to get up and edited where we where we went up and enjoyed the cabin with Donnie. One recently, and we snowmobiled in, which was awesome. 
Um, there was still some snow up there. And then Donnie's doing wonderful. I shot an incredible video with him yesterday that I am so excited to get to you guys. It could be a new series. I want to start this new series on the channel with Donnie doing this. And I don't want to spill the beans because it's like an amazing thing happened yesterday that we have on video that you guys are going to see as soon as I can get in the editing room. I have like two or three other videos. One coming out tonight on ice fishing, I think. And then uh, maple syrup and on Friday that should be in the queue after that. So Donnie's doing wonderful. It's in two, tomorrow is his 82nd birthday. So feel free in the comment section of this video or on any other video to wish Donnie a very happy birthday tomorrow. He's either 81 or 82. Uh, he said he stopped counting once he hit 80. So it's in that range. So yeah, so Donnie's pretty doing wonderful. Um, Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. We got wow. fish coming. Who's going to get them? Yeah. Wow, that looks like a pretty decent one. There's yeah, two. <laughs> There's two there, but they're not. Neither one came up. Dang it. Neither one came up. Still one underneath. Brian says, tell him happy birthday. I will, man. He reads a lot of the comments now. He learned, like, how to read the comments on YouTube. So if you go to any of the videos that he's in or, um, or in the next video or the next series and say happy birthday to Donnie, he will actually get your message. So. So I will pass that along for him. Jeff Outdoors says happy birthday to Donnie as well. Um, where are you guys all tuning in from? We are in Maine, and, uh, and we're having like an amazing, amazing March day. Look at this bald eagle. Look at how close he is. Even the eagles are out fishing today. They're, it's such a nice day to be out fishing. But ice fishing's over. It's the quickest, earliest ice fishing season we've ever had in Maine. The ice got rotten in a hurry. So I've created a support group of, of fellow ice fishermen who might have early onset ice fishing seasonal depression. And we're all out here and we're ice fishing. We're ice fishing in boats. See, John's over there. Dan's over there. Another boat over there joined us. Looks like John's hooked up on one. Hey Dan, wave to the people. Hi, people. John would wave, but he's hooked up on a nice fish. Oh, no, I'm just reeling up. Oh, you just reeling up. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're out here, and we're getting rid of our early ice fishing seasonal depression in the support group. Is there anything you guys would like to share in the support we're group? We're all part of the support group yep. today. Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. That's awesome. I've been to Niagara Falls and looked across into Canada. All right, guys. Get Donnie chatting on one of these lives. Yeah, I definitely will. We we had him on some of the lives uh, at the sawmill, but he's uh he loves being on camera. Don't ever believe a word otherwise. He's so good at it. Yeah, and he's really good at it. We got somebody from Oregon. That's awesome. Second person from Oregon. We got one from New Hampshire. Michael's in New Hampshire. The UK amazes me. Baileyville, Maine. Vassalboro, Maine. That's pretty close to my hometown. Switzerland. That is so cool. Thank you for tuning in. How is the fishing in Switzerland? Do you guys have lake trout? Do you have any trout? I don't know anything about fishing in Switzerland. Respect from across the pond in Dublin, Ireland. This is the coolest live I've ever shot. <laughs> I've never, ever gotten people from, so, or that I knew of. So we have Switzerland, Canada, Ireland. The UK somewhere. The UK somewhere. The United States. Massive. And Massachusetts. That is so crazy cool. And Oregon. Wow, this is like the, the coolest reach on, on live. I, I just love this. And I hope you guys enjoy the video and appreciate it. We got 60 people tuning in right now. We have 41 thumbs up. So people are enjoying it. We're out here in Maine, USA, on Sebago Lake. It's one of the crystal clear lakes. It's actually, I think, a water res for like Portland area. And it's just amazing, amazing, beautiful lake. You can see Mount Washington in the background. You can see this giant jet coming over. Oh, that's kind of cool. John, a giant plane coming over. I wish I had. Wow, and he's coming in pretty low. That's a little weird. <laughs> what is he? I don't know. I'm going to show you guys this plane, and you guys who know your planes, tell us what it is. If it's a B-52 bomber, let us know. <laughs> I feel like we'll know before that. That's got to be like a military jet. Oh, is it a, it's a prop jet? Is it a Harrier? It's huge. Military? 
I don't know. That's pretty cool. Huh. That's a massive plane. So Jim Carlisle said he drove five hours last Saturday, Minnesota, to catch one 14-inch crappie. Missed a bigger one at the hole, but it was worth it. Jim, I just got done saying I had my best ice fishing year ever. Um, I ended up over 115 inches. I only counted 15 inches or above and ended up with um, like 114, I think, or something like that. I stopped really counting around 100. So we're super, super lucky in Maine. Richard Dowlin, thank you very much for your support. A C-130, okay. Sean Adams said C-130. Dude, I got the great, another, somebody said a C-130 maybe. A random consumer. I got the greatest subscribers ever. This yeah, is, isn't this the coolest thing? Like, I'm getting to interact like this. My family has a cabin on Sebago in Naples. Awesome, yeah. We put in, uh, what town did we put in? Naples. We put in in Naples today, so. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody had their side-by-side -side out fishing 10 days ago in Maine. It's so crazy. Cement Pro, yep, exactly. 10 days ago they were fishing in Maine on on the ice it just went out so quick and you know we get we get early onset uh seasonal depression ice fishing ice is out seasonal depression and this year it came on really early and so we're out here in our support group we decided to bring our rods with us you know just to have them fish. oh fish fish roaming on the bond oh cj's hooked Ooh, up on a good one, one. <laughs> that happened in a hurry that was a good one yep yeah, that was pretty cool uh, i'm not really loving my hook set but... he does not love his hook set guys yeah. We'll show you this fish. Yeah, he's, pretty... he's liking it. I'm liking it. So this is this is what they say: one jerk, a jerk on one end, waiting for a jerk on the other. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's a pretty good fish. He said it's a good fish. It's a good fish. We'll give the we'll give the folks at home net cam. Let's see you. You got to look at him. Oh, yeah. Did he burp? We're using ice fishing jig rods, so you don't get a ton of leverage on these fish, but you get enough. You get to feel every bit of the fight, which is awesome. Oh, yeah, he's got some drag going. Go. Oh, yeah, nice one. Beauty. Oh, he popped off right into the net. told you I didn't like the hook set. <laughs> he popped off right into the net. Guess what, guys? That's my fish now. CJ lost him at the net, and now I caught him. So, is that how that works? Is that how that works? I don't know. What do you guys think at home? Let us know in the comments. But he's going to hold that fish up for you. That's a really nice lake trout. Still burping. Ah, he got you back. Bring okay, it's mouth. your fish. <laughs> he got you back. It's definitely your fish. Nice fish. But nice quality. Beautiful, beautiful lake trout right there. Came flying in on the bottom, and CJ lifted up just in time to set the hook on him. What do you think, Donnie? Want him? No, that one he could probably throw back. Unless, I mean, he, he he's not hurt at all or anything. No, he's good. Good healthy fish. Uh, Corey's got a monster coming in on the bottom. Way. Oh no! Yeah, Corey's about to get a bite. <laughs> lift up, lift up. He's, he's still on yes. you. He got him. <laughs> that is so cool. That's the coolest thing about the live scope. Is oh, I just put he, the camera down too. Yep. Yeah, is he never would have caught that he fish? Shakes, actually. CJ, can you man the camera for a second? Okay. I'm about to triple up. Corey's hooked up. <laughs> I, hooked up. I, did, I barely put the camera down enough time. Corey's hooked up. Joe's got one chasing him. See Joe's lure. Oh, the fish just disappeared. He gave up. He was right there. But Corey's got a good one. He's fighting. The bank, right? Yep. That was pretty good. Cool. One. Good one. Yeah, nice. There you go. We own him. Nice. Pretty hot and heavy, guys. Give uh, If you want to do this, you can do it. It's easy. Give CJ a call at uh, Burnt Meadow Guide Service. He's got a couple openings, I think, over the next week and a half, and then he's booked up pretty hard. But there's uh, there's Corey with his first fish, probably of his life, I think. Is that your first fish ever? I'm a made guide. Never caught anything in my life. I'm going to put this one back, though. That's his first fish ever, so congratulations in the comments to Corey. I didn't think on they the, would be wet. On the first. It threw me off. <laughs> it threw him off that it had slime, and it was wet. 
So, yeah, I'm give give Corey a big congratulations for his first fish ever. Here's your jacket. I'm gonna... My jacket's right here. <laughs> you just use my sweatshirt. It's easy to find. I'm wearing it. I didn't even get to turn my camera off. That was pretty cool. That's the um, the cool thing about the live scope is I was I was watching it as and Corey was filming CJ and I saw a fish was coming and he got to his rod just in time and he gave it an awesome hook set. Was it on the bottom? No, he came in like at the same height as yours as, as your bait. You were just sitting there too. Uh, you were at 90, so you were like 10 feet off the bottom and he came in and just shot up when I saw it and I was like, Corey, Corey, Corey. Interesting. And then it, honestly, like no as movement. soon as you got to the rod, you got that little bit of lift is when it bit. So it was like perfect timing. <laughs> There's one on the bottom over by you right now, Corey, too. I'm working on it. I can't get down fast enough. Yeah. So, but tons of fun, guys. I mean, I mean, thumbs up for Corey. Thumbs up for CJ. Who's getting the thumbs up for that one? That Somebody's going to give you guys a thumbs up there. on the video. A little teamwork there. Scott wants to know, yes, we are using live scope. Gage. No, man. What? What? No. Ethan Gage, what are you guys doing? Jeez, why would anybody ever do that? Weird, but yeah, we are, uh, we're having a blast out here, guys. We're having a ton of fun. We're catching lake trout in a hundred foot of water. I'll show you the live scope. We switched over to the LVS uh, 62 transducer so we could really see what's going on down there. It's deep, you know, like the 34, you're kind of at, you're pushing the limitations. You really got to have good settings and good calm day like this to be able to see anything in a hundred foot of water. So that's where the 62 really comes into hand, handy. But I'll show you this. In the middle of the screen, you could see CJ coming down. He gets a little double ping on his every once in a while. I'm to the right. That's my jig going up and down. And then Corey's on the left over near CJ. So that's us in a hundred foot of water. And the rest of the support group is right here. Um, th those guys are in the support group. He's in the support group. He's in the support group. Then we got a couple more. Fish. Oh, fish, fish, fish. Fish. oh, wake up. Oh, CJ's about to get reeled again. Oh, he quit on him. Denied. I'm going to show you guys the live scope. There's the fish. Yep. These are our jigs. Man, he looked like he wanted to eat, too. Yeah, That's quick. quick. That was a weird one. I'll get him back. Hold on. All right, Corey, bring him back. A little mud stop. Yeah, single cruisers. So yeah, so if you guys are just tuning in, we're here in our support group for early ice out. We're really upset. We all have a major ice out depression because we love ice fishing so much. So we brought our ice fishing rods, as you can see, and we're jigging in a hundred foot. We're really curious how these jig rods are gonna work in a hundred foot, and it's really no different than if you were ice fishing. I might be able to get my shoelaces back after a day like <laughs> yeah, that's this. right. <laughs> I'd take CJ's shoelaces a couple weeks ago because yeah. he was so upset about it. And, and I know uh, as a guide, you know, he lost a ton of business this year because of how bad the ice conditions were on a serious note. So, so yeah. So, oh, here we go. Yep. Yeah. Uh, got one coming in on the on the left. Got Corey Hard. Then CJ. went to CJ. Got Corey again. Back to Joe. No, nope. it didn't like mine. Denied. Yeah. Headed to Dan. Yeah. You'll see that boat hooked up in a minute. <laughs> so yeah, um, so we're out here and we're jigging deep lake trout. Absolutely beautiful day in March oh, in Maine. Going, Corey. yep. Corey's, well, we all, oh, holy oh, we're gonna have some action here, guys. There's a pile of fish on there. Right we got now. more fish on than we've seen all day. Holy cow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna hook up. How did he miss it? What? They must have been small. Yeah. Is that you on the right? That's gotta be. A That's fish. a fish. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. CJ just had a bite. I'm trying to play like a little bit of keep away with them. Let me turn the screen. How did I not hook that fish? And drag. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, you did loosen your drag on that fight. Oh, that's right. Still 
telling you, Corey. So yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, we're jigging super deep lake trout. We got a beautiful day here in Maine, and somebody's about to get bit in the next next 30 seconds. Stay tuned. CJ's about to CJ's gonna oh, get bit. Yeah, oh yeah. It, get bit. It's wow. happening. How did no it? way. Oh no man. way. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> this is awesome, guys. I do miss ice fishing, but when you're having this much fun, you don't even think about it. Getting yell the N word. Why would anybody yell the N word? I don't understand that. Got a bunch of people in the chat. I don't know how to kick him off the chat. Got support group admin. We just uh, talked. Yeah, where is my support group admin? Isn't that you? Oh man, <laughs> I'm busy. Biggest fish today, probably about five, six pounds. You know, they don't get huge by nature here in Maine. This isn't like in Canada, Manitoba area or anything like that. Like our lake trout, anything over three, four pounds. There's too many in here is the problem. That's why there's no limit on them under 26 inches. And you're allowed one over 26, you know, the trophies. And then anything under 26, you're allowed unlimited because there's, there's too many in here. So a lot of catches. Jacko dog, if you're just tuning in. Um, we've probably put about close to 20 topside today. I think we've had one, two, three, four, four or five on the live chat so far. Um, round up the, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to stop fishing so I can round up some clowns, I guess. And chat, cancel. Dropping the N word and stuff. Nah, they're, 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 they keep saying yell, yell the N word. Why would anybody do that? Put user in timeout. All right, you're gonna go sit in, sit in the corner and time out for a minute. <laughs> you just put you in a penalty box. How's that feel? Put user in timeout. 24 hours in timeout. You're going to have to go sit in the corner if you don't stop this. I will put you in timeout. All right, they're out. They're out, guys. So those two are gone. They're messing up the chat. This is a positive channel. We don't talk about stuff like that. And, you know... We're nice to people anyway, so they're gone. They're in timeout. They're sitting in the corner with a dunce cap on for 24 hours. So if you want to act like a fool, we'll treat you like a fool. <laughs> so yeah, so if you guys are just tuning in, we got 70 people on here. We got 52 thumbs up. Really appreciate it. If you're just tuning in, we are out here on Sebago Lake in Maine. It's the second biggest lake in Maine. It's 330 foot deep. There are two... British Corsair airplanes from World War II on the bottom of this lake that have never been found. They went down uh, doing like training exercises. It's an amazing, amazing lake. It has really good salmon fishing. It's, it's actually got the world record landlocked salmon, at least the state record at 22, over 22 pounds. Um, and the salmon fishing's kind of good. CJ does some salmon fishing here. You got them up in the oh, six. Oh, that's CJ. He's going to get bit. Oh yeah, he's gonna give it. No? Denied me. Denied. This is so much fun with the live it. scope. I'm about to get Oh he denied me! <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. That's it's like you don't wanna see how many you, you don't catch, but it's so much fun to watch these lake trout because what we're doing is we're watching them on live scope and you can see them and you try to play like a game of keep away against them to get them to bite. Otherwise they just look at your bait. They have incredible eyesight even at a hundred foot deep and they won't eat your bait if they see the hooks or if anything's wrong on it. So you play like a little keep away with them. It's just so much fun because it makes them bite. Um, Brian wants to see the panoramic. Yeah, we'll give you the panoramic. Next cast, reel something in. See any big bait balls? No bait balls. They've actually thought they heard a couple salmon hitting the surface. And one was seen like shoot across the live scope. But you're not allowed to fish salmon. Oh, that was a cast. <laughs> you're not allowed to fish salmon until 
April 1st here in Maine on this body of water. So we're we're not targeting any salmon. Otherwise, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if we could if we could probably catch some. But well, let me give you the panoramic. These guys are also in the support group. Oh, Corey just got bit and didn't know it. I'm on it. And he's about to lose his fish to CJ. Watch this, guys. Yep. I don't know why every once in a while Corey and I double up. I know, I don't know which one's mine. <laughs> So I'm gonna go back to the panoramic view. This is an absolutely beautiful lake. I lived on this lake um, or near it for four years of my life. And it just, it just never, it never gets old. It's so pretty and it's crystal clear water. You could throw a quarter in at about 30 foot of water and tell if it's heads or tails sitting on the bottom. That's how clear the water is on a sunny day. But I'll give you the look around. These guys are also in the support group. They saw us catch a couple fish and they came right in and crowded us, but hey, that's how it is. <laughs> And then there's John over there. He's whaling on some fish too. And then give you the all around panoramic view. There's Corey. And then uh, where is Mount Washington? See Where'd that move? It's usually over there. So Mount Washington today, it's gonna be over there. You can't see it today behind those clouds, but on a nice clear, non-cloudy day, you could actually see it. It's super, super pretty. Um, if you guys don't know, Mount Washington's recorded some of the worst weather conditions in the history of recording weather conditions. It was something like 200 degrees with a wind chill below zero or something crazy with uh, crazy winds. So, yeah. So, it's been a beautiful day. We've got eagles flying over. We've got a couple seagulls sitting on the, on the surface over there. I heard a loon cry earlier. And we've got a lot of lake trout topside. We're catching togue also known as lake trout as you can see we're trying to fill up this side of the cooler for my friend donnie it's his birthday tomorrow and for his birthday he asked for about six to ten lake trout for his birthday so he could put them in the smoker he makes candied lake trout um, with with his own with his own maple syrup watching joe's live nice looks like a blast oh we're having a blast out here oh fish coming in fish coming in oh shoot Dang it. Phone fish. Phone fish. I've missed a couple fish because of the phone, but it's worth it. We got 52 people here, 57 thumbs up. So five people gave two thumbs up, I guess, is how that works. Or people gave thumbs up before they left. But yeah, that horizon line is amazing. It's such a beautiful lake, guys. I've Normally, you don't get this flat of conditions on this lake. This lake always blows and blows up with the wind. and it can get pretty ugly out here. I've seen boats sunk on this lake before, but yeah, it's, it's really pretty. We're in Maine of the USA. The guys are living the dream. That is, that is the truth. So yeah, so if you guys are just tuning in, let us know where you're from. We've had people from Switzerland. We've had Ireland, Canada, where else? Um, the UK, somewhere in the UK and nairobi so far in the chat so we love to hear from you a uh, couple people from oregon which was pretty cool and we're out here for our support group supporting each other and we decided since we didn't get a chance to use the lvs 62 from garmin that's super deep transducer for for uh, salt water that we got to use on this deep lake it's uh, 330 foot deep and we didn't get a chance to use our super heavy deep jig rods for lake trout for ice fishing we said, you know what, let's go bring our ice fishing stuff out right now and see how we do. So we brought it out now and, and uh, it's doing really, really well. We've, we've put probably close to 20 fish topside. You know, in the, we're over 15, I'd have to say, in, in that 20 range. I don't know how many we've kept. There is no limit on the amount that you're allowed to keep because the state wants to reduce the amount of the population in here. They're, they're saying that there are too many lake trout, but but we're gonna bring home a bunch for um, for Donnie. It's his 81st birthday tomorrow. Wish him a happy birthday. And then he's, we'll shoot a video on uh, smoking these. We'll do, we'll end up doing a catch and cook. So you guys will see the catch. I got a GoPro going behind me and I'll put that into a catch and cook where Donnie will cook them and make them into um, lake trout candy, which is just tremendous to eat. Um, I like eating lake trout. Oh, Corey, Corey, catch him. Oh, Corey, you got two coming. 
Two coming in hot. Corey's about to about to get bit. CJ just stole him from him. CJ stole him from Corey. I'm gonna try to steal him from CJ. We got three fish on the screen. It's pandemonium here, guys. Look at this. Who's having more fun than us? Coming. Another one too on the left side. Keeps going around. Oh, he went right by me to you, CJ. No, he not. Oh, he went to that other fish actually. He's underneath. He's underneath me. Is he? We got another boat coming in to join us. We got another boat coming in to join the support group, guys. That was a uh, pandemonium. We had oh, yeah, we had three lake trout come flying through. It was awesome. It was awesome. We got a game warden coming in to check our fishing licenses. Aaron Royce from Southern Maine. That's where we are. We're in Southern Maine. Oh, we got somebody from Brazil watching. Well, leg deficiency, so I can't go out that much. Watching stuff like you're doing is amazing for me. Brian, thank you for tuning in all the way That's from Brazil. So this is so cool that you're you're watching this, and uh, it's amazing. Yeah, we're having a blast out here catching these super deep lake trout on Sebago Lake in southern Maine. Salt St. Marie, Ontario, Canada. Love the show. David, uh, Donnie knows that area really well. He loves hearing when people are from uh, from Canada that tune in. Greenbush, Maine, should be cutting trees, but this is much better. Josh, <laughs> thank you, buddy. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, I believe they call you Oopers. Oopers? Oopers. They call you Oopers. So thank you for tuning in from Michigan. Amazing fishing in that area. Uh, Jeff Geoff is going to be here in October, a great time of year to come to Maine. Brian's having a blast. Brian, thanks for tuning in, man. Really appreciate it. You want to have the warden on? And some civilian journalism. You got it, JJ. Is it a warden? No. Oh, I guess it's not a warden. It's just somebody is on the bent rod pattern, and they saw us catch some fish, and they're coming over to join the support group. So all are welcome in our support group. Cassins, Abercrombie, North Dakota. Amazing. I did not. I've never heard of Abercrombie, North Dakota. Wow, that is super cool. Alabama. What kind of bait do you guys use for stuff like this? So, so I'm using a blade bait. I'll show you. I'll show you one in the package. This is from Acme. This is called the V Rod. It's three quarters ounce, so it gets down really fast in a hundred foot of water. CJ is using a jig head, um, three quarter ounce with a swim bait on it, and I think Corey are using one of these. I'm using a Fire Tiger swim bait. He's using a Fire Tiger uh, uh, swim bait, bait or, or no? He's using the V Rod too. Yeah. So yeah, so that's what we use for baits. Can um, you see it? Yep, that's what CJ's using right there. Uh, Woodchuck man's tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Fishing has been fantastic, guys. Uh, we're we're here in early March, mid March. We're in the Ides of March, catching lake trout in a hundred foot of water, crystal clear water. It's uh, it's a lot of fun catching these fish, and and we're having a blast. And we're forgetting about how early ice fishing season ended this year. So the quickest way to get over the loss of an ice fishing season is to get on top of the boat or on the top of the water in a boat. That's the quickest way to get over something is, uh, is get back out. So we got a fish coming in from the left hard on Corey. He's really generous. He lets him go by and let CJ catch him. He's been doing that all day. <laughs> I'm the facilitator. He's the facilitator. He's actually here working. He's shooting video today, and, and he's getting paid to do this. I'm so. the John Stockton of fishing. He is the John Stockton. He's got more assists than Caitlin Clark. About the trout recipe, your friend knows. Come on, Brian, tune in, because you will see the trout recipe. You'll see how Donnie brines these lake trout, and then how he soaks them, and then how he smokes them, too. He uses, like, some some apple and hickory wood from home. So we'll definitely show you that if you subscribe to the channel. I'm giving away free subscriptions to the channel today. Anyone who subscribes, it's free for today to subscribe to my channel. So all you have to do is just hit the subscribe channel and it's gonna be free all day or for the next 24 hours. Matt would love to be out here with us. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. We're having a absolute blast. Um, Brian, subscribe. Thank you. We will show you that recipe very soon. If you want to go after the live's over, go to where you see my videos on my channel and type in 
like smoked fish. You'll see Donnie actually smoke some fish last year too, which was, oh, we got we got a hook up behind us. Nice. Nice, good, good lake trout for John. But yeah, if you want to see, um, we did smoke some fish on the channel before. If you type in like uh, smoke fish in the videos or uh, something along those lines, you'll be able to watch the video from last year where we did something similar to what we're doing today. JJ says the absolute best way is is the is to candy them, and uh, yeah, I couldn't agree. I I definitely agree. Um, I ate that salmon last year poached like in boiling water with butter, and that was tremendous too. So I'm kind of curious how that is to try them that way. So Nathan Sterling tuning in. Um, we've hit like six or seven states here today. Have tuned in seven or eight different countries. It's been a pretty amazing live show. We got 78 people tuning in right now. We have 59 thumbs up. So there's still 19 people who give it, who would give it a thumbs down if they could. So guys, we got to really pick it up and start catching more fish. I'm doing my best. Yeah, he's doing his best. We only have like, what do we catch? Like five now, six on the live. I got a low battery, so we're at 20%. So I got a low battery, guys. I'll be able to keep this going a little while longer. What's the best part of that lake to fish you know so far, Jeff Edwards? So for lake trout, I mean, honestly, anywhere in this lake, you just you just find the find the channels outside of humps, you know, outside corners, bends, shoals. For bass, I've always done best like in Turtle Cove or in muddy in the muddy river. Um, I don't fish this lake a lot, and then down near the station used to be amazing out front of that for lake trout, so I'm sure it still is. So. Swifties forever says, please give me a shout out. This is a shout out to hashtag Swifties forever. Um, fish. fish on the board. He's on CJ. We got a fish coming. He's coming to me, fish. coming to me. No, he went by. Uh, definitely Swifties. If you're talking about Taylor Swift, how could you not be a Swiftie forever? I mean, who doesn't love Taylor Swift? I mean, that's not something you would expect to hear on this channel when you tune in today, but I absolutely love Taylor Swift. She's got a house like right over there. And if anytime she wants to come out fishing, I would gladly take her out fishing. We're gonna grill some burgers over there. We're gonna grill some burgers? At the Swifty, yeah. At the Swift, at Taylor's house? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> so we're gonna go eat lunch with Taylor. Uh, looks like I'll be out of battery by then, but I'll try to get it on the GoPro for you guys. It's your <laughs> Poached and butter is awesome. We have Matt Wolf is in Santan Valley, Arizona. It's getting in the 80s there. That's crazy, crazy. Cool awesome. Here. Thanks for tuning in. We got someone from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Bishop's 15. That's awesome. Heading to work. Thank you for tuning in. Brad Oakley, shout out to you. Who else wants a shout out on a live? Free subscriptions and shout outs. I'm giving out free subscriptions <laughs> with shout outs. So if you get a shout out, it's free to subscribe. Brad Oakley, shout out to you. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate it. Jeff was down by your house in Watch Hill, Rhode Island a few months back, fishing with Taylor Swift. That would be a pretty cool show, wouldn't it? Yeah, I would do that. I mean, if she asked, I'd probably take her out fishing. What do you guys think? Yeah, might as well. I mean, she's super positive. Um, she's got a great message and just really nice, really nice You're lady. About yeah, <laughs> so we're talking about Taylor Swift here. We're out fishing. Oh my God. We're in our support group. I need your man card. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they, uh, they need my man card, but but I guarantee you if Taylor Swift was out here, she'd probably walk across the water. <laughs> to get your autograph. Yeah. No, she would just be out here walking across the water, and I guarantee these guys wouldn't wouldn't have that attitude then. So, Nathan just joined. Thank you for tuning in. Brad says slay him. <laughs> We're going to slay him pretty soon, Brad. We got a fish coming in. One of these guys is about to catch a fish. There's Two coming in right there. Watch this foolishness on the live scope. Corey, that's you. Corey's got two coming. They bypass him to get to CJ. Come on up. All right, so there's like, if you guys have never done this lake trout fishing or seen like deep lake trout fishing, there's a pretty good pattern to how to catch these fish if you find them. So we found the fish first. They're deep, they're in a hundred foot of water. And we're watching our electronics and you can do it on a regular sonar too. We happen to have live scope here, which is just amazing because you can see exactly what the fish are doing in and out and everything else. But if you have, even if you have traditional sonar, what you do is you're jigging near or on the bottom 
And then when a fish comes in on the bottom, you start to reel up and play like a game of cat and mouse where you're trying to keep that mouse away from the cat. And then that usually triggers a bite or more aggression from these lake trout. So it's a lot of fun for us to watch this screen jig and jig, nothing on it. And then a fish enters the chat from one side or the other. And then we start lifting up or jigging or reeling up to try to get them to bite. And then, you know, it happens maybe one in 10 times you get a bite. So it's really exciting when you get that opportunity to do that. And when several come in, you usually get more bites because they're aggressive against each other. They don't want the other cat getting that mouse before they get it. So that's what we're doing out here today. We're fishing with three quarter to one ounce baits, uh, blade baits or swim baits on jig heads. And we're fishing super, super deep. So favorite fish to eat, Brad says, Brad, Oh boy, it changes. Uh, cusk are my favorite. Cusk nuggets. Uh, we call them cusk here in Maine. Other states call them burbot, um, ling, ling cod, but that's probably my favorite fish to eat. And then crappie are right up there. Yellow perch, white perch. Um, yeah, those are those are the top probably. But CJ's gonna scoot us over onto some fish. What's your favorite fish to eat? I got that one. Rainbow trout. I've never eaten rainbow trout. I was lucky enough to catch a few last year on one of my videos, but I've never eaten them. We, we're just starting to get a lot more rainbow trout in Maine. The state has been stocking them for the last couple of years really hard. Walleye. I have eaten walleye. That is really tremendous, too. It's uh, it's pretty close to perch, maybe just a little firmer, a little... Um, oh, oh, I got a follower. Oh, he's... Oh. Yeah, you control these. You can go. I just had a follower come up. Uh, Pickerel is good. Pike. Oh, we're yeah, up. you got one we're for up. sure. We're hooked up on a little guy. Oh, oh, did he come off? He came off. He came off. Yeah, it didn't feel like a like I had him too well. But yeah, I just had one come off. That's my first loss of the day. Um, a rainbow trout. I don't know. Rainbow trout. They're pretty happy, I guess. How big were they? The fish we're catching today are in the three to six pound range. Let me show them the question. Honest question, can you get more than one fish with a single bait, like two fish at once? Yes, you can. It's very, uh, it's close to the time of year. In late May on my home lake, Damariscotta Lake, we catch uh, the Elwive run into the lake from the ocean to spawn. They're Andromedus, I think is the word. And they come to spawn and the fish just feast on them like crazy. So if you use a jerk bait that has like two or even three treble hooks, a lot of times you'll catch two bass on it once. I've never caught three, but I have caught two bass uh, several times on the same cast when the Elwive are running and the fish are really cued in on the Elwive. Hey Joe, guys looks out of place not being on the ice. Yeah, there's very few videos in the past eight, eight or nine years of me not in a boat, I mean, not on the ice or in a boat. So yeah, I'm on a boat, guys. I'm on a boat. You make that a song. Yeah. Ready for smallies and glides anytime now. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? And do you have a pet? I don't have a pet. No, I, my last pet I had was a gray squirrel that I raised that fell out of the nest. I think that was my last pet. Peanut? Yeah. No, Little B was her name. Um, what's the biggest fish you've ever caught? The biggest fish I ever caught was a shark. I do not know what variety it was. It was in uh, the Keys, had a big pine key. And then I caught a few tarpon. I had one on for like two hours and 45 minutes in the 200 pound, 250 pound range. Where are you fishing? We're fishing on Sebago Lake in Southern Maine, USA. Two largies once on the Cobb River. Yep. Complete. Oh, there was a fish way up high. Who's got that one? Me. It was close. Man, we're about to hook up, guys. Is that, is that a fish or you? No, that's... Yeah. That was a fish. Where are you, Joe? Are you a he's fisher? He's dragging behind. Uh, I'm trying to get down to him, but we're in 100 foot of water. Friends, there we are. We're in 100 foot of water. <laughs> Do you ever get bitten by a fish? Yes. I've gotten bitten by fish one time when I was barracuda fishing. Um, they actually bite you on purpose. And I'll show you guys what happened to my thumb if you look. Look at this. It, 
it took my thumb clear off, and then I can put it back on by screwing it on. So. <laughs> so yeah, but but not often. I'm pretty careful. I've been bitten by more other anglers than I have fish. What bait are you using, Nathan? I am using a blade bait. Um, I'll show you guys this one. This is the V rod. There it is. Made by Acme. They make these in a bunch of different sizes. I'm using the three quarter. They make it down to like an eighth now for ice fishing. And I caught a pile of big crappie on it this winter, the smaller one. So it's just a blade bait that you just, you get down there. It's got a ton of vibration when you yank it up and when it falls, it looks like a dying bait fish. And it, um, it's like the perfect size for what these fish are keying in on. These fish are keying in on Elwive and anything really, but shiners and Elwives and smelt if they can. Is that one underneath? The oh, fisherman with a squirrel, yeah. Did it hurt? Yeah, it hurt pretty bad, but um, now that I can just put that thumb back on, it doesn't hurt that bad anymore. You guys want to see that again? Okay, I'll show you my trick thumb. <laughs> they want to see it again. See, there's my thumb right there. Like, see that? And then if you slowly pull it, you can pull it away. See it? Look. See that? Trick thumb. And you can screw it right back in. I got the big drop in front of my camp on Sebago, Long Beach, Nason's Beach. Nason's Beach is right there. 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 <laughs> Actually, can you catch bass where you are? No, there's no bass here that I know of. Um, and we're really, really deep. I don't, I have in Texas one time, I actually did catch a bass close to a hundred foot deep, Ooh. but, um, but bass typically won't go that deep. It's too deep for them. The oxygen level is too low for them down there. The dissolved oxygen and the pressure is, uh, is a little bit too hard for them yeah, at, the, at those kind of depths. So, well, yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free. Um, you guys don't drink while you're fishing here in Brazil. Most fishermen drink some beers while fishing. No, I don't drink at all. I'm, uh, I'm alcohol free. Um, and, and then when we're out here, we're pretty serious about the fishing. And there's times to have, there's times to have fun doing that. And there's times to fish. And if you mix both, then you kind of cheat yourself out of both, you know, like, so, so I like to, I like to focus on my fishing while I'm out here. Got a couple coming in, coming in hot. Come on, baby. Wow. Wow, what was that guy's problem? That was, he had an attitude. Yeah, that guy was going to bite. He's going to bite one of you guys for sure. Well, we just had some up. fish activity. When do you return to the ice cream empire? It's, it's based on weather. You know, a lot of my employees are in school still, so I usually wait till it's closer to school being out, whether it be college or high school. Wow. And um, it's weather related. Typically, we've opened on average like the last week of April or the first week of May every year. And it might be earlier this year because of this uh, this weather change. But does fishing help you relieve stress? Fishing is whatever you want to get out of it. It can be the most stressful thing in your life and it can be the least stressful thing in your life too. It definitely does relieve stress. Just being out here on the water and enjoying the outside and just a beautiful day and great friends is definitely the least amount of stress there is. I've yeah, fished in true. I've fished in tournaments before for three hundred thousand dollars against two hundred and fifty of the best anglers in the world. And you know, that can be stressful and you know, making sure your equipment's good and being on a time limit and you know, fighting the weather. So so it can be like the most stressful thing in the world too, but okay. um, okay. it's very it's very stress free for me. You know, as long as these guys don't put too much stress on me. Uh, Corey's about to, yeah, Corey hooked up. Look at that, guys. So Corey has never caught a fish before. <laughs> this is going to be his first fish ever. So cheer him on, guys. It's two first fish on one live. He's going to have two first fish on one live if you're just tuning in. First try. Brian wants to know about the British lakes. You can Google it. It's on a, if you Google Sebago Lake, but it's, uh, there's two Corsairs down there that crashed. Um, I don't know why they crashed, but they've never, they've never been able to find them. All right, guys, Corey's hooked up. His first fish ever, guys. Cheer him on. 
Give him a thumbs up if he actually catches this thing. He's never caught a fish before. Is it going to be wet? It'll be slimy. It'll be wet. It'll be icky. But we have faith in you that you can catch this fish. Thumbs up, guys, for Corey on his first fish ever. It's 100 feet deep. He's doing his best to get this thing up. His arm's tired, but he's manning through. How you doing, bud? You need the belt? Let's get him up so we can show the folks at home. You got the net? Yeah, it's up there. Oh. Need the net? There he is. Nice. Corey, show the folks at home your nice lake trout. This is the first fish I've ever caught. That's the first fish ever, guys. Thumbs There's up for his first fish. Man, God. <laughs> I got this at Goodwill, this jacket. Came with the patch. We're gonna let Chartreuse. this one go, though, before it gets too, too uh, messy. My phone is down real low on battery, so I got another maybe 10 minutes of filming left on this phone. And then uh, then we'll end this live. We're over 105 minutes long right now, so we'll probably do like a two hour, two hours and then call it quits. But nice second first fish. So you got to see both your first fish. That's pretty cool. <laughs> those yeah. pliers. Uh, yep. You when guys all turn into a bass. We're gonna go try the dingleys, but I'll there you go. Fish. You throw them What's that? Give me that one thing. Yeah. Oh. Sweet. Do you have any electrical tape? No. You guys had a pretty good day. You guys caught a few, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah, these guys had a great day so far, and their day's still going. Yeah. We're in a. Um, thanks for joining our support group for early ice fishing being over this is our support group we appreciate you guys joining it and, you know there's a uh, coffee and donuts on your way out you can meet here every day if you want yeah go ahead <laughs> vanessa wants to know how many hours do you usually fish <laughs> um well it really depends on the weather and what else I have going on, but I try to fish as many as possible is the best answer for that. So in the, in the winter, typically like every hour of daylight. So in Maine, that can be like eight or 10 hours long of daylight in the, in the winter. And then the summer we'll have like 12 hours of daylight here. So I've done that, you know, um, I don't fish a lot at night, but, but I've been known to do it before too. From, Dude, Jeff says I need to start a support group for maple syrupers this season. It ends here in Ohio. Dude, it's been our worst syrup in year. But right now, it's like we're having like a little comeback on the on the syrup year. It's getting saved. Uh, it ran it ran for like 18 hours the other day. It, it ran really the syrup the sap ran really well the other day, and I got a video coming out with a new evaporator. Um, it's an incredible evaporator that had the water boiling in They're on the right. uh, 12 minutes we were boiling sap in this huge evaporator. It's called uh, Smoky Lake and it's I got a whole video on it using this thing. It's top notch. It's got an automatic dump and everything. We set it to like 219 degrees I think and it was auto dump. Why are you leaving fish to find fish? Don't you know better? What's the history in regard to the weather at or around the lake? I've read about some extreme conditions. So the history here is it used to ice over. It used to be this, this week we'd be ice fishing on this lake, jigging these same fish, but riding our snowmobiles to where we are, standing on top of a foot or two of ice. And it's just, a, just been a crazy warm year, really bad year for ice. So that's, that's like the basic history of it. Laner, Lane Ramsey, Lane Ramsey, 22, got a five pound bass. Very nice, that's a big bass. That's a good bass in Maine. Smoky Lake Dauntless. No, Jeff, this is the Corsair. It's the uh, two by six. Uh, I should have a video popping up like Friday morning on it. And you're, it's amazing. Yeah, like like this guy, this, this guy invented an incredible product. We gotta, we gotta upgrade his cooler. Um, where is this? Where can I go with you guys? So check out Burnt Meadow Guide Service if you want to do the same exact thing, same boat, same fish, and everything as what I'm doing right now. And we're on uh, Sebago Lake in southern Maine. So they want to see some more fish? 
Saltwater wow. in California, Anthony, that's awesome. Been eyeballing the course here. So Jeff, I gotta tell you, this course yep. here, you'll see it in the video, but it is absolutely incredible. It's, uh, it was unbelievable how, how clean and efficient this thing is. It, it burns fast and it, um, but it just, it's, it's the best syrup making mach machine I've ever seen. Made in Wisconsin. Um, and you'll see more about it this Friday. I'll have a video coming out on it. But yeah. Paige says, congratulations, pretty darn good first catch, Corey. Thank you. Nice. It means a lot to me. Yeah. It means a lot to me. So he's getting better. You know, like like CJ and I probably got like 20 each today. And I want to check out my Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Gia, Jeff's going to watch that video, upgrading evaporators for next year. Yeah. Yeah, watch that video. And if you want to, if you want to check in, and learn more about it after like the season's over just hit me up and i'll put you in contact with wayne who's been running that evaporator for the whole year this year and if there's anything if you have any questions about it or want to know more about it wayne's he's like definitely a studier of uh of that type of stuff so we'll help you out with that abraham shuri where are you coming from i don't understand i don't recognize that language is that egypt Paige says, great eating fish right there. Yeah, Paige, we've been saving a bunch of them. Uh, my buddy's got his birthday. Donnie's birthday is tomorrow. And for his birthday, he wants a bunch of fish. So I'm here to catch a bunch of fish for his birthday. Nathaniel missed it, had to join back in. The cool thing about these lives, guys, is even after this live is over, I'll be able to publish this video and you can go back to it and watch it at any time. But we're down to 12% of battery left. Um... We're gonna we're gonna end up dying here pretty soon on the phone. Let us know where you guys are from if you're just tuning in. It's really cool to hear. Like we got Switzerland, Ireland, Canada, um, Uzbekistan, and a couple other really cool places. But I'll show you guys. We're we're out here jigging with a live scope in 99 foot of water. We've been at 100. 107 foot. Yep, we got a pile of fish in the cooler. Um, there's no limit on these lake trout under 26 inches. You're only allowed to have one over 26 inches. And I'm out here jigging with CJ from Burnt Meadow Guide Service. Uh, he's got a few openings left this spring. So if, if something like this would interest you and you want to come out and catch a pile of fish and, and have a great day on a great boat, um, hit him up. Check him out. He's got all the socials. Any of the, and he's got a uh, interweb. He's got an interweb page too, so you can check him out on the interweb on the computer. But, but otherwise, if you don't, this is uh, we're having a blast doing this. We're getting over a, the loss of an early ice fishing season. This is the earliest the ice has been out in the state of Maine that I could ever remember. So we're we're in our support group to talk about our problems with the early ice out and relieving our stress. Do you use anything on your beard? Never grew a beard that big, but I'm thinking about doing it. Any tips? Yours looks cool. Oh, thank you. No, uh, nothing on my beard. Every once in a while I get food in it, like here, here, yeah, and here. I get a lot of food in it. So there's probably food in my beard and uh, maybe some fish slime and stuff too. But but no, I don't. Um, but yeah, it's almost time to cut it back for ice cream season. I just seen the fish you got. Dang, brother, that's some good catches, Anthony. You thank go. you, Anthony. We're about to catch another one. Um, there's a fish coming in on Corey. Might be able to catch his third first fish if he's able to hook into this one. It's not looking good. Try to catch a bass. There are no bass out here in this depth, guys. There's some bass in this lake, but I cannot catch you a delicious bass. I cannot catch you a delicious bass right now because they're not in these depths of 100 feet. Lane is tuning in from Florida. Uh, Nathaniel wants to see some of our fish. What's the biggest fish you caught today or ever? Today, probably like six pounds today, maybe five pounds. Probably in that six pound range. Ever was in the several hundreds, probably three, 300 pounds or so. Good afternoon, Mike. Thank you for tuning in. Anybody need a shout out? Anybody want a, a shout out today? Put it in the comments and I will give you a shout out. We're giving free subscriptions 
to anyone who's tuned into this live for the next one hour. If you hit the subscribe button, it's completely free. No cost for the Why rest of the day. you let them follow our social media? Corey's time for free. Because you guys, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money or budget. But, but I'll let you, I'll dig out a couple of fish out of the cooler. While I'm doing that, these guys will tell you about their social medias if you want to tune into theirs. Um, go ahead, Corey. My social media? Yeah, so, uh, if, if you, only if you want people to tune in. <laughs> you can actually follow. So I'm the creative director for Packback Co. Joe is going to show you this, uh, this cooler here in a second. But we're uh, P-A-C-B-A-K-C-O. So it's Packback Co. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Go check us out. I can't turn that camera to you, CJ. My I hands are full. I, I got, got you, buddy. To you. To me? Yeah, tell them about yours. So, Barrett Metal Guide Service. Instagram and Facebook. I think it's Barrett Metal Guide Service on Facebook. Barrett Metal Guide on Instagram. Follow along fun adventures. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wanted to see the fish we're catching today? Here's just a few. They are togue. They're lake trout. They're pretty, pretty good size, actually. They are heavier. We got probably a five pound average going. Um, they're teethy critters and we're bringing these home to eat. We're on a um, we're on a grocery mission today. We're on a meat mission today and these are gonna go home to Donnie and he's for his birthday tomorrow and he's gonna, he's gonna put these in candy them and smoke them up for us. It's an absolutely gorgeous day out here. We're filling up the pack back cooler. On, uh, just on the one side, this is the new 60 cord. This thing is awesome. It's got a table built in, a cutting board and it actually has a vacuum sealer. I don't know if I can show you that or not right now. It's not in this. Oh, it's in here, right? So. Yeah. It's got a vacuum sealer that's run on a battery. So we can't vacuum seal these fish right now because we're on the water and the game warden might not know what type of fish they are. So there are laws about that. But we can vacuum seal them when we are ready to eat them and we get them off the off the water. So we'll be doing some of that later. You can tune into my other videos this winter using that thing if you want to check it out. But, but yeah, so that's the crew. Um, we're still fishing. I got a, I'm down to 10% battery on my phone. So we got a little bit longer for you guys. Probably gonna, probably gonna catch one more fish for you. Um, and then call it, call it a, a video. Luke is going trout fishing around his birthday in April for stream trout opener in the Southeast Minnesota. Awesome, good for you. Don't forget to buy your trout stamp because I think you need trout stamps in that state. Lane says they are big. They are humongous, Brian. Yeah, those are good lake trout. Hey, why can't CJ catch anything? Donnie Sipes. Do you know Donnie? <laughs> <laughs> he's try He's just being a really good guide. Rewind, you know? rewind. Or just Donnie. hit the rewind button. He's got like three or four top side on this live. Um, ever eat sashimi? Yes, I have eaten sashimi. I've eaten sushi. Um, love it. It's absolutely great. Oh, Here comes we got a, fish. a giant coming on the bottom. Here you go, Donnie. Donnie Sipes. Stay tuned. CJ's about to catch one. No. Nope. Or it's just going to swim by all of us and not even look. Oh, that, was, that was spam. spam it did, it did this. Yeah, that was spam mail. Lane, Lane Ramsey 22 wants a shout out. Lane, here's a shout out to you. Thanks for tuning in. We'll give you a free subscription for the rest of the day. How do you like that, bud? Anybody else need a shout out on a day like this? Mental health is super important and we're here to give you guys something to educate, inspire, or something to, to laugh about. So we're having a blast out here today and we're all feeling really good. Corey's about to catch his first fish ever. Reel up. Reel up. Reel up. On, keep going. Keep, keep going. Ah, oh, it's so much fun playing cat and mouse with these fish. Oh, he's still on you, bud. Oh, he just got it. Yeah. Hard. Did, oh, I get, did I get his attention? Yeah, I think you did. He's still watching Corey's hard. I'll CJ's going to steal this fish from him. I'll get him. Get out of here. Operation Game get Thief. Get out of here. Who's got the number <laughs> for Operation no Game Thief? <laughs> CJ's defense. stealing his fish. <laughs> Freedom Fishing's going to Florida this next week with a custom glide bait. Looking to break his PB just a few times. Yeah, that's a, there, you, that's you'll a have fish. fun. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Come on. CJ's going to steal this fish. No, yeah, he's, he's got no, it. He's, he's got it. Get out of here. He's got it. 
Stop talking, Joey. He hears you. He's got it. Oh, he's, he's on you. We're at 100 foot of water. He's on you. <laughs> Dan, love it. Wants one, Joe. Dan, where do you live? I'll catch you a lake trout. Can I have a shout out, please? Laura Tyndale. Shout out to you. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to give you a free subscription for the rest of the day just for tuning in. We're down to 8% battery on this phone, guys. So oh, we're pick? trying to get you this last coming fish back. Coming back. so we can tune out. He's coming, coming back. back. Oh, he's going for CJ. CJ's going to get him. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Oh, denied. Denied. I'm going to steal him. Big cut, no contact. It was a ball. I didn't even swing. Ball. That was a good fish. Low. Low and outside. Laura, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. Where are you <laughs> from? Was. Dan is in central New Hampshire. I can't get you a fish in central New Hampshire, Dan. But <laughs> if you come this, if you come up here, I can get it for you. I'll leave it in the woods for you. <laughs> Let's see CJ's first fish ever, Sean says. Uh, we're working on it, bud. Right. He'll get there. One day. Brian says super positive. Great content. Got a new fan. Brian, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We're having a blast out here. There's nothing. There's nowhere else I'd rather be right now. Great friends. Great fishing great lake great state and uh we might be eating some burgers at taylor swift's house later on i'm hoping my battery's still alive then the fact that people don't know what you're talking about is the best part. how many have you caught today how many have we caught today guys 20 yeah 20 25 we're in the 20 to 30 range I mean, we have 10 um, in the cooler there's 10 in there I think so. yeah there's there's 10 in the cooler um we've been having a great day laura's in england that's wow. amazing. Thank you for tuning in to our support group uh, all the way from England. This is amazing. Anthony's loving this lives. Good, clean, fun. Thank you, Anthony. We appreciate that. Be at Sebago Camping in June. Dan, give these guys a call at Burnt Meadow. Give CJ a call if you want to have an incredible experience. He had an amazing June last year out here where they caught so many uh, Lakers and uh, landlocked salmon. Lane Ramsey's a new fan. Really appreciate it. We got a shout out going out to Elliot Bechtold. Did I get that right? That's as close as I could get it. I'm sure people have butchered that one. So I'm going to say Elliot Bechtold, shout out. Thank you for tuning in. Free subscription to you. I will make sure it doesn't cost you a dime. Laura loves the name Joe. Thank you. I've had it for quite a while now. I'm starting to get used to it. So I'm, I'm enjoying it too. Burgers at Taylor's. Now that's a great name for a band. It really is a great name for a band. Let's call our band that. Yeah, well, that's going to be the name of our band. <laughs> have you caught? Sign up for any of that. <laughs> have you caught a cat? Have you caught a catfish? Yes, I caught some giant blues in Alabama and South Carolina. I caught some blue catfish, some channel catfish, is and is there bullhead? Yeah, yeah bullheaded catfish. So I have caught some catfish, and the main, we just have the one, which we call, what do we call ours, a uh, horn, horn pound. pound, yeah, which is like, I don't even know what it really is, but I they don't him, get big in Maine. I caught them trolling last year, it's weird. Laura's been a fan for a long time, really appreciate it, thank you for tuning in. One more time, please, my little brother likes fishing, and he wants you to say my name. Shout out to Elliot Bechtold, thank you for tuning in, there's your shout out. We really appreciate you tuning in. We really appreciate you commenting and the thumbs up, guys. We're at 66 people watching now, and we have 68 thumbs up. So two people gave two thumbs up. So thank you for the two thumbs up, guys. We appreciate it. Brown, Bullhead, and Maine. So the Midwest. So Dan from Midwest Angler. Dan, thanks for tuning in, bud. Uh, the Brown Bullhead is uh, what we call like the horn pout. Hey, Joe, use. I could use a snack. Got any of the stuffed shells in the beard? <laughs> there's probably there's probably all sorts of stuff in that beard. I'm not gonna lie. I found a, I found a squirrel in there one year when I cut it off for the summer. So who knows what's in there this year? But we're down to seven percent of battery left on this phone. We're gonna end the live if we can get you guys one more fish. One more fish. One more fish. Let us know in the comments if you guys are having as much fun as we are. Where you're from? And if, uh, if you've subscribed to the channel, if you haven't, let us know. Kyle Cobb said they used to slay the bullheads in college. Absolutely. You go to the Kennebec River and catch a pile of those. How many fish names you guys know? Oh, my gosh. 
fish names? Yeah, hundreds. Types Harold, George. Frank. Harold, George, Mike, Jim, Frank, Fish, Danny, Fish, 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 Brian, Fish, Fish. No, I pretty much know all of them in the U.S. I think. Still under UCJ. Lane, thanks for subbing, man. Down in South Texas, what's up, Jacob Brown? Jacob, the last time I was in Texas fishing was uh, in Austin area on. That's you. That's Joe. Jeez, what was that lake in Austin? It's a very big lake. Um, I can't even remember the name of it. But it's near Austin. It's crazy how many, like, boats are on that. And power boats and millionaires live on that lake. There was giant houses. But um, I love fishing in Texas. I love South Texas, too. That was amazing. Tell Donnie happy birthday. Will do. It's Donnie's birthday tomorrow, guys. He's going to be 81. Elliot wants to know if I've been ice fishing before. I'm pretty well known for for ice fishing it's it's the open water that you haven't seen me on ice is on most of our lakes in maine first year we'll be open water fishing on opening day adam we're in maine right now man most of the lakes are open water right now there's very few places that have any I'm any kind move. of safe ice right now so we can get these guys some fish so we're down to six percent battery uh, uh. live outdoors so, so you're jigging lake trout very interested what you're using i'm going to be trying that in canada this year so this has been the hot lure all day right here that's the v-rod that one is made by Acme. They have it three quarter ounce down to one Get eighth. by yourself. Oh, I'm all alone. These guys left me alone to catch this fish. Two of them. Oh, he took a swipe. He's on you. Come on. Come on. Eat it. Oh, I oh. He chased that. Oh. He chased that thing like 40 feet off the bottom. <laughs> He's, still He's kind of still there, right? I'm going to try the drop on this guy. Ooh, that guy that you like that. Oh, is that one com coming down or is that one of you clowns? <laughs> <laughs> I got an Operation Game Thief going on. We got a poacher coming into the chat. <laughs> Michigan Jonesy, thanks for tuning in. Detroit River Walleye, man, that'd be fun to fish for. Defense. Dan says, what's your bait today? I am using the V-Rod by Acme. It's three quarters of an ounce. Looks a lot like the bait they're chewing. So they're eating L live. So a fish named Wanda. That's the one we forgot. We forgot Wanda. We didn't get to W. We got distracted. That, yeah, we missed that one. Elliot, what's your biggest pike? He caught his first pike through the ice. My biggest is in the 25-pound range. It's uh, 44 inches or so. So you look like a great fisherman, but you're not. Well, I try. Thank you. How deep are you fishing? We're, we're comments, fishing huh? in 100 foot of water. Um, I hope I take all your dreams. I'm wishing a good day and a good life. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. We're, uh, we're doing our best out here, folks. We're having a great day. Um, awesome support group of friends right here great support group in the chat and we're catching uh we're catching fish what could be better jane is tuning in from conway new hampshire i can't wait to see the cabin progress more videos coming i should be able to edit some next week uh, i do have a pile of videos to edit from that cabin build and then we were able to use it um twice this this winter and didn't even have to work on it we, we just went up and used it and had a blast so so yeah that'll be fun too lead core line no we're vertically jigging so we're actually just using light braid i have 10 pound braid to a fluorocarbon leader uh, at this depth you can go straight to your lure too so i think Corey's going straight to his lure and you're straight to your lure too with um anywhere from like six to to 20 pound braid uh, the braid doesn't have any stretch which you kind of need at this depth and with using like these short rods like we're using so laura says more videos you got it Chiefs fan said, what kind of bait? We are using V-Rods. They're like a blade bait, uh, metal, and so not live bait. And we're vertically jigging for lake trout. So this is a basically a big blade bait. Exactly. I'll show you another picture of it uh, right here. So there it is right there. So it's a, it's a big blade bait. And actually, I could probably show you. Yeah, I'll show you guys various sizes of them and different colors of the same exact bait and then i'll show you the one i'm using this is the one i'm using right here that's the color and it's so it's a blade bait with extra weight on it uh oh guys we're down to three percent 
trying to get you that last fish. We just moved up on top of the shoal. We're only in 96 foot of water, so we're shallow right now. Where are you guys fishing? Mason, we are fishing in southern Maine on the world famous Sebago Lake. Sebago Lake. And this lake is pretty famous because it's 330 feet deep. Oh, something's going on out here. We're turning or something. We're turning. All sorts of fish right here. No, fish right there. All right, guys, we're down to 3% on the battery. I'm going to try to get you guys a fish topside before this dies. If it just dies, don't call the police or anything. We're okay. My battery's just running low on my phone. And that's how we're shooting this live. And I didn't bring a cord. Or maybe I did bring a cord. I don't know. But we're two hours, so that's long enough. One more fish. One more fish. We need some... We, we need some help in the comments, guys, to get this last fish topside for you. Who's it going to be? Is Corey going to get his first fish ever for the first fish? Am I going to shut up long enough to catch a fish? Or is CJ going to get another one topside? Leave it in the comments, guys, who you think is going to catch the next fish or if we're going to catch it. Oh, we're down to 1%. Wow, that's oh, going man, quick. it's going quick, guys. Sorry. I'm feeling the pressure. The pressure's on. So much for uh, no pressure. There might be a cord here somewhere. Should I try to get a cord? The attempt should be there. I don't have anything. Oh, there is a cord. Look at that. There is a cord. We might get power to you guys. Oh, are we going to get it in time or am I going to plug it in? And as soon as I plug it in, it's gone. Here we go. Oh no. It's plugged in. Oh, we're at 1%. I don't know if this is going to last or not, guys, but we're trying. We're trying to get you guys one more fish. Well, I think we're still moving, aren't we? I see Corey. Nice watching. Thanks, Sean. Sorry for the pressure. We love the pressure. We're just kidding. There's no pressure. We're out here fishing. We're having a great time. We're in our support group because we're really disappointed in how quickly the ice went away this year and we can't ice fish like we want to. And rather than cry about it and sit home and be a bunch of babies, we're out here on the lake fishing and having a great time with friends and talking about old fishing stories. Live Outdoors says 10, 9, 8, 7, dead stream. Oh no, we just had a miss. Big cut, no contact. One more fish. One more fish. Galaxy, thank you. Thanks for tuning in. CJ is my bet. Mike's betting on you, bud. Whoa. Mike yep. who? Mike Ducey. Thanks, Mike. Thank you for your faith in him. He, I promise you he will give you his best effort. And nothing short of that. Ice fishing's done. 350. Ice fishing's way done. Yeah. Everything's open from where I live south. I mean, it's nothing's been safe for a couple weeks. And... There's a little bit of ice in certain parts of Maine, but I wouldn't trust anything right now with all the rain and warm weather and just rotten ice. It's just not worth it. Neil is in Parsons Field. Thank you for tuning in. That's pretty close to us, I think. Yeah. It's nicer than yesterday. Lake was angry yesterday, Dan. Dan, you are right. CJ was out here. And he says it was blowing straight sideways. We didn't make it till 9 o'clock yesterday. Laura thinks we can do it. She thinks we can catch one more. Oh, we can I don't know. It's going to be tough, guys. I say we catch one for Laura. Have you ever fished Erie? No, I haven't yet. I want to. Uh, I want to perch fish that. I want to trout fish it. I want to do everything on Erie, even smallmouth fish it. You ever use live bait? Yes. Um, we're not using any live bait today just because we're, we're down in 100 foot of water and vertically jigging. and It's not completely necessary. We've been doing pretty well without it. Laura says you're the king. Oh, man, thank you so much. March 13th, crazy. So we've had ice Set out. A the back so we've had ice out for like over a week now. So it's, it's the earliest we've ever. Greetings from New Zealand. Good luck with the fish. Sorsha, that is so cool. New Zealand, Switzerland, Ireland, Canada. That's crazy. Uzbekistan. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, the UK somewhere. England. Oh, they're losing faith in you, CJ. Sorry. 
What? It's freezing in England right now. That's crazy. Someone's going to get a monster, Jesse says. I hope so. That would be so cool to get a monster. Could you imagine? And we're using ice fishing jig rods. So these things are like only three foot long. It'd be so cool to get a monster on one. What's the temperature? So outside air temperature's got to be like 50. Yeah. It's 50 degrees. Uh, water temp is 34.1 degrees. So it's uh, it's not quite there yet, but it's getting close. It was 23 degrees when I left my house this morning. Yeah, I had 27 this morning. I had a so, yeah. And he and Corey hit two deer. So, <laughs> did you ever do Chamberlain knot this year, man? It's the first year I haven't done Chamberlain in a handful of years. I was planning on it in March. I was going to be there at Moosehead this week, and then Chamberlain the next. But it's gone. Target species Joseph is lake trout, otherwise known as togue here in Maine. Uh, that's what they are written as in our law book. All right, Lane wants me to catch one. I'm going to do my best, Lane. We haven't seen one on the live scope. If you guys are just tuning in, we are catching these on live scope. We're 97.7 foot of water right now. We're vertically jigging for lake trout. And the lake trout are just kind of swimming around. They're uh, they're active, I think, quite often, and but they're not eating very often. You know, they, they eat when they can. There's there's too many in this lake, apparently, according to the state and the biologists. I've never heard of too many fish before. But, uh, but yeah, so they, they want quite a few of these out of here, and we're bringing a bunch home. So what's your PB trout? So Jesse, uh, in the brook trout, it's in the four-pound range. Lake trout is 11 and a half. Rainbow is only like two pounds. I've only caught a few of those. Um, brown trout is like six pounds, and that's about it for trout in Maine. Yeah, Rainbow was like two. Togue, you must be from the East Coast then. You're from Maine or New Hampshire. Exactly. We are in Maine. We're in southern Maine, and they are Togue here. The heaviest catch for a smallmouth bass. So my biggest uh, bag of smallmouth, five fish, was in Maine, and it was 29 and a half pounds, five fish. So, um, so almost a six-pound average, and that's actually my biggest smallmouth is six pounds. That's huge. It's giant, yeah. That's a really good. And to catch five of them, yeah, that's it was incredible. amazing, yeah. And that's yeah, actually, China. nope, and it's it's actually on my channel. If you guys want to go back and watch some of the old uh, open water fishing videos, just type in smallmouth in the search, in near my videos, and you'll see some uh, some big catches there. Um, hello from Scotland. What are you catching today? We are catching lake trout. We're catching, we are catching big lake trout. Well, not big compared to like Manitoba or anything like that, but big for Maine. So that's great. Laura, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Jesse says it's crazy. It's huge. Legend. Yeah, we're having a great time. We're having a great day out here. We're, we popped over 20. I think on the live show we've caught probably five, maybe six on the live show. I don't know. I lose track. Then I go back and watch it, and I'm like, oh, man, we, we did better than I thought. But if you guys want to see one, I'll show you one that we're bringing home. We're bringing a handful of these home for my buddy Donnie. It's his birthday tomorrow. So I'll show you a few of these. Oh, what do you think of them slime gobblers? There's a couple of lake trout for you. Yeah, they're good ones. They're heavy. I got to put them down. Oh, smokes are heavy. So, yeah. That's what we're catching out here, guys. Nice, uh, nice togue. And we're having a blast doing it. Corey's caught his first fish ever twice today. And CJ's been popping them here and there. And I've been known to catch a few as well. I probably caught my couple thousands first fish ever today. Yeah. This fourth this year. I'm new to fish. Phantom just tuned in. Haven't done fishing in a hot minute last time about three years ago you get back into it bud fishing's a lot of fun it's good for you standard rock in lake superior i've heard about it awesome lake trout fishing 31 pounder that's huge ac thank you thanks for tuning in who needs a shout out today on youtube who wants a shout out on youtube live just let me know we'll give you a shout out and then with it you get a free subscription for the rest of the day so if anybody needs a shout out anybody needs 
needs a little mental health um, recovery or anything like that, we'll give it to you here. And we'll try to catch a fish for you. I'm trying to catch one for England right now. Ever consider north of the border? Yeah, I think I am going to go um, to Canada next year and do some ice fishing. Happy birthday to Donnie, for sure. Need to nab myself a new rod. The old one busted away, for sure. Laura, she's already got one. Nice. So yeah, we're trying to get you guys one more fish. We've hit, we've definitely hit a bad spell. Once our buddies left, the rest of the support group left, we haven't really put anything topside. We're looking around for you though. We're not done yet, guys. The beard game is strong. Yeah, this is about as long as the beard gets for right now. I, I don't cut it at all um, once I hit October every year. And then I cut it again like in March for, um, for ice cream season. So this is how, oh, look at that. We just got, oh, that is awesome. We got a super chat from Shirako Takamoto. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you for the super chat. Really, really appreciate it. We're going to give you a heart on that one. We're going to give you a shout out. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. That is awesome. I hope I got that name right. Shirako Takamoto. I think I got it. If Maine had walleye, I'd almost move back. Man, if Maine had walleye, if the state had a clue, it would be incredible what walleye could do here. All right, we got one fish entering the chat on the left. We're coming into one. The fishing's kind of died. I got it right. Shirako, thank you. Takamoto. Did it pass us, I think, or we're, yeah. we went past it? We shouldn't be moving much. Walleye in Lake Erie, yeah, it's like the best walleye. We want them here bad. I went to Jefferson, Ohio. Jefferson, Ohio, yeah, which wasn't far from Lake Erie. And I met an old timer who was retired from, he filleted fish his whole life. That's all he did. He filleted yellow perch. Because you could like, fishermen would go out for a day or two and catch buckets of yellow perch. And, and if you brought it to this guy's house, he would fillet them for you for a charge. He would clean all the fish and fillet them. And that was, he retired from it. Should have had a pack back. Yeah. What a great, what a great uh, career though, huh? It's kind of cool. Phantom, thanks for tuning in. You're going to work. Northeast Ohio, about an hour from Lake Erie. Yeah, this was, this was in like central north Ohio, I think. Firebeard, do you have diabetes? I don't think I do. <laughs> I don't know how that has anything to do with a beard. <laughs> what? Diabetes. Random. Diabetes. I have the diabetes. You do? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're here for you, buddy. Daniel Gomez, I am new. There's a shout out for you, Daniel. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to give you a free subscription for the rest of the day. Is that what? I had a jerk. What do you need? Is it right there? Oh, uh, maybe. No. A stick? No. I'm gonna go hit that hole right there. Sadie says, no kidding, you look like my dad. I might be. What state do you live in? <laughs> they upped the walleye limit on Erie because the population's booming. Yeah, they haven't had like an ice fishing year in Erie in geez, how many years now? Nope, yes, Daniel Gomez. Yes, you got it, buddy. I got on right. Lane Ramsey. Sarah Benjamin is new. Bet Sarah, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to our support group where we are getting over the loss of an early ice fishing season here in Maine. The quickest the ice has ever been out in Maine. So we came out in the boat to drown our sorrows, nothing else, and catch a bunch of fish with friends and have a great time out here. And we are certainly having a great time. We've been live now for about two hours and 20 minutes, I think. And we've, we've caught a handful of fish. We had a really good morning. Uh, the afternoon's been a little bit tougher, so. You seem like the type of person he'd be friends with. Uh, thank you, I'm honored. Have you fished Minnesota? Elliot says, yes, I have fished a little bit in Minnesota. I fished one day in a backwater in St. Paul through the ice. Oh, there's some fish on the bottom. 
Yeah, one. And then I fished um, in Brainerd. Brainerd. Uh, I did some ice fishing in Brainerd. And that was awesome. MJ says, happy Ramadan, brother. All right. A living legend. Awesome. Thank you. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're trying to get you guys one more fish so we can end this live show. We were at a battery, and then at the last second, I plugged in another battery. Levi says, how's it going? It's going great. We're having an amazing day with friends on the water fishing. How could life be any better? I got a cup of coffee. I'm a... We're, oh, we're, oh, we're trolling. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we were trolling. We're moving. We're trying to find some fish. The fish seem to evade us for the last hour. You have you caught you any fish out? yet? Sarah <laughs> says, have you caught any fish yet? <laughs> yes, Sarah, we have caught uh, between 20 and 30 lake trout. That's been the only type of fish we're targeting, and that's all we've caught. We're fishing in 102 foot of water right now. Uh, we caught... I think five or six on the live since we've been on live. My good buddy Corey that's here with us has caught his first fish ever twice while we've been on live, which is kind of cool. I hope they see me on Instagram. <laughs> you do any fishing in Alaska? No, I've never been to Alaska. No. I know a guy. Yep, but I, I will someday. I'm worried if I go, I'll never come back. That's my fear <laughs> because it looks like the most amazing place on the planet. But I'm going to reel this in. Oh, Mike, he's trying, man. They're waiting for CJ to catch that fish. You're on his phone up on the toolbox. He's at work. He's really need you to catch a fish. You have his rod in Live to now. Fish TV 3000. Any luck? Not yet. We're kind of, I think we're idling to a new spot. Live outdoors. Just start posting late deer season. Hopefully walleye from Erie. That'd be cool. Yeah, I want to get out there and fish some. I, I'm going to fish a few of the Great Lakes this year. I think I'm going to fish. Whoa, what? What's he doing? He's reversing into our lines. Wow. Just trying to Got it. Out. Got it. All right. Did we have a fish or something? No, we're oh. in that 97. Okay. So uh, I think I'm going to fish Ontario this year for some salmon and uh, brown trout. So that might be fun. I ran into... Are you Elon Musk's son? Uh, there's a pretty good chance of it. <laughs> pretty good chance of it. We have a lot in common. He'll be at Taylor's. Um, he'll be at Taylor's. Yeah. Elon's coming to Taylor Swift's. Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. Elon's going to be at Taylor Swift's for lunch. Can you imagine those uh, burgers, though? I guess we're getting burgers over at Taylor Swift's. they got to be decent. For lunch. Um, and we're going to go to Tom Brady's. For Tom Brady's got a house on this lake, cream. too, actually. Does he yeah. still own that, or do you sell it? No, he still got it. He still has it? Yeah. And we're going to so. get ice cream there. That'd be cool if Tom Brady joins us. He's retired. Right. Yeah, we're on Sebago Lake. Uh, there's a lot of very famous people that have houses on this lake. And I think, I've heard, I don't, I can't confirm it or deny it yet, but I think we're going to have lunch at Taylor Swift's house today, have burgers on the back lawn, which would be pretty cool. She doesn't know, but. <laughs> Who is driving this boat anyway? Minn Kota. That's, that CJ's driving the boat. That's CJ right there. He owns Burnt Metal Guide Service. He's put us on some awesome fish today, guys. If you want to come out and do this, just hit him up. You'll, you can find him. I'll throw a link to it in the comments when I'm done. Um, he is Justin Bieber's son. He might be. <laughs> Stroud fan. Awesome. Thank you for the donation to the channel. Really appreciate it. We got a shout out for you. And we're a big fan of you now. So I'm a Stroud fan fan. Can you do a trick shot type cast? Yes, I can. I can do a lot of them. I bet you could throw it in that cooler and catch a fish. I bet you could. That is awesome. Thank you so Thank much you. for the super chat, Stroud fan. Really appreciate it. We will put that in the gas tank today. Or luckily, we don't have to do any repairs to our buddy Corey, who's with us, who hit two deer today by accident <laughs> with his Jeep. Brand new Jeep. Prove it. And the only way you can prove it is there's hair in the, the windshield <laughs> or ain't stuck in the windows. Have you fished Lake of the Woods? I have not. That's like, that's going to be a great lake to fish. I'm so looking forward to fishing there for like big pike, walleye, cusk, Where are you? And, and with some great fishermen as well. I don't see Jerome. There I am. I'm on the heat. We're just getting tuned in here, guys. We're just, we just kind of moved to a different area. We're in 103 foot of water. Um, there's, 
there's some odds on favorites on who's going to catch the next fish. There's three of us in the boat. We are in a small support group in southern Maine right now because we lost our ice fishing season super early this year. So we decided to come out on the boat and drown our sorrows with fish. My good friend Donnie's birthday is tomorrow. He turns 81. He asked for a bunch of lake trout for his birthday so he can make uh, lake trout candy that he smokes with his own maple syrup that he taps trees. So I have a video coming out this Friday morning on how we actually make the maple syrup here in Maine. So tune in for that. He said, careful at Tam Tom Brady's house, his dock bumpers are slightly deflated. Oh, that <laughs> is the best comment ever. I don't even like follow the that deflate was game. That was props to you. I got to give it to him. Uh -huh. Levi says, have a good day. Good luck. Thank you. We appreciate that. We hope you have a good one too. Garrett says, fishing, what is your goal? Stroud fan, huge shout out to you. Thank you for dropping this, the super chat. Oh, we got a couple of fish. Where? Oh, we got a couple of fish. We got a chance, guys. CJ's about to get hooked up. Oh, no, maybe. Joe, get him. Oh, the hit. Yep. I'm trying, Mike. We're trying, guys. We got a couple of fish on the screen. A couple of fish on the live scope. CJ he's on is about now. to get hooked up. No, he's on Corey. It's going back to you. Yeah, he's chasing the other fish. All right, so we had a little activity there. We had some action. Um, there's still a fish there. I'm going to Minnesota. What do they bite? It's a couple more fish. We'll show you guys our electronics that we're using to catch these fish in 104 foot of water. That was pretty active. Those fish, those fish could bite. You definitely I think so. Yeah. yeah. I thought there was one between us. But... There was one coming in. I, like, I yeah. So yeah, so we're out here. Stroud fan, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Do it faster. Run in the live scope. <laughs> Joseph, that guy, he says, ah, run in the live scope. Yes, we are running the live scope for 104 foot of water. Vertically jigging these fish with ice fishing jig rods. Have you ever seen that before? I don't think I have. Someone said fish with Jay Siemens. That would be pretty cool. I would do that. They got wall hacks for fishing. What the heck? Video game reference. Oh. I got you. I don't know what a wall hack is. Sorry. Cheating. Oh, cheating? Yeah, this is definitely a wall hack. Yeah, he has the cheat code. <laughs> Stroud fan, thank you so much. Hitting the super chats. This guy is awesome. I'll give you a shout out every time. Really appreciate it. Quad King. Hey, dude. What's up? Who needs a shout out today? Anyone? Does anyone need a shout out? We will give you a shout out. Garrett says no, he doesn't need one. Or he's laughing at the hack. You are fat. Thank you. Really appreciate that. <laughs> What is wrong with you guys? I have no idea. Only in comparison. But if I was in a sumo competition, I would probably be considered the skinniest one there. A and B wants to know, what are you catching? We are catching big lake trout. Well, they're not big, but they're lake trout. They're pretty big. We're going to get a lot of meat out of them. Stroud fan, thank you for the super chat. This is great. This is my new favorite viewer of the channel oh there's another message held for review quad king shout out to you thank you for tuning in we appreciate it we're going to give you a free subscription for the rest of the day all you have to do is hit that subscribe button it's totally free they want to know if you smoke cigarettes no Captain says, nice beard. Thank you. I've been practicing for a while now. Have you caught any, Evelyn? We've caught like 30, almost 30 today. I'll show you a few in a second. What do you think about gas prices? I don't like gas prices. I think it should be free or really close to it. But it's way cheaper than if I tried to make it myself. Snake VR says, you're jacked. That was pipes are huge right there i that do have some reeling in big crap i do have i have permits for those switch over to chub fishing krista says give owen a shout owen shout out to you buddy thanks for watching thanks for tuning into the channel owen 
Shout out to you. Stroud fan, super chat. Thank you so much. CJ's about to catch a fish. Oh, there he is. He's hooked up. Mike, there's you, Mike. your fish. There it is, Mike. There it is, buddy. What do you got, CJ? Tell the what? folks at home. I think it's a lake trout. Walk him through it. Is he, is he fighting hard? He's pulling pretty good. He's a decent one. My buddy Mike, this one's for you, bud. Anyone named Mike, this one's for you. That's plugged in. Might have to bet that fish for him. We, we could use a, a few more fish in the, in the cooler. At this rate, right? All right. Get him in. He missed him with the net again. Nice. Show the camera that lake trout. All right, who can give who can give a thumbs up to my buddy CJ for catching that fish on live? It is a nice fish. It's a nice one. It's his first one too. <laughs> no, he's caught fish before. <laughs> yeah, he's caught fish before. He can get you yours. I think we'll keep that one. All right, it's a good one. It's in the slot range, right? Yeah, it's short. Oh yeah. Show it to the camera instead of your derriere. I'm trying. Just wiggle it. There you go, guys. They had money on me. I did it. Nice lake I trout in 105 foot of water. I felt the pressure. Pressure's off now. Our support <laughs> group is back. These things are a lot of fun to catch, especially these ice rods. This is this is cool. It is a lot of fun on the ice rods too. All right, so that's another fish going home to the smoker. Donnie will turn that into lake trout candy. If you guys are just tuning in, we are having an awesome day out here on Sebago Lake in southern Maine, United States of America. Mike, thank you for the. Oh, I'll give you a shout out in a second. Mike, thank you for the. Super chat. He says, why'd you change the name of the thumbnail in your Nicole Stone crappy tournament video? Um, so I'm trying a new thing with YouTube. Uh, I've been working on like the algorithm a lot. And they're saying like some of the people at YouTube are saying that if you change your thumbnail often and if you change the title, then you could pick up more viewers and get in the algorithm a little bit better. So I'm trying it on that. It, I don't think it works at all. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I put out videos with, like, giant crappy and stuff, and they just, they don't get a ton of views. I'm, I'm happy with the viewers I have. I have a ton of loyal viewers. But, um, so that's why I changed it. I'm going to go back to that original thumbnail and, and let that sit for a while, just because it's an awesome thumbnail, I think, with that giant crappy in there. Then Nicole with hers, and I checked with her first, and she was really cool with me putting that up. We actually scheduled a day or a week to possibly fish together next year, which I'm super excited about, just because I, I really do um, appreciate her channel and everything she's done for women in the fishing world and what she's just done for the fishing world in general. So it'll be a lot of fun to fish with her. So that's why I did that um, and changed the title, and I'm going to try to change it back. It just seems like um, in my videos for that couple weeks, there was just so much like winter camping and there was um, winter ice camping, crappy tournament. There was a lot going on. So it's really tough to pick a thumbnail and to pick a title that covers like the whole video. So, so that's why I did it. And really thanks for the, thank you for the super chat and really appreciate that one too. Thank you so much, Mike for that and i will try to get to your other comment too on one of the videos i i re one thing i do guys on my youtube channel is i respond to every single comment or question it it's taken a little bit longer right now because i'm creating content and because i get a lot of questions too on them and comments but i figure if, if you guys take time out of your day to do something nice and put a comment on there or or have a question it's the least that i could do to answer it and I don't understand these other channels that they can't do that. It just, it's just such a, oh, you got one, CJ? Right Lift here? up. Yep. He mudded you. Did you see him? Oh, there he is. Yeah, he mudded you. He went in the mud under him. So, oh, is he coming back? Yeah, I don't know. Huh. So, so yeah. So that's what I think, guys, and that's why I answer everything. And I'll do it for as long as I can manage it when the channel 
if the channel continues to grow the way it is, it, it might be hard in the future. But uh, a lot of times I'll shoot a live video like this and it gives me the opportunity to answer live questions. So if you guys have any questions, feel free, put them in there. And uh, so Partridge Pimp wants to know if I've ever caught any browns in Sebago. Personally, I have not. The guy to ask, and one of the best brown trout fishermen I've ever met knows this area can answer that question. I'm gonna turn the camera to CJ, and he wants to know if you've caught any browns in Sebago. I have not personally caught browns in Sebago. They are here. I've never targeted them. If they start to show up the way that they, they've been kept caught as a byproduct every once in a while by people that are just salmon fishing or lake trout fishing. So if they continue to do, is that fish on us? Possibly. Oh, that's cord. If they continue to that's keep fun. catching them here, I will target them here. Um, there's so many different places around that we target big browns that I don't put the time and effort into this place because I know I can go catch them other places. Very good. So if you guys didn't know, live outdoors. Whoa, thank you for that huge super chat. Really appreciate it. That is awesome. If you guys don't know, uh, CJ is one of the premier brown trout guides in the state of Maine. So it's something that he's always had a passion for. He's very, very good at brown trout fishing, open water, um, and, and through the ice. But if you're interested in catching brown trout, give him a call on that. Or if you want to do this, shout out to CJ. I'm going to give him a plug right here because he's one of my best friends and one of my favorite people to fish with. And he has a, um, he has a guide business. So why not give him a shout out, right? Thank um, you. Yeah, no problem. So as far as browns in this area, I personally have caught them in Little Sebago Lake. My buddy Stevie caught one over six pounds in little Sebago on a jig rod through the ice. It was, it was incredible, but there, this is like a really good area of the state for brown trout. So you won't have any, any trouble getting into some browns or, or just hire CJ for a day and he'll put you on the best brown trout fishing of your life. Good day, mate. Don't mind my username. I don't mind it. I won't mind anything. Broski shout out, please. This is a shout out to Broski. Shout out to you. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for checking in on the channel. Uh, we're going to give you a free subscription for the rest of the day with a shout out. So there you go. Did I miss any other questions? Live outdoors. Thank you so much for that. Broski, where are you fishing? We are on Sebago Lake in Southern Maine, USA. It looks like a happy sunny day. It does. It's been a great day. It's 50 degrees. We're starting to get a little cloud cover now. We were doing really well fishing when without the cloud cover. I think that sun penetrates a lot deeper in that 105 foot of water. So we got one held for review. Lane. I've caught some big rainbows. Maybe got a brown trout two or three times. Awesome camping in California on the eastern Sierras near Tioga Pass are my favorite lake, Saddlebag Lake. It's 10,000 feet in elevation. I've been over there. I've been in that range. Um, I drove through a pile of groves like pecan or walnut. No, no. Uh, pistachio groves maybe. Or they were nut groves. They were really pretty trees. And then I just climbed an elevation in the Sequoia National Park. It was really cool. Brook Trout's tuning in probably from the West Gardner area. Catch a big toge for me. You got it, buddy. We're going to get you one. Lane says, let's go, CJ. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. CJ's, <laughs> CJ is the man. He just caught us the first one in like that hour dry spell we had. So we got like six or six or seven in the live chat. We have like probably 10 or so in the cooler to bring home for Donnie. And I have another friend who likes to eat lake trout. And I'll probably eat one. And I got another elderly lady who likes to eat them so we're gonna bring some home and eat them and nothing goes to waste here guys these are uh we're, we're going to nature's own grocery store right here so cj's pointing to a salmon that just rose over there water temps 34.1 air temp is like 50 but oh we got a shout out coming shout out to miranda jacob and reyna Miranda, Jacob, and Raina, shout out to you guys. Thank you for watching all the videos. Really appreciate it. Throw in the comments which ones are your favorite or if you have a favorite video. 
um, from any of you longtime viewers. If you guys have a favorite video, throw it in the comment. I'd love to give you like the lowdown on those videos, the behind the scenes, or just uh, relive those videos myself because because I've put a bunch up on YouTube by now, I think. So North of Baxter, really appreciate that. What is something good to drop down for stubborn brown trout? That's a tough one. Boy, a stubborn brown trout. I would say a stick of dynamite. <laughs> Hand <laughs> or a hand grenade uh stubborn browns man i don't know it's either go honestly go bigger or go smaller they're uh we literally put the live scope last year pointed backwards and trolled and we had one stubborn one for over two miles follow that bait should i give them the secret it's up to you the number one secret the brown trail fishing keep grinding don't give up because they may feed at daylight. They may feed at 10. They may feed at two. You got to put your time in the water, on the water, and you've got to just be confident in what you're doing. A lot of the people that I talk to, they give up. They go out at daylight. They fish for two hours. They say the fish are not biting. They go home. My best days have been between 10 and two o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. Bright sun, hot, just keep grinding. It's all you can do. And I'll tell you, their favorite color is orange. Whoa, I can't believe he just said that on live. That was huge for you guys. CJ's the man on brown trout. Uh, we posted a couple videos from last year trolling for brown trout, if you want to go back and watch those. But we're going to do some brown trout trolling here in the next month or so. And he'll let a couple secrets out of the bag for you. And he, has, he still has a few openings left. Um, I, I briefly looked at his schedule, and he's booked up pretty hard for this, uh, this spring coming up, but he does have some openings if you want to check in with them and check on some dates. So, Nathaniel, welcome back. Oh, I guess I'm way behind on comments. You ever made a fish dip with smoked trout? Nope, I have not yet. The guy that owns the marina over here does that. Really? Kyle says it's absolutely. Oh, no way. Fish. North of Baxter says East Grand for us. Oh, it's one of my favorite lakes. One of my favorite lakes to ice fish. Great lake. You're probably going to see me on the open water there this year, too, within the next month. Jeff, every maple season, we sit in the sugar sack, watch your ice fishing videos, pass the time. Really appreciate that. I'm excited for you to see that maple syrup video this uh, this Friday and tell me what you think. My favorite video is when you ran over the moose sailor and found the matching pair going on the old trap line. That was a really cool video. Yeah, that was so, that was really cool. man, that's like one of my favorite too. You, I was so jacked up to find that matching set on camera. Like, oh, it by my favorite tree. I have a favorite tree in the North Main Woods out of all the millions of trees. And it was right next to my favorite tree. And I literally ran it over and felt it. I was just like something, I felt like a little clunk underneath my snowmobile. And I was like, no way. And, and jumped off, found that one. And while I found that, I stepped on another one. It was the matching set. So, so cool. Thank you, Sean, for letting me relive that one. Um, on. Oh, CJ's going to get one. CJ's going to get one. Cheer him on, guys. Cheer him on. Is it two or are we getting, oh, we're getting a double? A double. Oh, He's already gone. Me. Oh, said it to you. Yeah. Oh, he came back. He's on Corey. He's sticking around. Yeah. He's going to blast somebody. Corey? No? Corey. Oh. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. You can? I'm in the mud. I'm going to try to pull him out. He's down there. I'm the Joe right now. Oh, he liked that. Yeah, he's on you, CJ. Tell the folks at home we got one. We he's got one coming. Looking. Going to Corey. Two now. Who's following you, Corey? Straight up, straight up, him. straight up. Oh. oh. He wasn't, he wasn't close to it. He's hanging around. Yeah. Chance one of us is going to hook this one. Yep. He's piecing Not out now. Well, that was cool. Yeah, we're getting like one out of ten or so of the ones that show up on the screen. They're they're tough to catch. They're tough to get to bite. So, all right, I missed a ton of comments. I'm going to try to get back to these. Can you show the baits one more time so I can grab a screenshot? You got it, bud. So, 
this is one in the package right here. This is, get a screenshot of this. I'll hold it up. That's the V-Rod. It's made by Acme Tackle in Wisconsin. Yeah, he's got one out of the package right here if you want to see that. Oh, he's got his finger. <laughs> but that's a blade bait. See that blade bait right there? And you can cast those. You can jig them or you can troll them. Uh, we're vertically jigging them. It's the best vertical jig I've ever had, especially for deep water. Um, catch a pile of smallmouth on them too. And then I actually used the one-eighth one for crappy and uh, and did really well on that this, this winter. So hopefully you pick that up. The browns where I go camping are picky, and they have certain times they like to eat. Yep, just like CJ's saying. Hi, say Noah. Noah, shout out to you. We're going to give you a free subscription today as well. Hugs says, love you. Thank you for that. Thank you for the hugs. The live scope trolling video was one of my favorite. Also, the northern ice fishing for salmon and trout. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to do a bunch more of that. CJ and I are going to do some live scope stuff. Uh, we have we each have a... Oh, uh, you got to look her. He's on you, CJ, I think. No, we might cool. we might get a looker right here, guys. We might get a bite. He's like, Ooh, he, likes, he likes that. He won't come up. He's like, no. huh. So, yeah, so we're, uh, that was that was a lot of fun. We're going to shoot some uh, brown trout and some live scale trolling videos this 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 time, too. I had a lot of people ask, and I think you did, too, how we set our live scope up for doing that. Yeah, so, we'll have to show, we'll shoot a video on how we set that up, too. But hello to Nosh Flint. Thank you for tuning in. The moose antler find video is great. Yeah, that was, I oh mean, I, I had a couple last year. Um uh, I don't know if you guys saw the match and set one where I found the little tiny one when I was fishing with Donnie on the Chizungkuk series. But if you missed that, it was like, it was the day we got buried or maybe the day before I found a matching set that was only like this big. It's the coolest little matching set. And that was on the ice. Bro, you look cool. Oh, thank you, Archie. Really appreciate that. Noah, shout out to you. Stroud fan, huge thank you for for your donations in the super chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Like the episode where you had the bird eating out of your hand. That was so cool. That was on Moosehead and that was a Gorby. And yeah, I fell, I actually fell asleep that day. This is a little backstory on that. I was ice fishing and it was just like a day like this where it's just sunny day, like early March. And I fell asleep on my snowmobile, like laying down like this and it landed like on my chest and was like eating scraps out of my beard. And I woke up and I, cause it's like, obviously you hear it. And I looked down, I didn't move at all. And here he is standing on my chest, like picking out of my beard. It was the funniest thing. I had all I could do to not laugh. And then I fed that bird out of my hand the rest of the day. Any Donnie video, the one on that village on Shazunkuk was really cool. Yeah, the Donnie videos are like my personal favorites. Um. Lane wants to know if it'll work for catching bass. It does work for catching bass. I wouldn't probably throw it in Florida very many places just because you guys are like shallow water grass. But, uh, but yeah, it's it's a weapon on bass. The cabin build videos, yeah, that was awesome. A lot of fun. JJ, there you go. But, yeah, so if you guys are just tuning in, we got 68 viewers. We got 84 thumbs up. So most of you gave a two thumbs up, which is pretty cool. But if you're just tuning in, we're here. We are drowning our sorrows with more fishing we're really upset that we can't ice fish but as you can tell we're having a great time anyway we're out here in a boat on sebago lake in southern maine usa and we are deep water jigging for lake trout otherwise known as togue and we're trying to bring home a bag full of these things for my good buddy donnie whose birthday is tomorrow he's going to be 81 tomorrow and uh we're having a great time the fishing has slowed down quite a bit. I don't know if we've wore them out in this spot or we got to just move a little bit or if the fish have shut off. Uh, they were kind of cold this morning and then we did really well for a couple hours like before noon and then since noon it slowed down but we probably got about seven topside since noon. Um, been a pretty amazing live show. Joe Doe. Shout out to you Joe Doe. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to give you a free subscription for putting a comment on this video. All you have to do is click the subscription button. It won't charge you anything at all. Free subscription rest of the day. Shout out Joe Doe. Or Dojo. 
Dojo. That's like where they practice karate, right? Yeah. yeah. JJ says the episode where it was a struggle sledding into that Lobster Lake camp. That was a struggle, man. That was like my first time ever using that sled in deep snow too. So now I do a better job of it and I have the the um the wider skis too, but but yeah, that was a fun trip. I almost didn't even post that trip because the, the fishing was so bad and stuff. But Pat and Elliot and Donnie kind of made it. It was a lot of fun. I thought you slipped up. No. I'd let you know. Joe Doe. Shout out to you. Lane, I might throw one on here tomorrow and see if it works. Awesome. Good luck, buddy. Live outdoors. Just ordered some V-Rods. Thanks again for the screenshot. You're welcome. You will not be disappointed. I'll show you one trick I do with them, though. Um, depending on what you tie to it, this is, a, this is a little insider pro tip for you, but get yourself like a snap or a snap swivel. This is just like a snap. This one's a little large, but the eye, the eyes on some of them can be sharp. There's three different eye holes depending on how you want that to sit. In the, like if you're vertically jigging, you put it in the front eye hole. I'll, I'll hold that up to the camera. The holes are up top there, not the actual eyeball, but the line tie holes. So if you're vertically jigging, you put it in that front one and it'll sit, it'll sit like this. But if you want it to sit down like this for like a cast, you put it in the, in the back one or the middle one. And then I don't often tie direct to the line with these because you can break your line like on a big fish. They, they are a little bit sharp. Oh, we got a fish Corey's showing up. Corey's got a looker. So I tie it. I will put like a little snap or a snap swivel in through those holes. So a little pro tip for you. I probably should have told you that before you pick some up. Sorry about that. But you might have some, some snap swivels at home or just snaps. It doesn't even have to be a swivel to put up. Oh, big cut. No contact. Still there. Get him. Get him. Lift up. Yeah, he's coming, coming. Yep. Just, just reel up. Get a little closer. Corey had a chance yeah. to catch his first fish ever. <laughs> is that on you? Yeah, it was. On now he's headed to you. Coming back. Going back. Oh, he's going hard. Yeah. Oh, oh no. He's bumping it. He's Steve he Rye too. It bad. It's probably a little guy. He doesn't look very big. Joe's about to hook up. He did not even. He likes that chartreuse you guys are running. Yeah. CJ? He doesn't want me. He's burning some calories. First one today. Oh, he's got to be on you, Joe. He didn't bite. Never touched it. He's on CJ. Now he's on me. Oh, he doesn't want I think he has ADD. He's just chilling. Skirt. Coming Don't back me. to you, Corey. Nope. Back to Joe. This thing's playing ping pong. Bass. Might be a small one for a second. It could be a sample. He's on TJ. Any of the other fish that we've seen today. All right. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. You guys witnessed it. This is Corey's first fish ever. Corey has never caught a fish before. This is his first fish. Wish him luck, guys. Let's hope he gets this thing topside. Corey is hooked up on a nice lake trout. First time ever. They are wet and they are slimy, just so you know, if you grab one. And their teeth are a little bit sharp. They are? Yeah, the, a fish. This is the first fish ever. Don't lose it. There he is. Let's go. First fish ever. Let's go. Let's go. First fish. You got the net? No. Where's the net, man? You got it? Got him. Nice. First fish ever. That's his third first fish ever, guys, on live. Look, I got a deer and three fish. He's had a heck of a day. Show that baby to the camera. That is definitely worth a thumbs up. Sean says that's your third first fish ever. It is. Oh my God, the thing's tiny. The fish is cool. Are we gonna count that? Are we counting that fish? Corey's third first fish. <laughs> Gotta keep that one, they say. Catch a salmon. No, we can't catch salmon right now. Should we not? 
we can get that mounted for you if you want one. There you go, Joe. Hold them up for the camera. You keeping them or chucking them? I don't know. It's a little wet. He is very wet. I wasn't expecting the colors are beautiful though. That is a pretty one. We're gonna put this guy back though. All right, he's gonna release it, guys. Not to the grease. He's releasing to the lake. Let him go. Let him grow. What's that? Did you want the GoPro release? No, that's right. You lied, they were wet. They are wet. I'm ready for that. He's sad. <laughs> Alright, cool. You guys got to see another fish topside. Who's gonna give Corey a thumbs up for that fish? I will. Nice. I'm going to start fishing more, you guys. This guy. <laughs> He's liking fishing. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it up. It's three quarters they're going to give you. All right. Live fishing, live outdoors is giving you three quarters. So you got two and three quarters for your first fish. I don't know math, but that's almost one. Oh, they said it looks like the size of the bait. Ouch. Ouch. It's yeah. his first third fish. It's his first third fish, so he's got room to grow. He's, he's working it upwards at least. But yeah, I think I agree with you guys. Where's their fish, huh? They don't catch fish that small. He did not. He did not like that lure. So I know. He's coming back to it. Definitely the chartreuse. These guys are using chartreuse. I'm using like a more natural white color. And it seems like this afternoon the chartreuse has been outperforming the natural colors. Who would have thought that the fish coming out of the water was going to be wet? Yeah, I don't know. So weird. So weird. I still don't believe it. It's not yeah. throwing me off. And it was slimy. Oh, I'm getting tired. Getting tired of tired of talking. Anybody else want to talk to the to the people at home? I, I did. <laughs> Corey, Corey did. Cooper, shout out to you. Anyone need a shout out today? We'll give you a shout out. Free shout outs, free subscriptions. We're here for you guys to get you through this early end of ice fishing season. Man, they're giving you the thumbs up, buddy. Oh, they are happy. Oh, we got a fish enter in the chat. CJ's about to get hooked up. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. CJ, they're very wet. Oh, are you kidding me? Just, just gotta deal with it. Guys, who, who thinks he's gonna land this fish? Cheer him on. Oh. Difficulties. Oh, is he gone? I didn't pop it. I didn't pop it. was it? It was a rod. Right. It was CJ's orange rod. <laughs> I got one to give you. Oh, look. One? Guys, look at the rod on the live scope going down. <laughs> oh, she's deep. <laughs> That's a good one, CJ. Nice fish. Um. Corey grabbed the net and yeah. he accidentally hit a rod and it just oh. went over. I just went up to and my shoulder sinking. trying to get it. <laughs> Shit happens. I almost jumped this. Stuff, stuff happens. There it goes. Look, there's the rod on the live scope to the right. right. Now watch a fish. Oh, to the right. Oh, here. Yeah. yeah. Watch a fish. Hit That's it a rod. That's a rod and reel going down. I'm going to get it. Can you imagine? We could probably get it. We're vertically jigging. All right, show the folks at home this beast. Today. Yeah, joke got me. He choked it though. My arm's wet. Never understood why they didn't make fishing rods that float. They make floats for them. 
Well, next time I bring Corey, we'll bring some float. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, hold that baby up. There we go, nice guys. Nice one. Beauty. Get him in view. There we go. Got him? Yeah. Donnie eating him or is he Yeah, swimming? sure. All right. Show him where it goes. Happy birthday, Donnie. I don't know if he watched the live, but. He might be watching. All right, guys. Another lake trout topside for you. That was a pretty expensive fish. <laughs> what was it? What? The rod. Uh, something by I don't know. I had like 60 of Too bad to look. I don't know where about it. To be fair, the reel didn't work. Yeah. Brook Trout says he lost a fishing pole over the side. New challenge. Catch the lost rod. We're trying, That's man. That's what I'm doing right now. We're both, we're both casting over that. You crashed your Jeep, you caught a little fish, and then you lost a rod. A You're having a worse. tough day. He is <laughs> having a, a, he's having a rough day. It could be way worse, though. He's out here fishing. Shout out to Penn Cooper. What's up, sucker? <laughs> L uh, I V W. Where are you fishing in Canada? We are fishing in Maine. That's the Bago Lake. Just south of Canada. Just south of Canada. We got a fishing rod on the bottom. Uh, I'd send them down to look for it, to be honest with you. We're not that deep. No. We're in 104 foot of water. It's actually warmer down there than it is on the surface. Yep. Fish coming in? Or is that a, the rod? That could be the rod, like, standing up. On the live scope. Oh, oh yeah. Right. <laughs> You could probably look around with a live scope. No, that's definitely a fish. Is it? Just dragging the rod. Oh, no. Is the fish caught on the rod? No. No way. I can't see me. He's charging fast. He's going to eat that, that swim bait. Ugh. I don't understand why I can't see you there. You get me? I think so. The rod should be over there too. Yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, we just lost a rod over the side of the boat. We're in 105 foot of water. This is live. Live action. Was that Sebago pike bait? Yeah, it is. Those pike could definitely eat these lake trout. Komalov Merzahim. Balik Tushimi. I don't know that language, but I tried. So, yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, we're out here on Sebago Lake. We are jigging lake trout in 105 foot of water. We're using our ice fishing rods and our ice fishing lures, and we're using a live scope with a LV S62 transducer. And we're seeing these fish clear as day in 105 foot of water. It's pretty amazing. We are answering all comments and all questions, so feel free. We're giving free shout outs and free subscriptions to anyone in the comments who wants one. Just let us know. This is a support group for ice fishermen that are really disappointed and depressed that ice fishing season's already over on the shortest year ever. We typically ice fish this week on Moosehead or Chamberlain or even Sebago years ago. Is that a fish? No, that's me. No wind. We got super, super lucky for this lake. <coughs> well, you guys let me know if we get any fish nearby. I got to drive a cup of coffee into me before too long. I'm going to get water with them, do they? Uh, uh, you in the Jeep. <laughs> next to the fishing pole and the herb hair. Corey hit two deer on the way to the lake this morning, guys. I don't know why he did it. They were just eating there. I think he walked up to him and just hit them. I think it's like, a Jeep thing. Yeah. Oh, he did he hit him with his Jeep or his yeah. hand? I think it was My Jeep, Jeep hand. Oh, it was with his Jeep. I thought he hit him with his hand. He was like, stop it. <laughs> He's like, stupid deer. Meh. Out of the road. Meh. <laughs> Were those the first deer you've ever hit? No. No. Oh, 
No. Unfortunately. That's the least amount of damage that I've ever... <laughs> Crazy, huh? So a rod overboard equals Corey is buying dinner. I agree. I agree. Company card. He's got a company card. Perfect. <laughs> the nice thing is he, he gave CJ an incredible present earlier today, so they're probably even. Yeah. And TJ's not even wound up. Look look how mad CJ is that he just lost his favorite rod and reel. <laughs> that so he caught his first fish on. So mad. Was Joe's that trying your to shoot me off the side of the boat. About? He is so upset. So but I like I like the way you think, Life. Corey hit two deer, but they were in someone's backyard. <laughs> That's awesome. He says, wait, I lost for 10 minutes and you lost a pole? Yeah, we did. He was grabbing the, Corey was grabbing the net because CJ was reeling in a nice lake trout and it just flipped it right over. I heard it go and he went to his elbow to get it, but it's gone. We watched it go down to 105 foot with a live scope. I'll get it this time. I'm trolling. Yep. There you go. Down rig it. Logan Aviation, thanks for tuning in. What's your biggest catch today? About six pounds, probably. We are on Sebago Lake in southern Maine, USA. <laughs> I tried to grab it. I got a jacket. It's a but jacket. we're at we're close to 30 fish by now. But it's just a beautiful day out here. It's almost t-shirt weather. Any warmer and we're going to probably be t-shirt. Yeah. Incredible present, and CJ is calm and relaxed right now. Corey, what did you do to CJ? <laughs> You're feeling relaxed and sleepy now. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of uh, ceiling. And... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I what a great day we're I having, guys. I don't get wound up over much. CJ does not get wound up over much. Why would he? He's out here fishing with friends. It's Glass best. calm lake. I got the best job in the world. He's got the best job in the world. Why don't you tell the folks at home? What you do for work, or what you used to do, and what you do now? Are you, are you in vision? Uh, what did I used to do? I grew up in the logging industry. Did that for the majority of my life, and then I started a guide service, Barrett Meadow Guide Service. And we, in our third, fourth, third—I don't know, third or fourth season. I guess fourth ice season, third open yeah, water season. That sounds right of the guide business. So now I get to take people hunting, fishing. Best job in the world. What's your favorite season to guide? Fishing? Oh boy, I don't know. I can't pick a favorite of anything. I mean, I it could it be all. hunting too. My favorite thing to guide hunting is birds. Oh, I Up, forgot about that. Upland game. We're booked usually a year ahead. Tell them what that. type of birds, because these people are watching from all oh, over that's the country. True. Yeah, Woodcock, all over the world. And uh, rough grouse. We call them partridge. Partridge up here, man. Road chickens. Road chickens. Ditch chickens. What else they call them? Pats. Delicious. Yeah, delicious. Probably is my favorite thing to eat. Oh, by, by far. Wild game. Oh, yeah. man, by far. Uh, woodcock are good. Remind me a lot of venison. You don't get a lot of meat off get, them. You got to get a couple of them. Yeah, you're going to get, you're going to shoot your limit every day to make a good meal out of them. Uh, fishing, I don't know, man. Chasing crappy, pan fish in the wintertime with live scope is probably one of the funnest things you can do. Yeah. It's action packed, it's fast paced. It's, you know, you're not sitting on a bucket in one spot all day. We're just usually moving and on fish all the time. So that's fun. It's almost like hunting. I love trolling for trout and salmon. Like that's pretty much basically all I do in the summertime. Jigging them like this, you know, we have some spots available if you guys are interested in coming out here this spring. It's obviously pretty lucrative. We've been, uh, oh, lucrative. That's not the word I was looking for. The fishing. Yeah, the fishing's been good. It's been pretty steady. I mean, we haven't, it's been slow this afternoon, but I don't think we've been 
We, I think we were in the 30s, or close to 30. Oh, we now. gotta be, yeah. Uh, I right. never keep track. I'm on, I thought was my first one. Uh, Corey's got three first fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know I've let go quite a few. You've let go quite a few, and there's gonna be over 10 in the cooler yeah. for Donnie. Yeah. Donnie, if you're watching this, this is my happy birthday to you, buddy. I, I think he is watching. If you're watching, happy birthday. I hope I can have there. half a year energy at 81. Does that cloud look like a shark to you guys too? It's a hundred percent raining though. Kind of looks like a burbot. Huh? Big head. Yeah. Ooh, long tail. You guys ever look at the clouds and wonder what what else they look like compared to other things? I still do that. I've been doing that since I was a kid. Still do it. All right, so I'm going to get caught up on some of these comments. My biggest catch ever is a carp, 15 pounds. That's huge. That'd be the state record in Maine. That's a giant fish. Look at how flat common it is over here. Like the captain claps a lot, says it happens. Rods go over. Stingray snagged my bait and hook and took away for a minute to have a drink. I like the video when you found the giant anchor in the river. That was awesome. That's here hey pops he says hook the lost rod it would be the catch of the day it would be that reel was screwing up anyway though but it'd be pretty cool to catch that i think it's like it kind of like whoo it did its own thing going down we saw it like for the first 30 feet miles says heck yeah grouse and quail i wish we had quail in maine yeah we can buy them to train our dogs with but we don't have them here Is there one in between us, or is that you? Oh, that's you. It's me. Yeah. I think he's doubling. doubling. Flame Cun. I do not know that language. I'm gonna just go ahead and say thank you, because I'm gonna think I'm gonna take it as a compliment. We are in the United States. We're in the state of Maine, and we are in southern Maine on Sebago Lake, fishing for big lake trout. But, in truth, we're just jerks on one end waiting for a jerk on the other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're just, we're happy just to catch anything right now, guys. We'd rather be ice fishing, but to beat the depression of not having ice, we're out here open water fishing with our ice fishing rods, which is a lot of fun. Um, catching, you know, five and six pound fish in 105 foot of water with a three foot rod. How cool is that? It's just cool. It's so much fun to fight them and fight them up from the bottom and... We've had an incredible day so far. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free. If you guys are stuck at work in the office today, just hit the mute button and put us on in the background. I used to do that. I've never worked in an office. Have you? Yep. Oh, Live Outdoor says, Corey, don't feel bad. We have a trolling motor in 100 plus feet of water. Left it down on back of the boat. Only thing left were the alligator clips still on the battery <laughs> terminal. Oh, oh man. If, know, he, uh, if he threw my trolling motor over, I might yeah, get a little. The trolling motor, you'd that. probably get a little upset I'd about. I'll give you a couple coolers. Yeah. <laughs> that would hurt. That would hurt, though. Nowadays, trolling motors are crazy. I just looked at a couple trolling motors to That's put on a boat. Grand, Up to four, four and five grand. I mean, it's more than the boat that I've ever. Spent on a boat. Yeah. Yeah, the new ones, they come out with the brushless. They're supposed to be even better. Yep. But uh, you're going to pay for them. Yeah, well, there's new companies in the market. Garmin's making one. Yeah. Well, uh, Lowrance makes them, I think. And then uh, mm -hmm. PowerPole's making them. Pro so, guide. It, yeah, it used to just be Motor Guide and Minn Kota, but now there's, like, a bunch of new companies. Or not new companies, but... The real Canuck, there he is. We were waiting. A lot of people were asking for you earlier. We had to kick a couple a couple youngsters out of the chat that were being inappropriate, and they were really hoping that there was an administrator here. So, Chad, if you're watching, we're happy you're here. You don't have to kick anybody out. The chat's been going pretty well. We're here to give free shout-outs to anybody 
that uh, anybody that wants. Turned off, huh? The Weird Beard 420. What a cool name. <laughs> the Weird Beard 420 says, Ice Wall Low Come. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Ice Wall. No, ice season is not done. It's not done for you. You got like two foot on Lake Winnipeg. But here in Maine, it's, trust me, my friend, it'd be tough to be on the ice today. You can't even get ice to build up on our guides today. No, I think Taylor <laughs> Swift's the only one that could walk on this we water. We lost the fishing pole. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but we would have hurt the boat pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, ice season's well over here in Maine, guys. Well over. The fishing's pretty slow. You want to try to just bump us somewhere? Or? Yeah, we can move. Oh, as I say that, you got one. CJ's, oh, oh. going to Corey. Corey, you got a looker? No. Nope. Shoot. Oh, yeah, you got him. He's following. You got him interested? Come back over. And he got one. He's right there. Watch this. You gotta do the mud slap. Nope. Not interested. Not interested. You threatened leaving. Is what happened. Yeah, that's all you gotta do is say you're gonna leave. No, we laugh about Corey catching his first fish, but that's not true. Corey's caught a million fish in his life. Corey's actually a guide as well. Um, and, and, uh, yeah. I'm reading the comments about you dropping the rod. <laughs> <laughs> if they only knew how many things in my life that I've dropped in, in the water, cell phones, paddle, you name it, man. Yeah, but yeah, Corey's actually a guide too. Um, we'll throw his, or I'll let him, uh, put his uh, socials on if he wants to put them on for like Instagram yeah, I'll or anything sign else. Live right now. Corey, tell him what you got. Uh, so we're uh, my guide service is called Guided Main. You can find us on Instagram. Uh, but what we specialize is uh, we call it like remote fishing or uh, adventure fishing. So we'll hike into the remote um, main woods, set up camp for three or four days, and usually we'll hike in with fly rods to remote ponds that most people have never seen in their life and uh, spend a weekend showing people what it's like to be in Maine. So that's my guide service. And then I also work for Packback, you see the hat, but we make the first ever battery powered vacuum sealers, um, as well as the multi-chamber cooler that you guys will see in the video that has all the fish in it. The, the uh, cooler actually has a slide out cutting board, a fold out table, as well as multi-chamber. So it has two compartments that you can separate your hot, cold, wet and dry. So. And yes, I've caught a couple fish in my life. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll put my I'll put the Instagram for Pack Back and myself on the in the chat here in a second. Sweet. And if you want a shout out, Corey, leave it in the comments. I'll oh, give you I'll give you a shout out. Anybody who needs a shout out today, anybody who needs a little bit of mental help, mental health help today, throw it in the comments. We'll give you a shout out, and we will also give we're giving away ten free subscriptions to the channel today. The first ten people who ask for it can have it for free. Unbelievable. Such yeah. a deal. Yeah. Devin says that's the vacuum sealer Joe used on the lake. Yes, that sir. is the exact one. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Yep. I will tell you that this cooler vacuum sealer is the first real thing that I've seen come out that I have been like yeah. absolutely 100% behind. It what is, about live school? Well, yes, but I mean, <laughs> yes, I'm all for the I know, I'm I mean, with you. a product as far as like this for the guide, for doing the stuff that we do in warm weather and, oh yeah, you know, having a place to fillet your fish on the ice and, and take care of all that and not do it at home. It's, it's phenomenal guys, honestly, look into buying them. Yeah. And there's so many uses for them. That's unreal. But yeah, that's the one he's talking about guys is I, I've put a couple links to it as pack. It's on, under a pack back P A C B A K. And you know, that's the cooler I've been running for the last year and a half, two years. 
for for you saw it like in our build where we use the table we got one right here now we got the table up and the live scope's actually sitting on the table um, as you can see cutting board multi compartments um roto mold all that good stuff so that's the one i'm using and then the vacuum sealer is just incredible it's such a great idea battery powered take it anywhere um you know for fish partridge everything it's it's pretty awesome so if you want to check that out and i think i think i can get you guys a discount code absolutely i think i can get you guys a discount code if you are interested um geez yeah i can't, I can't remember what what that code would be but I'll, I'll the next video you guys see with it or if you want to go back to where i had it i think the discount code's in there is that a fish yeah or is that you no that's you no, that's a fish Uh -oh. Yeah, we might need to make a jump. Yeah, or a slide or something. What lake are you on? We are on Sebago Lake in southern Maine. There's Corey in the chat right there. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to put you in timeout. <laughs> <laughs> 24 hours. They, they want you to come out with a battery-powered crock pot. I agree. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. Ricardo is going to watch later tonight. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Fishing slowed down. CJ's going to make a little move for us. Um, reel up. Yeah. You want to mark your fishing pole? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> GPS this fishing pole. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you he catches it this summer. Oh man, you gotta get some content of that. Alright guys. CJ is gonna make a little move. Stay tuned. Stay stay with us. Alright, where are we going for dinner, boys? My treat. <laughs> He's gonna make a little move. Um, try to get us on some more fish. take you guys out of the here so you can look around who wants to see the scenery all right you guys coming up you guys want to see some scenery see what lake we're on what it looks like let's see turn this around Absolutely gorgeous day out here. You do not get days like this on Sebago Lake. There's the cooler with the blood on it. There's the Garmin. There's the CJ. There's the Corey. Look at how flat this lake is. Crazy. You never see it like this. No. You never see it like this anytime other than when there's ice on it. It's like a carpenter's daughter. I don't think we're going to need it. Oh. Somebody got a seven and a half pound bass yesterday. Congratulations. Wow. The real Canuck says he can get us some ice, but it'll be in one inch cubes. How many truck loads? Need a, lot of it. a lot of it. All right, guys, we're making a very small move. I think we're idling around. We're going to look for some more fish. If we can find some fish or activity or bait or whatever, then we are going to vertically jig on top of them and see if we can catch them. See if we can catch some more lake trout for you. Togue, otherwise known as Togue here in the state of Maine. But in the meantime, let's look around. We got one rain cloud right there. But I'm not too worried about that because over here, we got some blue sky. There's mountains in the background. This is amazing right now. 
ran 102 foot of water, as you can see. CJ's running a 115 Yami on, what is this boat? It's a smoker craft, 182 Fishmaster Bell. Uh, Put you on the spot, didn't I, bud? <laughs> He's gonna look. Pro Angler XL. Pro Angler XL Smoker Craft, 182. All right, we're back on some fish, maybe. 95 foot hole, he said. Wakes up about five feet. Is it really? Wow. All right, guys, we're back to fishing, I think. Oh, the trolling motor's going to do some serious spinning. I'm going to wait. He's got it on autopilot. Take us that way again. All right, guys, if you're just tuning in, we're in southern Maine on Sebago Lake, second biggest lake in the state of Maine. Devin wants to know an opinion on good rod and reel for jigging for crappies yellows. Thinking the Black Betty and Thorn Brothers Sweetheart rod. I've never seen that rod. Um, I switched over to Two Brothers Innovations and uh, Elliott rods this winter. And it is just a world of difference. There's bites I never even knew I was missing. Never even knew I was feeling until I got these rods. So the Paragon is probably the best rod on the market right now for crappie. Uh, that's one of my absolute favorites. I'm not a huge fan of like a noodle rod, so I wouldn't go with a noodle because I like to feel that bite and then have some backbone. And I do fish crappy deep from time to time. So like either the Paragon or the Paragon XL made by Elliott Rods is by far the best crappy rod on the market. And then for reels, I prefer like my spinning outfit. But if you want an inline reel, the Clam Gravity has been the best inline reel i've used yet so like i have had that black betty before i blew up a couple i blew up a couple 13 fishing ones and didn't have a lot of luck with those but um if if you can use a spinning reel i, I would just use the spinning reel on it so that's the best setup I've, I've ever had for crappy fishing mitchell says that's nice and calm still fishing we are so lucky how nice and calm it is for this lake abel acevedo shout out to you you get a free subscription for putting it in the comments. There's a shout out for you. Hope you are having as great a day as we are. We're having an incredible day. JJ wants to know if we made our way over near the crooked. No, it, right now that's closed to fishing. Oh, it is? Yeah. From we did not. Cub Point to Outer Island. In is that might've been a trick question. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> undercover warden. warden. Yeah, undercover warden. A bell, shout out to you, bud, or to your little kid. We'll give you a shout out and a free subscription today. Kyle Birdseye wants to know how many fish today. How many fish have we caught or how many have we seen? There's a big discrepancy. <laughs> we have caught, I bet you the 30, 30. We got to be at 30. Yeah, probably 30 we've caught. Between 30 and 90 for sure. Between 30 and 100? Yeah, I wouldn't say we caught, you know, 200, but no, we no. caught at least 30. Yeah, I think probably 30. That's what yeah. that's what an old fisherman once told me, is when somebody asks you how big your fish is, you say, I don't think it was 10 pounds, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's been a really great day. We've had an excellent morning, and uh, I think you might have to just turn that just a hair. Nothing. Are you even down there? I don't know. I'm going to find out. Are we still moving? Shouldn't be. No, not really. Yeah, I'm on the bottom. Any fishing poles? Not yet. The raisin brand man sitting in front of a fish tank watching a fishing stream. That's pretty cool. 
Come David on. can't wait for ice out here. I don't know where here is, but in Maine, it's pretty well ice out. Um, some of northern Maine still has some ice. Kyle says, sounds like fun. Yeah, we are having a blast today, bud. It's been an absolutely great day. Just an amazing day. Um, we're using our ice fishing rods to catch fish in 105 foot of water. And they're like averaging over four pounds. So yeah, definitely a lot of fun. What's going on? I'm just failing it. Yeah. I went to a little bit smaller lure, but the real Canuck almost didn't recognize you without the red plaid. That's funny. I got my Burnt Meadow Guide Service shirt, sweatshirt on. Supporting my buddy, CJ. The Netherlands. That's crazy. That's so cool. Is it Holland? The Netherlands. That's so cool. We've hit yeah, we Scotland, hit, yeah. Switzerland, Brazil. Brazil. I forgot that one. England, Ireland, Netherlands. Isn't there an African one? Uganda. These fish are Uganda. Vassalboro. Vassalboro. That's you. You're just daily showing up. Yeah, I don't know why. Is there one on it? Did you lose it? <laughs> yeah, maybe I don't have a lure on there anymore. Just your swivel. Actually, just don't check it, Joe. You're fine. Right. Media response. Thank you for the subscription. It's free for you. Um, free for the rest of the day, that subscription. So thank you. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate all the support. I'll just take a second and thank everyone, not individually, on the channel for subscribing and for commenting and keeping things positive, keeping things clean. We, we like that on the channel. Media response. You're going to really like the fishing on this channel. Some of it's off the wall. Some of it's conventional. Uh, we do a lot of ice fishing. There's going to be a lot of open water fishing this year. Uh, maybe some more boating stuff on there this year too. So a lot of good stuff to come. We've got a maple syrup video airing on Friday. I have an ice fishing one airing tonight. And I have, what else? I got a lot of videos going on. And then, oh, I have a super cool video. If you guys are just tuning in, I forgot about it. I shot it yesterday with Donnie. And it's like, it's off the wall. You've never seen a video like this on YouTube. And it's so cool. I cannot wait for you guys to see it and hear what you guys think about it. Um, I would expect that maybe if I can get to the editing room by like Monday. But Bentley, the pugs, had tried fishing once. I don't think I will again. That happens. It's not for everybody. Krista T, welcome. Thank you for tuning in and commenting. Sean says, where's the ice cream shop? It is in Jefferson, Maine. It's the Jefferson Scoop. We might be. Are we running low on battery? or? Yeah, I think so. It's getting down to 13%. Can you hit that gain up a couple? Maybe that'll help. Any better? It's not any worse. I can see me. Yeah, I can Jeff, see, see you, buddy. See you on Friday. Thank you. Let her idle. Do a little trolling, they said. We would if we had some trolling. I would say we're not set up for it. Um, Sean, probably late April. Usually usually the last week of April we open for the season. This season, maybe a little bit earlier, but i got to get the employees back. And i and, uh, got a lot of work to get opened up, but this year maybe a little bit earlier. my foot three years ago. Nice. <laughs> Media response, thank you very much. You we'll give you a free ice cream if you come all the way from the Netherlands. Oh, no, this is a fun one. You David, on. thank you for tuning in. Thanks for the comment. I just saw the upgrade or the update <laughs> on the, um, the cabinets that Donnie's making, and it's just incredible. He's got a bunch of the drawers made, and they are so, so cool. They're incredible. Yeah, I can't wait to bring you guys an update on the cabinets. You think the batteries dead? That's how yeah, I think the battery's dying. I had a spare one and I forgot to grab Will it. Will Joe's one. work? Yeah. Uh, we can't get his battery out easy, though. No. No. It's screwed in, right? Yeah. But we can use his live school. Maybe Joe's last school pets fish. Ha <laughs> ha! We're not trolling, Patrick. We're actually deep 
jigging, vertical jigging in a hundred and... No, or are they just showing us finally? In a hundred and five foot of water. Is that me over there? Yeah. No, I'm to the right. You're yeah. far right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on the left of the double. I'm way up. Patrick says they got, Patrick, where do you have 10 inches of ice? Man, that's crazy. I heard there's still a little bit of ice on East Grand, but it's not really trustworthy. It's pretty rotten and going quick. That wouldn't take a snow. Long down. Lake St. Agat. Yeah, that, that makes sense, yeah. I wouldn't go anywhere without a life jacket. Ice in North Dakota still, people are fishing. Is that Devil's Lake? I don't know many other lakes there. I don't either. There was one near one of the army bases. I can't tell. I don't think, we haven't seen a fish over here. No, we gotta move. I think we gotta make a bigger move. A bigger move? Do you guys think we should make a big move or a small move? Let us know in the comments. The first three that go one way or the other, CJ will do it. Big What's move it or small be? move. What's it gonna be? It's gonna happen. We haven't seen a fish in quite a while. Uh-oh. Big move. Big move. Big move. What are we doing? America is a better life than the Netherlands. Here we only have rain. That would not be good. We don't. <laughs> big move. Two We're for moving, big move. Boys. Two for big move. We're moving. Two for big. I said three. I said three. Small move. Small oh. move. Oh. Champlain. I love Champlain, Devin. We can't move to Champlain. No. Honduras. Whoa. Somebody's watching from Honduras. Wilmer, thank you for tuning in all the way from Honduras. Big move. Big move. Right. Big move. When's the last time you took a bubble bath? That's a great question. <laughs> I actually, you know what? I completely forgot about bu bubble bath. I don't, what is a bubble bath? Or a, a bath with bubbles and a bubble bath are two different things. Pretty sure it's a mixed drink, right? No. Um, I knew a girl named Bubbles in college. What is that over there? Is there something swimming? Is that a deer swimming across the lake? No, it's a boat. Whoa, is that a One moose? That might be a moose. <laughs> moose with a motor. Yeah. No, right there. That looks like a moose. Okay. Oh my gosh. Didn't you just hear the yeah. down? No, I think it's a moose. Oh, well, let's go get it. Yeah. Big move, big move, big move, big move, big move. Joe needs coffee. And JS is, is from Missouri. Moves. Dino says, hammer down, big move. All right, guys, we're going to make a big move. Stay tuned. I'm going to keep this feed going during the big move. We're going to try to keep it under 100 miles an hour. Um, we got a live scope sitting there. We don't want that to fall off. How big a move are we making? Couple miles. Couple miles. Okay, you guys are going to, you want to stay on? I'll keep you on for the big move. We'll keep them on. <laughs> France, this is amazing. I cannot get over the countries we've had. France, I bet you we've had 15 countries on this live. That's so amazing. Thank you for tuning in. Sean wants to see the moose swimming. Is the moose still out there? Ah, it looks like it went under. It got its hoof stuck on a fishing rod that was <laughs> fell out of the boat. Mitch says you got to go at least three, five miles. Three Let me five. go get my Jeep. Yeah. I'll take care of that moose. They want to see the swimming moose. Ah, it's got, it made it to the other side. <laughs> they said, let's ride. They want to ride. They want to go for a ride. You want to go for a ride? You want to go for a ride? <laughs> Pull me a stop wagging my tail. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's a bag of uh, there's a bag of snacks somewhere too. This That's not, but it, it had power bait spilled on it, and there is some snacks here too. Guys. You'll know. <laughs> You'll know. Not in it, yeah. All right, guys, stay with us. We're making a big move in the boat. In the boat, we're making a big move. Uh, I got a couple people that commented, watch out for icebergs. They've heard about the Titanic and the SS Minnow. So. Wow. Holy cow.
That was a nice little ride right there. Checking in from northern Minnesota. Ottertail County, I hope. That's a great place to be. Media response says your location's beautiful. Where are you? We are in the United States of America in the state of Maine, in southern Maine on Sebago Lake. Sean says I triggered his dog by saying, you want to go for a ride? <laughs> I got a better one, guys. Watch this. Siri, play Johnny Cash. See how many phones that is. <laughs> Siri, subscribe to Joe Holland Fishing on YouTube. We'll see if that works. If that works, let me know, guys, because I'll pull that out in the lives. Lisa Marie Anderson, where are you tuning in from? I'm really curious. This is awesome to, to see you guys tuning in from all over the world to this ice fishing show on open water. We're ice fishing on the lake in a boat. You're going to need some sharper teeth for that stuff, aren't you? I know. It's Holy some serious cow. jerky. Wow. The snaps on that bag, guys. They're really just like steak slabs. Are they? So, Mitchell's yeah. tuning in from Dayton, Ohio. Awesome. Wow. Checking in Ohio. from central New York. Central New York. Nice. Pops wants to know, yeah, how many boats were on the lake earlier today? Five, six. There's probably ten out here all together. Ten, ten all together. So it looked like... We saw some guys trolling, which is weird because salmon season is not open yet. But for the most part, everybody else was just vertically jigging for lake trout. There were a couple people trolling for lake trout too. Matt, Tom Brady's house is right over there. Confirmed, 100%. It's 70 degrees in Wisconsin during March. It's crazy, crazy. What are you going to do? We're ice fishing right now out of a boat. St. Stephen, New Brunswick. David, thank you for tuning in. We love our Canadian brothers. Malibu, California. I got to say, you're probably the first ever tune into this channel from Malibu, California. So we really, really appreciate that. Thank you for tuning in. Um, it's a little bit different than it is here in Maine, but I've met some people from that area. I guess we're on the good spot, guys. So let's start fishing. Don't drop that for Nope. <laughs> no, I mean, like, don't drop it. it all the way. Don't, Corey, do not drop his trolling motor in the water. Do you need if, this motor? If you guys are just <laughs> tuning in, Corey dropped um, CJ's favorite rod over the side of the boat. To be fair, I didn't drop it. It was, how long have you had that rod? Since I was probably four and a half years old. He's had it since he was four. His the great came out last year. His great grandfather gave it to him. He passed away, and Corey dropped it over. The effort was there. I just want you guys to know that. Yeah. My arm's still wet and cold. Callus, Maine. Nice. What are you fishing for? We are fishing for lake trout, otherwise known as togue. We're in 99 foot of water. We're on Sebago Lake in southern Maine. Brady's in. Nice, Brady. Good to see you, buddy. Long time. Shout outs are still available. Mitchell Daniel W. Jigging wraps working for me for Lakers. We're using uh, V rods from Acme today. They're, they were doing really well in the Lakers. Ice fishing one day, open water the next. Oh, That's so true. But we are ice fishing What's on. Up, we're ice fishing on uh, know, open we'll water. We have our ice fishing jig rods and our live scope, and we're vertically jigging just like you would be ice fishing. But we just so happen to be sitting in a boat. Lisa Marie Anderson, shout out to you. Thank you for tuning in. Dino's from Millbridge, Maine. Where's Millbridge? Uh, I don't know. I've never heard of it. Is it? All right. Pretty good chance of it. Isn't it near um, Maine Maritime? Wow. I don't know. Or that bridge. Too. Jackman, Maine. Tuning in, the Ford man. Thank you. Ah, ha, ha, great live. Really enjoying it from the land of the big cottonwood trees. I'm guessing that's just outside of St. Paul, Minnesota, if it's the same cottonwoods that I had on my channel already this earlier this year. But yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, we put about 30 fish topside. Got a handful on the live. They kind of slowed down, so we're looking, we're looking for some better areas right now. Ashen Skywalker is in Vermont. It's a nice warm day up here in the North Country. Hopefully you still got some syrup weather going for Vermont. I know that's a big deal there, just like it is in Maine. 
Matt, yes, sir. Shout out to you. Sammy P, great adventure. Thank you for tuning in. This is my support group, guys, to get through the early onset ice out season in Maine. This, here they are. There's Corey. That's quite the title, by the way. Thank you. There's CJ. And we are out here fishing. We're having an absolute blast. Uh, really cool day because I got to see my buddy Corey catch his first fish ever <laughs> three different times. <laughs> Breed, I have no idea what you're talking about. So We're not seeing any fish or we are seeing some fish. I, I marked a bunch when I first got here. I think that trade suit. Oop, there's a fish. Get at them, guys, is what they're saying. There's Wayne Ladd. That's probably me. Wayne? Nope. Yep, Wayne's on here. Wayne, I saw that you called, but I was right in the middle of a live when you called, so I couldn't take your call because I'm using the phone to record the live. So you are the big show. I've been called the big show before. Wild Norman, you like Trump. We don't really talk politics here, but yeah. Um, if you guys stay on long enough, I think we're eating this afternoon at Taylor Swift's house. There's burgers on the backyard and I doubt or we're not going to swing over by Tom Brady's right isn't that past White's Bridge his ice cream probably be melted now yeah man if I had a beard like that you're right if you did it would <laughs> change your life what would you do with it it would just know. change your life I mean it would you walk down the street and it's just pretty awesome Corey had one I mean I Still technically. <laughs> yeah, you had a but like this. I have a baby beard. I can't. I don't. Hang on, beard. CJ's got the Evan Rude Yamaha opened up. It's you know a Yamaha. What, you know what? Yamaha stand for right? You and me hauling a. You can't say little kids watch. That's right. You and me hauling a. You know what boat stands for? Break out another thousand, baby. B-O-A-T. Either our uh, battery's dying on our live scope or there's no fish here. I think it's one of them. I can't see my jig, so. Yeah, I think we're, we're running low on battery. Alexa, turn on Johnny Cash. <laughs> Let me know if that works on you guys's. Alexa, subscribe to Joe Holland Fishing on YouTube. Kind of show, bud. Oh, damn. <laughs> Did that work? Let me know if that worked, guys. Earlier I said, come on, let's go. You want to go for a ride? And Sean's dog got triggered. I think we got a switch. Gerald says, do you do much saltwater fishing? <laughs> she just turned on Johnny Cash. That's so funny. It worked. <laughs> Did it subscribe to the channel? Gerald, uh, not a lot of saltwater fishing for me, but I'm planning on on uh, hammering some stripers this year. So, Wild said it worked. That's crazy it worked. Your cover's on the ground. That's nuts. That's, that's so cool. There's a I think that's Joe's. I don't know where it's Sammy P, are we getting something? Yeah, I hope we get some fish. You know, we were on some fish earlier. We're trying to get back on them. Uh, they're, they're, they're changing up a little bit. they kind of gone negative on us. So, But we're still trying to. I hear the train it coming. Ah, that's so funny. It worked. What? You cover? There's one right here. Yeah, that's his. You grab me up. Yeah, you need some serious power to run that, that transducer. I mean, I can see why. Yeah. 316 fishing says, what's your favorite fish to catch? That's tough. I can't ever answer that one. Whatever bites next. No, I'll be I'll be honest. Um, in the winter, I mean, if you, if you watch my channel at all, you know, but uh, this year I just got on a crappy kick where... I just jigged for big crappie all winter. Um, I caught over 115 inches, over 15 inches this year. This winter alone, you know, in like a month and a half stretch. So by far my favorite this year was, was crappie. Um, 
pike is right up there. Great big northern pike through the ice. And then open water, it's pretty much always been like smallmouth or largemouth bass. I do love catching tarpon. Uh, that's a lot of fun. There's no fish that fights anything like it. And then stripers are fun to catch. Trout can be fun. Sammy P says, do you like crabs? I love eating crab meat. Yeah, I almost like it even better than lobster, to be honest with you. Luis says, how's the fishing? Been pretty great. Yeah, thank you. Palestine. If you say free Palestine, I'll sub and drop a like. Well, I just said it, so. But I don't really get into politics like that, especially on the channel. I love your hot tent setup, especially the wood floors. Thank you. The wood floors are the key. I wouldn't go more than a day without them. So, my son and I love your channel. Thanks for sharing the great info. Gerald, shout out to you and your son. Really appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. Devin says, I wish the state would get on board with a pike and realize, yeah, man, you and me both. I just saw where somebody caught one. Uh, almost state record was like 30 and a half pounds. When they weighed it on the ice, I guess it was 32, but uh, this week. Smallies and largies for the win. Yep. Back to Roots, says Triple H's brother. Triple H's brother. <laughs> oh, the wrestler, Triple H. Huh. Yeah, they, they used to call me the Big Show or the Big Joe. But. Back when I used to wrestle in the <laughs> WWF or the WWE. What was your, what was your intro song? Um, it was the same for when I pitched the tour. It was uh, by the outfield, Josie. <laughs> Josie's on a vacation. Yeah, my buddy caught that one last year, 35, 31 and a half. We let it go. Crazy. Crazy. I didn't see that one. What's your height? You look huge. I am seven foot one. Same as Shaquille O'Neal. Let me see the biggest. I'll just show you a fish. I, I don't know which one's the biggest, but. You guys haven't seen a fish for a little while. We've, we're in a little dry spell, so I'll show you a couple fish. Pull them out of the cooler. Wow, we got a cooler full, fellas. What? Look at them monsters. What do you think of them, folks, huh? There's some good vittles right there. Got a couple lake trout for you. We're not always catching release. You know, these fish are here for us to eat. So we're going to eat them. We're actually bringing these home to Donnie. And Donnie's going to put them in the smoker and make lake trout candy. So Donnie, if you're watching, we might need a bigger smoker. Because <laughs> we are sure catching them today. I think that's the best we're going to do, fellas. Just, this guy says, can you say my name just to hear how it says when an American says it? You got it. No hen, Zechariah Varhees. Did I get it right? I don't know. No one knows. No, no hen. I love beans. Joe, will you be at camp the first week of October this year? We will be bird hunting with base camp and portage. If you meet Lance in Ashland, he's a legend. Lance in Ashland. I don't know Lance in Ashland. Pretty good chance I'll be up north in October, yeah. Paul Bunyan, Paul Bunyan, yeah. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. Oh, I almost got that name right. Let me try one. Nohin Zachariah Varhees. Or is it Varghees? Ah. What kind of boat do you have? You can do it. What kind of boat do you have? Joe, love your video, Ice Fishing with Pat and Donnie and the Slush. Yeah, that was a great series. I'll never forget telling Pat, whatever you do, do not go on the lake. It is so bad. With my old snowmobile, and the first thing he did is he went right on the lake. And I had to pull that snowmobile off. Sammy P says, what you got for snacks? This is CJ's favorite snack in the world. Cheez-Its. If you don't have Cheez-Its in your boat, you probably won't catch fish. What else you got for snacks? Combos. Cookies. We're on a health kick. Snickers. Yeah. I can't believe how flat Comet is out here. It's kind of crazy.
Alright, moving forward. I don't see anything on the scope, huh? Nothing. No, no fish. I don't think we're around fish right now, guys. So, 70 people watching. We got 99 thumbs up. So that's quite a few people. 29 people have given two thumbs up. Really appreciate the thumbs up, guys. Wild Norman says, favorite YouTuber. I don't know if that was a question or a comment. So I'm going to take it as a comment and say, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Statue S says, love the beard, my bro. Thank you. I've been working on this beard since September of last year, of this year. Went up to Moosehead last weekend and got some Cusk Nuggets. Keith, nice. Good for you, Keith. Going to try the white cheddar. Camille Patel. What's up? <laughs> Where are you from? Patel. Patel, India. Really curious where everyone's from. Cody Dreaver. There's a good buddy of mine. You must be moving, yeah. He's a fisherman too. Bayern Ballers getting the first shout out. And a free subscription for asking for the shout out. Same with Master Z. You each get a shout out. You each get a free subscription. Hit the subscription button. It's free for the rest of the day. We're going to drive some coffee into us. Try not to spill any. Kamish Kamlesh is in UK, a place called Walsall. W A L. Never heard of it. Man, I got to check that out. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that with me. What's Walsall known for? What's what's it famous for? What's it good for? What's good there? Small town famous for leather. Fact: the Queen's handbag was made in Walsall. Awesome. I'm guessing the Queen of England. Russell said, "Are you fishing?" Yeah, we're actually fishing. We we we're not catching at the moment, but we were <laughs> earlier. But there is a fishing rod in my hand. We are ice fishing. This is an ice fishing rod. And we're ice fishing out of a boat. So we're moving around a little bit. We're looking for fish. Seeing any? One there. We got one under us right now. I'm hoping we're going to get it trolling. Yeah. I guess we're kind of... We're trolling up to it. Sammy. Oh, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Guys, we're having an absolute blast out here. CJ and I, Corey, we love to ice fish. This year's ice fishing season ended very abruptly. It was the worst ice fishing season I can ever remember. Uh, we've said that two years in a row now, but this year was significantly worse. It went out quicker. Normally I'm ice fishing for another month. But, but yeah, so to get over the ice fishing blues, we are in our support group and we are having an absolute blast catching fish out here in a boat, talking fishing. Oh, well, that's so cool. This place, Walsall, the football team, which I'm guessing is soccer, is called the Saddlers because we make horse saddles. So it's known for, for leather. Hmm. That's pretty cool. It's fun time. Yeah. Micah Ism. Shim. Mike, Micah Shim. Thank you for the subscription. That's awesome. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we are having a blast out here fishing, guys. I wish we could show you a couple more fish catches. Um, they've kind of shut off on us. they kind of gone cold. We're moving around looking for them. Um, we're vertically jigging in 106 foot of water right now. Freshwater Lake, are you 6'2"? Probably, yeah. Dean Collins says, add me. How about I give you a shout out, Dean Collins? Thanks for tuning in. But here's some, here's some coffee, guys. I'm drinking. This is Kevin Costner's coffee, made for Green Mountain Coffee, called like Heritage or something. I just picked it up the other day. It's really good. It's really good. I would recommend it. You can get it probably at your local Walmart. <laughs> Can't really get it on the internet though. I just want to know what they think you're asking. Uh, my accent? Well, they're from all over the world, so. What Corey wants to know, guys, what do you think of our accents? Walmart guys. Walmart guys. What's up, Bob? Not many people know how we talk. My accent's pretty mild for a Maine accent. She ain't thick. Rough ice here in northern Vermont. Yeah, man. 
Ryan Stevenson said rough ice year in northern Vermont. Yeah, it's rough ice year here too. It's <laughs> over here. So that's why we're out in the boat. But yeah, I think Northern that's... Vermont. I actually lived in northern Vermont for one one year. I was in uh, Derby Line. Derby? Newport. I don't know if you know that area. But I was working for a dairy farmer. I was working on a dairy farm. I got to eat some really good uh, elk. He has an elk farm too. I worked for the Nelson. All right. Somebody says, can you please say my name? I'll sub. Of course. Is your name Wegost4543? W-W-E-Gost543. Shout out to you. Thanks for tuning in. Anybody want a shout out? You let me know and I will give you a shout out. Are you going to cook them today itself? Who's the best cook among you guys? That's a great question. These exactly. fish are actually going to my 81-year-old best friend who's going to smoke them. He's going to brine them and, and baste them with maple syrup that, that we made ourselves or our friend made Super. out of uh, Donnie's trees. And then he's going to put them in a smoker and smoke them, and they are just they are so good. A couple of them are going to some other people too. I, I like to share the the fish with some people in town who don't get out to fish anymore, some older people and just some people who don't have a boat. So, so yeah, so uh, we probably won't eat many today, but Devin says that lake is phenomenal. Absolutely. Dave says nice looking togue, slippery rock. Show the fish, please, please. You might have to get, like, really... Are they eating my combos? Yeah, gonna... These guys didn't bring any snacks. I don't think they brought any snacks. I'm buying it sound, you dinner. It sounds like people are saying that the, my combos have gotten eaten. I'm buying you dinner. Oh, man. I just brought the boat. Yeah, he brought the boat. They have, they said you should stop into the Good Life store in Raymond. They have awesome sandwiches and coffee. Ask Good. Them where we should go to dinner. Thank you. Corey wants to know a great place to go to dinner in this area. Derby Line Magog. Yeah. Oh, that's where you're from, Devin, is Derby Line? I didn't know that. Yeah, I lived up there for a year in Derby, uh, Derby, Derby Line, up in the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont. It's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous area. It reminds me a lot of like Northern Maine, so. The fishing is not great right now. We're struggling. Um, you could probably change a bunch of those settings and get that humor a lot better, but. I mean. I but. put it on forward thinking that we could zoom in better. That's a good idea. But as far as like right. color and. Connor McCauley is watching from Australia. This is the first Australian on the, on the, on the live. Crazy. You're up, we're up to like 17 countries right now. That's like almost what? 5%. 8% of the world's countries we're up to already. That's amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in. It might be the furthest away. Actually. All American Prepper is from Central Florida. Awesome. The live scope is scaring them away. The live scope wall. No, this, dude, we're, Chad, we're at 105 foot of water. No, we're not actually seeing them on the live scope right now. We kind of went, went cold. We, we might have to go back to where we first started catching them. Matt O'Connor is in New York. New York is a really interesting state. It's got one of the biggest cities in the world, but it also has some absolutely beautiful country too. Yeah, and like up up near um, Thousand Islands, uh -huh. Indonesia. Johannes Christian, thank you for tuning in. India, Sammy P. India, really? I don't, I gotta do my geography. Who is the farthest away right now? Australia's gotta be. You think Australia is? Gotta be. Switzerland, Netherlands, India. Well, India I'm still gonna say Australia. Indonesia. He's saying Australia. Someone has Google in front of them. David said, go to 35 feet where I catch my Lakers at ISO. We're in 105. 35 might be the answer. Come fish Lake George if you want to get some. If we ever get ice, yeah, man, I heard. We are fishing. I have a fishing rod in my hand. I'm on a vertical. I guess I could have shot this horizontal, but a lot of people watch on their phone. Joe, this is insane. You are a world-known celebrity. I don't know about that, but 
I'm, I guess I'm, they say I'm wide and I'm worldwide. What is the time there? The time is 4.05 p.m. or 16.05 in military hours. The biggest one yet has been around like six pounds. Yeah. So let us know where you guys are tuning in from. That's a lot of fun for us to hear that. We've been live for 252 minutes. All right, CJ, you want to try another spot? Yeah. All right. Are we, or are we coming up on some fish? I no. don't know. Are right, we going to try another spot, guys? What do you think? Go go near or go far? Wicked far. Wicked far, bub. It's 3 a.m. in Indonesia. Chicago. Go to bed. South Padre Island, Texas. Kyle's in the sugar house. Are you really in the sugar house, Kyle? That video is popping on Friday of the syrup being made with your dad. You're going to love that video. It's pretty awesome. White tubes, white perch bellies sucked into the tube, hanging just past the skirt, half ounce for five tube. What bait? Baits we're using. I just switched over this because in the last hour they've been eating the chartreuse a lot better. But this is a V rod, it's a blade bait made by Acme. I was using an L Live copy earlier, and then I just switched over to that one because these guys were both fishing that. South Alabama. I absolutely love Alabama. Do you guys put bait food? No bait. No bait today. Just just artificials. Oh, there's the bait right there. They're eating the snacks. Eat, eat, eat all the snacks. That's what they're for. I got some grandma's cookies in there. Ugh. Is it Was it good? Yeah. <laughs> it was like the brownie cookie? Yeah, yeah I saw that. It looked pretty good. South Alabama. Man, that's awesome. I don't think I've, I've never met anybody from Alabama that I didn't love. There you go, Jeff. Nice. Grandma's cookies. It's all you, buddy. Go for it. There's more in there. Yeah. Trying to eat healthy. All right. Do you guys want to see some dead fish or some live fish? I just came to see you two. Yeah, more ice fishing videos. Man, you like even better. Hope, hope you made the most ice fishing season. I did make the most. Oh, they want to see some dead fish. Let's show them some dead fish. Show them some live fish. What the heck? Why aren't we fishing for those live fish? Lift one of those babies up. Gee, mister, will there be any when I grow up? I can that poster. <laughs> you probably made that poster. I, yeah, yeah, no. I have that poster at home, actually. I do, too. I Look at all those dead fish. One. I have a couple of questionable ones, too. Look at all those dead fish in there. That's filled. That's a 30, 30 quarts right there, full. So we're almost, at, we need one more to fill up that 30 quart. Yeah. And that's a 60 quart cooler. Yep. With a table and a cutting board. And the most important part, right? It's bait. Yeah. Ooh. Fish? Bait fish. We fishing here? Bait fish suspended all over. Oh, we're going to fish here, guys. CJ just found something on the down that he liked. Oh, he's backing up. Uh-oh. Trying to keep South Carolina, baby. I used to fish Santee Cooper. So oh, what are we doing? Don't run my lure over. Whew. Wow. Throwing mm -hmm. boat king. Yeah. I'm casting with a, an ice fishing jig rod. That's fun. Go deep for the good stuff. You should start gambling. What kind of gambling? We are fishing for lake trout. Dino says get the electric knife out. I agree, man. But although I probably won't fillet these. These, these are going to get baked and um, also smoked. So we'll probably just gut them. Cut the heads off and eat the rest of it. Tail and all. The vacuum seal. Alex Saldivar says WD-40. Yeah, I've heard of that too. There's actually fish oil in it. South Florida in the house. How south in Florida? We talking like the Keys? We talking like... Fort Lauderdale. I'm right in the motor. Oh man, what am I? I'm not in the motor. Good. Whoa, there was a bunch of stuff back there. Is that fish? I can't tell. It's bait and fish. That's a fish right there. 
put it back. And no, that's my bait. <laughs> trying to get down to them, guys. We're in 110.8 foot of water. The Everglades, nice. There's a great song about the Everglades. That's you. That's me, Corey. I guess that's the best we're going to get to work with. That's fun. We're going to have to see Jeff. I want to catch my first fish. Who is it? Alexa. Alexa, play John Anderson, Seminole Wind. That's a great song. Yeah, By the, about the, I'm back there. The boat's turning after I got down 110 foot deep. That fish next to me? Looks like it. Yeah, it's yeah there's a fish down there. It's all yours. Born in Fort Lauderdale, live in Lovell, Maine now. Awesome. Mentioned Lovell. in Clueston the other day. Yeah. I actually used to work down in Lauderdale a little bit. Fish for gambler right. lures have you ever caught a catfish yes i have caught that's channels cool. blues that's the fish um, 64 that's zay that's says catch anything buddy yep we are catching we have about 30. david l says that's a cool song that's one of the best songs ever written like could you imagine if you if you were a songwriter and they were like uh we need you to write a song about like um the everglades and conservation like for a country it's just a weird song but that one came out awesome That's bait. That's bait. Bobby World. A lot of fishing and duck hunting on the O. I love Big O. I love the Big O, man. It's one of my favorite lakes to fish. Yeah, seen, yeah. Brian's Alexis playing Seminole Wind from your crest. <laughs> That's awesome. It's one of the best songs. If you guys have never heard the song Seminole Wind, let your Alexa play it. Trace says, how big? Uh, we're catching them up to six pounds today. We don't have, like, mega giant lake trout here, but we got pretty good ones you know they're they're giving a pretty good tug so we're having a bunch of fun um the the catching was the catching portion of this video was earlier now we're in the fishing portion of this video so we're fishing for them we're not really catching them but we're gonna try i got my rod out there it's in this hand have you ever got a fanny fish i've not no any beaver sets out nothing for me not trapping it's been quite a few years since i trapped and cj used to trap too so it's really fun trading trapping stories with him and um next year though we might end up doing some trapping donnie and i someday when i get old and retire i want to go up to joe's camp and yeah run a trap line up there be pretty cool be fun. guys i think we made the number one mistake that fishermen make we left fish to find fish. Well, we can, we've got some bait, but I'm not seeing a bunch of fish. Yeah. And the bait's right on me too. Oh, was that bait on you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See it here. Well, we either got to go shallow or deep, or back to the fish. Or <laughs> back to the fish. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Or we can go home. Whatever you guys want to do. You have to shoot a little bit more content. We need more content. Well, is that bit just bait? Yeah. Jeez. That's been suspended next oh, to I see me. Time. What else do you need for content? Just, just taking care of the fish. When we get back. Donnie's a man. It's Donnie's birthday tomorrow, guys. Make sure you wish him a happy birthday. He will sure, be 81, I believe. It's just getting tighter. It might be a fish. Tyler Hill says, are you on CJ's boat? He's yes. hoping to see how you have the live scope pole mounted. He's looking for ideas. Stop at the house, Tyler. I'll show you. You know him? Tyler Hill? Yeah. There you go. Be better Eliza be says, home. happy birthday to Donnie. That's awesome. Donnie's as good as they get. He said he stopped counting birthdays a couple years ago, but we're going to make sure he has a good birthday. We're, we're catching all these fish for his birthday. I shot a really cool video with Donnie yesterday, guys. I'll give you a little sneak peek at it. We're going to go inside. Hold on, guys. Hold on. We're moving. Go ahead. I'll troll. Are you going fast? No, I'm just going to shut Thank <laughs> you. 
No, this beta here is going to be fish, isn't it? Close by. Yeah, right in, there's a big inside corner right there. Do you catch gators? I used to when I lived in Florida. Not on purpose, but I did catch some gators. See that bait? Yeah, there's a lot of bait look out here. That. Whoa, look at all the bait. Country Daddy. How big is this boat? 18 foot, 2 inches. 18 foot, 2 inches. Shane Clark says, Joey Yanks fishing with you today. No, we got Corey and CJ are fishing with me today. Or Joey Shanks. Donnie, 81 years old. You never even know it, bud. He's an absolute machine. Joey Shanks. Did you watch some of those golf videos? A lot of people don't know I have a golf channel, too, on YouTube. It's called Joey Shanks. S-H-A-N-K-S. And it's got some pretty interesting golf on there. I didn't want to mix the two channels just because I do enough broad stuff on this channel. So I wanted to keep them apart. So if you guys are into golf at all or want to see some golf courses in Maine, I do have another YouTube channel called Joey Shanks. I let my buddies name it. And I was having a little bit of a problem at the time with the, with the S word that we don't talk about. So they, that's what they named it. Bobby says, what part of Florida did you live in? I live down near Lauderdale. I was down there for winters uh, when I was fishing the FLW tour. Shane, the channel found you. That's pretty cool. Jesus Mauricio, where are you from? He says, are you excited for opening day? What team do you root for? I root for our local team. We don't have any professional, uh, major, major professional teams in the state of Maine. So our closest it would be Boston. So that'd be the Boston Red Sox. Donut cake for Donnie. Happy birthday. I agree. I'll see what I can whip up and make them. David says, good name. I like that name, too. I let my buddies name it. And I couldn't argue with them. I had I had a little bout of the shanks going on. But, yeah, if you like golf, check that out. You might like that channel, too. Sixty-five people. That shouldn't be a problem. We're up to sixty-three. It's funny because you mark one or two fish. And you're like, All right, well, let's see what happens. And it's nothing. It's like they're just kind of skirting out of you. Oh, the fishing slowed down, guys. Look at that cloud cover. Should be on. Should be on fire. Maybe they went up a little shallower. I don't know. I don't know if they move up and down. I don't know a lot about lake trout. I do much better on a sunny day with lake trout than cloud cover. Yeah, it was sunny earlier when we were smacking them. Same in cloudy days. Sometimes fish will move up, you know, with good cloud cover, shallow or, or way up in the water column. Yeah, if anybody needs a shout-out out there, let me know. Put it in the comments. We'll give you a shout-out. If your kids are watching or your dog's watching and your dog needs a shout-out, let me know. We'll give them a shout-out. Man, I love fishing. I think that's what M-I-L-F stands for. I saw someone with that on their sweatshirt. I got a T-shirt. Man, I love fishing. Yeah. I also have one that says WTF, where's the fish? She's wearing it right now. <laughs> we know where they are, we just gotta go back out and get them. Let's go get them. You wanna make run back out Yeah, there? might just as well. What do you guys think? Should we go back to where we saw the fish last? See if we can catch them. There's a lot of activity. Is there? Should we fish it? Is it bait or is it like trout? Both. The problem with both is they're here eating it. Yeah. That's fish. That's fish. That's the fish. Oh, Trace Yen. Shout out to Trace Yen. Nice. 
Jesus is a Cubs fan. Jesus, I've been to Wrigley Field. I got to see Greg Maddox pitch at Wrigley Field. It was Ooh. awesome. Yeah, he was on the Braves then. 98? Uh, he was on the Braves, yeah. But he wasn't. It was actually 97, I think. Uh, awesome park. Awesome park. But, yeah, shout out to Tracy Ann. Arik Ormandi from England. That's awesome. Thank you for tuning in. Brian, thanks for tuning in. David won $100. Congratulations. Favorite seafood. Oh, my God. It's probably scallops. Maybe lobster. Probably scallops. Dan Levesque is at work virtually fishing. That's awesome, man. I wish we could get a couple more fish for you upside, topside. We'll get there. Greetings from Germany. First one from Germany. Maxim Sergej Jusic. <laughs> Hi from Carl in the UK. There's Hi a from Carl from the USA. Cat face enthusiast is the guy standing behind you, your love partner. No, it's just a friend of mine. It might be one of my illegitimate kids. Nice. Nice. Shout out to Sierra Yan, or Saria Yan. Shout out to you. Aubrey wants to know, what are our favorite foods? Pizza, bar none. I agree, pizza. <laughs> I've never met a bad pizza. Chicken wings, steak. Steak's pretty darn good too. Lewiston Lobsters. Are you on shallow waters? No, we're in 110 foot of water. The Yarborough family fishes all the time. That's awesome. Vinny Northall says hello. Shout out to you. Joe, you have friends from everywhere. I am so lucky, guys. We have friends in 20 different countries already. We are almost at 10% of the world's countries. It's crazy. Yah caught a fish once. That's pretty good. Corey caught a fish once. Hi from Switzerland, the metal head. That is awesome. Whoa. Switzerland. Is that our first? That's a good one. What do you got? Bait or fish? Fish. There he is. Right there. A bad day fishing beats the best day at work. That's pretty true. You won't get an argument here, my friend. Tracy Ant says he's going to send us a fishing pole. Is that for the one that went over the board that Corey kicked over? Corey gets anger. He gets ang He has anger issues. <laughs> And he missed that fish earlier. I can't. And, and I'm starting to kind of put it together that he might have done that on purpose out of anger. Can I see your rod for a second? <laughs> no. Can I hold that? No. Actually, this is yours that I have. Doesn't, so. doesn't he look like an angry guy? Super angry. Brian's working. Vinny Nordhall caught a pike. That's nice. Did you get bumped? Not yet. I'm still sinking. This one's a little bit lighter. This is like a three eighths, I think, or a half ounce. It went away. Uh, I think we drifted by it, or or it went away. Last place. Oh, thanks, Trace. Last time I fished this spot of the lake, 2008, we'd fish right here. That's it. Right in front of Taylor Swift's house. Yeah. A little smaller than I thought. That's the guess, though. Frank Perkins. <laughs> is that is that the Frank Perkins? Frank, is that is that the like the number eight um, Sanko fisherman in the state of Maine? If it is, I love you. I am on Sebago Lake jigging a hundred foot deep for lake trout with ice fishing rods. Corey does look a little bit angry. Vinny Northall liked it and subbed. Thank you, Vinny. Really appreciate you. Oscar J, 1974, says, what you fishing for? We are fishing for lake trout. Oh, it's Frankie. Frankie's his son. That's awesome. Trace says, are you gay? I am not gay. No. I'm just trying to, like, 30 foot thousand years try to see what I sound like right now. Uh. <laughs> the guy that hits two deer. Angry. <laughs> Throws a pole over. You have anger management <laughs> issues. <laughs> Only caught one fish in my life. You punched. You punched. Two deer on the way here. They're in my way. You're gonna need, yeah. You're gonna need a. Um, in the title is support. <laughs> in the title, it is. It is support. You, yep. Oh, that's funny. Yep. They are definitely wondering about your anger issues. I know. They want to know if you hit the deer with an open hand or a, clo a closed hand or an open hand. Two fingers. Yeah. Right in the eye. Just like the Three Stooges. Yeah. Oh, why's the guy, eh? 
Carolina is tuning in from Carolina. Ooh, says hello. Ray 34, hello to you. We're giving shout outs for free today, guys, and we're giving subscriptions for free today. Can you throw your fishing pole for content? If you tune back about an hour ago, you can watch um, CJ's favorite fishing rod of all time get thrown overboard. Uh, Corey, th Corey threw it over out of anger. Unbelievable. You said there was a fish. I'm sorry. That's not how you catch fish. Yeah, but you catch it with the lure, you hold, Corey, not the whole pole. Yeah, you hold, hold the rod. It's, it's just gen you can't just say things generally. It's his first time fishing, so he, he saw a fish on the electronics and he threw the rod over. I thought he was going to stab it like yeah. a spear. He's like, just take it. <laughs> it was wet. If you guys have been watching long enough, you got to see Corey catch his first fish of his life three different times today. Trace, we did not get the rod back. It is in 105 foot of water on the bottom. Wraith, I do not. I'm sorry. Carolina says hi. The what? They want to know the water temp. So surface temp right now is 35.24. It's warmed up. 35.24. Be ready. Kalandia Holland. Hi. Are we related? Where are you from? We have people from 20 different countries on this feed right now. That's nuts. That's crazy. Out of how many people? Well, we only have 58 on right now, but we've had several thousand people oh, throughout the day. Yeah, throughout yeah. the day. Mr. Glitch says fish. Catch a fish. Man, we are trying so hard. Well, what if we don't catch them? I think we caught them. Did we catch all the fish already? Got them all, yeah. Is it cold for y'all? Nope. It is, it is unseasonably warm. warm. <laughs> Normally, we're ice fishing right now, and there's no ice to fish on. So CJ put the boat in, and we're fishing out of his boat. Vinny, you tell me your mom's name, and I'll say hello to her. We'll give her a huge shout-out on the channel. Shane is from the country of Cornville. All right. Frankie, we are fishing for deep togue. We're in 110 foot of water fishing for lake trout on Sebago Lake in southern Maine. <clears throat> now what? Find the fish. I'm trying. Hey, no anger. Amy, shout out to you, Amy. Thanks for tuning in. We are so happy to have you here on our live fishing show. <laughs> Jim Carlisle, man, I got, yeah, I'll, I'll get it. We're going to make a little move, I think. So I'll get into that question a little bit more. If I forget to, just ask it again. Backstrom, where are you from? How many fish you got? We got over 30 fish. I am that guy. We are fishing for lake trout in 110 foot of water on Sebago Lake. Joe, don't you think that live scope is the best? Yes, I definitely think live scope's the best. It is. There's nothing even close to it. The best. Yep. You're close to Quebec. Great fishing here too. What's your quota there for Trudies? Truities. Trout? So it's actually unlimited under 26 inches on this lake. Frederick Carr's recovering from surgery. Love to fish for togue. Shout out to you, Frederick. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully the recovery is fast and you get back out on the water fishing for togue soon. Brandon Caston, hoping to catch you out on Moosehead one of these years. A couple buddies overnights on the lake, working up to multiple nights. That's awesome. I'm, I'm super glad for you guys. I hope some of my content has helped you over the years. Ray, thanks for subbing in. All right, so I got to go back to this comment. Jim Carlisle asked that if, is it true that people in Maine treat crappies like rough fish and leave them to die on the ice? Dude, our crappie, like I'm trying to bring public awareness to how incredible crappie are to eat, but also how incredible our fishery is. We have a world-class crappie fishery here in Maine. Um, just this winter alone, 
I caught over a hundred over 15 inches this year on bump boards, legit, you know, up to 16 and three quarters. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's world-class. The state calls them invasive. There's no limit on them. There's no size limit on them. There's no quantity limit on them. It's really sad how the state um, treats such an incredible resource. And then a lot of the people that listen to the state department, which I tend not to, um, they'll leave them on the ice, you know, and I've, I've gone to derbies where you could fill up a tote sled with giant 15, 16 inch crappy just left on the ice. It's pretty sad. See one? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, people, there's a couple Mainers I see in the comments talking about it. And, you know, all their, all the people that do, do that, they're just following the lead by our state. They're following the lead by our state department. So it's really, you know, leadership starts at the top and our state department's really let us down with that leadership. So I try to take it on personally and, you know, show people that the conservation in fishing and the conservation and what a special fish that we have here in Maine and how amazing they are. You know, I don't care what's native or not native. You know, I, all I care about is what's here to stay and what's here. And, you know, crappy are here, they're here to stay. And, you know, we're, we're blessed to have them. They're an amazing fish, an amazing resource. And I do think we should have protections on them. We should have limits and we should have size limits on them. Do you guys go deep sea fishing a lot? I don't know. CJ does some some uh, striped bass fishing. I'm going to plan on doing a lot more of that. It's a fish there. It's a little there. Yeah. Straight down? Yeah. Archie Northall. Hey, Shout out to you. Thanks there. for watching, baby. This is great. You should see it any second. Nathan says it's only trout, 10 trout per day per person. But like yeah. you say, we need regulation so we don't waste right this wonderful bit. resource. Yeah, I mean... Our regulations are actually water body by water body. They're lake by lake. So, yeah, yeah, you know, the trout bad, are maybe. highly protected in some lakes, but in some lakes they're actually not. Um, it just depends on what body of water you're on. G. Yates went to East Grand in February, skunked for two days in a row. Guess that's why it's fishing, not catching. Marked a lot. Ice fish for native brookies this weekend in the Cape Breton Highlands. Nice. Yeah, East Grand's a, a tough lake, man. There's a, it's a tough lake. Like, I go there. And I kind of look forward to like two bites a day when I'm fishing for those big lake trout. There's geese. There's geese coming. Geese so cranky though. How fun is fishing? On a scale of one to one million, I got to put it in the million category. It's so much fun. I love it. I just love it. Ready? You guys get ready. We're in 110 foot of water. There's geese yeah. flying by. Ready. Back's rum. Take them. Wants to know where the fish are. Cut them, boys. Where the fish are? Yeah. Oh, in the water. In the cooler. Back's rum. Where are you from? I've never seen that name. Back's rum. Bakim Batov. Wow. Batov. It ends in a V. So maybe. Ends in a V. Maybe Inside. European. We're talking Russian. Ukraine. Uzbekistan. Nice. Wow. Uzbekistan. My, my sister in law is in Uzbekistan. No way. Yep. Yeah. She's a nurse it's over there. Oh, what's the guy's name? Wasn't he from Uzbekistan? No, he was from... Uzbekistan's huge. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, salmon nonstop on East Grand. Yeah. We don't really fish for salmon that much when we go there. We Because we got the opportunity to catch those big togue. And there's not many opportunities in Maine to target 10 pound plus togue, so. Yeah, we're fishing ice fishing gear. I got a three foot rod. I got my ice fishing jig pole and my ice fishing lures. And we're basically using all our ice fishing gear out here fishing for 
for a lake trout on Sebago in, in the deep water. We're in 110 foot of water right now. The bites kind of died off. We, the fish stopped biting where we were, so we left. And then we haven't been able to find them since. It's like the, the number one rule of fishing in Florida is you never, ever leave fish to find fish. But, you know, you never know. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. How do you have internet to go live? I have a cell phone out here. It's plugged in. So it's got like Verizon, I think. What's for dinner? We're probably having pizza for dinner. That's the that's the bait I'm using. Hopefully that's dinner for the lake trout. Do you have one on you? No. It's, I thought there was one close by, but I can't it's, tell if it's one underneath it or not. What that's your lure dropping down. Right, that is one underneath it. Yeah, that's a fish. Yeah. It got bumped Keith there. said they got a cusk. He was stoked. Cusk are incredible. Even Jacob, we are fishing. We're fishing for lake trout. Big ones in Sebago, but very few. 12 pounders. Yeah, I mean, they've won the derby on up to like, I think Brady's was like 14. Is it raining? Yeah. Smelted them. Yeah. Jacob, we are on Sebago Lake in southern Maine in the USA. Clicks wants to share the pizza. Do, do we look like guys who share pizzas? <laughs> Told you it was gonna rain. Yet. Nailed it. Whoa, it is pouring. <laughs> was that thunder? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> I think it was a dump truck. Oh. Thunder road. It takes a long time for a lure to get down in 110 foot of water. There's fish all around that, I think. Or bait. I can't tell. I think it's bait. I can't tell from here. Joe's transducer is just so small. No, nah, it was a dump truck. All right, fellas, we got to do something drastic. This isn't working. Yeah, let's do something, even if it's wrong. Pepperoni? I didn't bring a knife in here. Cut those fish either. I mean, I, get, I have a knife, but not. Morgan Jones, welcome to the show. Sharkinado, hello. I think it's just the bait at the bottom. Yeah. Liver works great for trout. That. Keith, that sounds like a really fun trip. I'm glad you guys had a good time. What Shark NATO. Go clean fish. Go catch more fish. It's up to the oh, I don't the care. Show host. Yeah, we can call it a day. You guys want to call it a day? I don't care. Go clean some fish, cut them open, see what's in them. Post up a short if you hook one. G Yates, we're gonna have a full video on this on today. Not since live started, but before we're live, we we smacked them pretty good. I got I got all of the footage on the GoPro. Corey's got some pretty good footage too. But yeah, we're gonna. I think we're gonna run in. Are we gonna run in? Yeah. We can check one other spot over by outer. All right, we're gonna check one other spot. You guys stay tuned. Stay with us. We're gonna make the run. We're making a big run. We need the trolling motor up. Yeah, long, long run. Much love from Quebec. Enjoy the grubs. Is that what you guys call lake trout? The togue. Much love from Quebec. Which fish you got? You want to see some fish? We'll show you some fish. What? What? Look at those fish. Did you see those fish? Chung Lee. This is unbelievable. What? How nice it's it is? Wild. It should be snowing. It's raining. It's supposed to be like this tomorrow too, I think. Crazy. All right, we're going to take a little ride with the boat. We're in an 18-footer with 115-horse Yamaha, 
and we're gonna take a little ride. You go, my rock. So where's the pizza place around there? Brian, we have air temps of about 50 degrees and water temps of about 35 degrees Fahrenheit.
Yeah, I thought that was fish. Holy cow. He's down slope. Keith, I've never really done this melt dipping. That, uh, I want to shoot a video on it up to North Main Woods. It'd be fun. <laughs> Somebody's going to buy me dinner if I take a polar dip. I doubt it. I got you, buddy. No. Nope. I'll buy you dinner not to. Yeah. Uh, Frederick says there was an 8.62 pound cuss caught. That's awesome. Is it true they serve fresh pickerel in heaven? No, it's pickled, actually. Pickled. Pickled pickerel. Say that ten times. Alright guys, this is our last ditch effort. We're not going to fish too long here unless we smash their faces in. But. But we're going to try it. C. Jones. We're going to try this spot and see if there's any fish on it or bait on it and uh, go from there. Thank you. Let me know cusking to tonight. Fish. We are not cusking tonight. We're pretty much on our way off the lake now. We got a lot of fish to clean. We could probably do that though. What? Go cusk fishing out of the boat. I guess we could, yeah. I mean, I don't want it tonight, but... They're still gonna spawn. They're still gonna go up in shallow. Right? Yeah, that's true. Laney says it looks relaxing. It's incredibly relaxing. This is amazing. Look how peaceful this is. Look at look at all around. We are literally on a boat. This is awesome. We're about to catch some fish. Oh, you eat the fish. We eat some of them. Yeah. We're bringing a bunch home for my 81 year old uh, best friend's birthday is tomorrow. The goat subscribed. That's awesome. Speaking of the goat, the goat. Tom Brady has a house right over there. And I think Taylor Swift has a house over there. We're supposed to go over for burgers later. So that'd be pretty cool to meet her. I love Taylor Swift. Or Tay, as they call her. People know her. Tay Tay. Living the dream. East Grand using a sucker. 11 pound tote. Nice. Show the houses. We're not going to go over by the houses, and I don't think I'm allowed to film if we go over to eat at Taylor Swift's. I think they have like a no filming policy or something foolish like that. But I understand. Well, they, you have that, right? No. They don't want like wackos going there, I guess, or whatever. She's got like people who, who um, stalk her, I guess. So she's got to be, she's got to be a little more careful. That fish next to me, or is that Joe? That's me. Hey, that's, Joe. that's a fish right there. Brandon says down by Tom's house. Yeah, Tom Brady's house is. I gotta reorient. I think it's over there. He's over by White's Bridge, I think. David Cohen, the Celtics down by Tom. Oh, cool. How many subscribers do you have? I don't know. You could probably check that out easier than I can. I think we're around like 37,000. Was that a loon? Did you hear that? Yeah. There's a huge eagle's nest on that island right there. Oh, really? We call it Eagle Island. It's out of the island. Yeah, once, oh, you got a bite? Nope. Once that sun went down, the temps are plummeting. We're probably 40 degrees now. Yeah. I have not. Oh, is that where we are? Nice. Are you in Maine? Corey, we are in Maine. 
We are in southern Maine on Sebago Lake. Sebago is the third, no, it's the second biggest lake in the state of Maine. It's the deepest lake for a long ways. It's 330 feet deep, I think. There's two World War II British Corsair airplanes, fighter planes on the bottom of this lake that they've never been able to bring up. So that's kind of cool. They went down in a training exercise. Training didn't go well. Training did not go well. Nope. Well, we're fishing lake trout, guys. We're, uh, they kind of shut off on us. They stopped biting, but we had a great day. We've, we've caught 30 fish today. And I can show you what they look like if you want. I'll show you what they look like. This is what they look like. This is nature's grocery store. <laughs> There's our grocer. You've been called gross before, right? Yeah, yeah. My nickname. We are in Maine, United States of America. Ooh. Oh, that's Snow. gonna that's gonna get the Packback logo on it. If, it, if you see, see that? Oh yeah, I got that already. The, you talking about the the oh, fish? It's on the fish. What do you mean? Rubbing into the fish. from that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Got the mountain right there. <laughs> that's snow, by the way. That's not rain. It's snowing? Yeah, it's snowing. You guys got four wheel drive? Is over. No, I didn't. C I Jones wants to know is there a limit to how many you can catch? There's no limit to how many you can catch. There is a limit to how many you can keep normally. But for lake trout on this lake, you're allowed to keep unlimited under 26 inches, and anything 26 and above, you're allowed one per person. Looks well, like that's going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, Uncle Remus, the water is usually hard still. We're usually out here on snowmobiles ice fishing. So we decided to go out ice fishing today, but in the boat. Sebago Lake for the crusty crumb pepper. We are definitely on Sebago Lake. Yep, and he grew up there. That's awesome. A beautiful lake, beautiful water, beautiful area. Super nice, super relaxing. I think we're done fishing for the day. Yep, I guess we're done fishing for the day. We're fishing, oh, we were catching all our fish today right around 100, 110 foot of water. Hey, shout me out. Trace, yeah, shout out, again. I don't know the other name. I think you're, I think you guys are playing tricks on me with these names from like gamers or something. Gamer names that I don't know. But Wally Outdoors, what are you fishing for? We are fishing for lake trout. Let me show you what we caught already. We got about 30. We're bringing home, oh, 10 or 12. Those uh, right there, pretty good sized lake trout. And uh, it's been an awesome, awesome day of fishing. It's gonna get dark pretty soon here. We got a couple, a couple more hours. The days are getting a little longer, but the temperature's dropping pretty fast. Now that uh, the sun's going down. But I think that's going to do it for us, guys. We're going to head in, right? Yep. But I'll keep you guys on. You can see the boat ride in. Look, I'll show you guys. Corey, show them how you just took that table off that. This is pretty amazing. Check out this cooler, guys. Made my pack back. It's got a table on it right there. But then you can take the table off. Show them how easy this is. It's crazy. Legs just fold in and lock. And then the, the table works as a second lid. Yeah. It's also a twin barrier for another insulation barrier. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. How long a ride we got in, fellas? 
Depends on how fast we go. That is the truth. It's cold. It's getting cold. Yeah, I think we got the best part of the day. Yeah, we definitely have the best part of the day earlier. So that's it for the fishing section part of this. And next will be the swimming part where Corey's gonna jump in. <laughs> Guys, we're on Sebago Lake in Southern Maine in the United States of America. What'd you say? <laughs> Somebody's from Berlin, that's awesome. Eddie, thanks for tuning in. Eddie, yeah. Whoa, hold on to her. <laughs> camera almost went over. Thank God Joe brought the stack. Wave. Yeah. The brand of cooler is Pack Back. P A C B A K. Not sure when I'm fishing again. Maybe this week. Happy Hook Center said, Good luck. Nice boat. That's the beauty of a boat. Can I come fishing with you all next time? Sure. DC Rogers says, State Park, baby. They know right where we are. You got it, bud. Don't sell anybody, it's a secret place. Super secret. Look at all these houses. They want to see the houses. This T Swift right in the point. Taylor Swift is on the other side of the lake. Great fishing offshore right at the Sandbar Narrows. That's April 1st. April 1st. Not allowed to fish there right now. 
House on house on house on house. Yeah, they kind of backed them in there, didn't they? This is Sabago Lake. It weren't half bad from for early March. Wow. Agri, buddy. I was gonna drop a troller, but I like going out to push it. It's a bald seagull. For me, I'd rather go out there and catch 30 of those fish, mm. 40 of those fish a day, than one every once in a while that big. Mm -hmm. and so would most people. A three hour tour. Okay hey guys, we are back. We are back. We're at Sebago Lake. We're coming in. Uh, yep. You might be catching four the first fish ever. You're going to be that battle boat. <laughs> oh, guys, we had a fantastic day out there. We caught over 30 lake trout. Um, average probably four pounds, I bet, you know, if you put them on a scale. They were all healthy. Caught them all in over 100 foot of water with ice fishing jig rods. I'll show you what I was using. Um, this is the Nomad. It's 36 inch, made made by Elliot Rods, and the, that's the lure right there. That's a V rod, and that's what I caught them all on. I caught them on a white V rod mostly. I caught a couple on this when I switched over to Fire Tiger, but most of mine were on white. And uh, we had an absolutely great day out here. We're bringing home oh ten or so fish for Donnie for his birthday tomorrow, and and. Uh, yeah, we, we ended up having a great day. We did launch at the state park, Dan. Yep. So that's going to pretty much do it. We really appreciate all the support. Appreciate the subscribers. Um, 
and appreciate all the comments too so this video will be up in a little while if you want to go back and watch any of it or watch any that you missed we ended up catching oh probably between like five and eight on the live screen on the live stream so if you want to go back and see some fish catches you missed you could always go back and then i'll have a gopro video up of everything you missed with all the fish catches before that earlier on in the day so thanks again for tuning in i'll see you on the next one let me see if i can figure out how to end this live oh there it is are you sure you want to stop